Before we even go there, do you want to tell your, your story quickly? Kev, uh, Lord, I literally sold it. See this McDonald's, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so I was on time for once. Yeah. That McDonald's over there went there, chicken wrap. A cheeseburger, all, all the normal stuff I get. You're the rap for make these. That do you know what it is? I, I don't feel in a burger. Oh, mm. only something you know what I'm saying. So then, I come in out and I'm walking. I can't find my car keys. I just put the chopper car and the, and this on top of my car. Yeah, get in the car now. Boom, boom, boom. Driving off. Boom, boom. One, one of them Asian guys is looking at me like, I'm like. Wait, he's on beef, you're on foot, and I'm in the car. You can't beef me. Yeah. So I'll skirt around the corner. I'm trying to be early for you, man. Get out the car, chop the corner. Where's the fries? On top of my car, down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I said, nah, 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 nah. It can't be. That's four pounds and eight, eight pence worth of food. So I'll skirt it back. Hey, just the fries or the, or the whole meal? So the bag, the, everything in the bag. Okay, okay. So the wrap, the cheeseburger, yeah, on, on the apple pie. I skirt back, so let me retrace my steps. Yeah. I go back, you know the red light right by the Sainsbury's? I stop. I see my shit spread out on the floor. <laughs> so I'm looking at it like, I'm like, mm. I'm from the streets, isn't it? Mm. I might not eat the lower base <laughs> level chips, but maybe the ones on top of the pile, you get me? Oh, so, let, let that meal go, bro. Bro, no, but you know, I was thinking that there's recoverables because the wrap is wrapped. The burger's wrapped. So I'm thinking, I'm Hold on, where, where in the road is the bag? <laughs> Literally, the opposite. What bus is it, comes is it, down there? Is it, is it in the middle of the road? The or is it, 169, No, but is it in the middle of the road? Is it the main road? Is it right at the traffic? You know it, um, the traffic light? Like? Well, you got JD Sports here. And then the when Mid-East, you leave, Mid-East is here. Yeah, Mac D's there. And, and then there's the Sainsbury's on this side. So right at that traffic light. Okay. And the bag is right there. So now I'm in my head, it's like, this is why this Asian man was doing this. Yeah. So I'm looking at it. I'm like, there's recoverables. I put my hazard lights on. I'm parked at the red light. I get out of the car, just look that there's no niggas about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The 169, it was like one TV moment. As soon as I pick it up, the 169 splattered my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ran up and back down, did the, four, the same four pound 88. I said, let me order this. Mm. And then she was like, didn't you just come? I said, shut up, Jessica. I just <laughs> give my motherfucking sweet curry. And I just walked, oh, I'm livid, bro. Mm. Four pound 88, God. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so four pound 88, God. <laughs> Nigga, you survive. I'll survive still. You'll survive, you'll survive. There's music playing, by the way. Oh, shit. Sorry. That is too funny. Oh, man, that hurt, bro. And that's happened to me before, you know. Literally. Um. All right, all right. One second, let me get my bearings. All right, guys, welcome back. That sound kind of... All right, meets up to seven. This is episode two, 272. 272. Yeesh, 300 approaching. Yeah, Jeez. soon come, soon come. But this is the Man Cave part five. This is the Man Cave part five. Um, I messaged Sid earlier and said, oh, are we going to get a, a prayer today? As, as... i got a prayer still. Prayed oh, is it? Yeah, just about. Okay, prayer. cool, cool. Because you, you told, told me you, you all prayed out. Before. Yeah, I made it up right off. I was right. All right, cool. Uh, Without cool. further ado, sir. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today on this illustrious day. It is the 19th of January, 2022. It's a new day, a new dawn, a new year. Lord has successfully crossed us over from 2021 to 2024. Pardon me. 2024 is the year Yusuf and Jason said they're going to take life seriously and stop fucking these bad bitches. <laughs> well, we talk about that off. What? <laughs> 2022, respectfully. Lord, men have suffered in 2021 from some insufferable women. We've been told man can't do this. Man can't do that. Men ain't doing this enough. Men have stopped doing this. Men are liars, scum, scammers, cheaters, abusers, and users. Well, I'm here to tell you today on the 19th of January, 2022, all that ball jive y'all talking is actually true. <laughs> Except for the illustrious man at the man cave. Amen. 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 See, I am your guest pastor for the day. You can call me Pastor P. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> That's going to annoy some people, but we got to keep everything P. And for those that don't understand what P is, P can mean a plethora of things. But today, P stands for 
Put your pussy lips on live, I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and since Yusuf and I returned from Ghana, P stands for put your pussy lips on live, I'll give you a thousand cities. <laughs> <laughs> and once you divide that motherfucker by 8.1.0033363633 recurrent, we got a lot of cities to spend. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to also tell you about certain peas that bother me and peas that don't. In the new Le- LeBron James book of the Bible from Sergio Gianni, a.k.a. Gunner, there's some things that are peas. So if you, if you feel me, holler with me. Girls working nine hours, getting home and getting in that kitchen and cooking me yam chips and tilapia, that's pea. Buying your guy a PlayStation 5 for no reason. That's P. Not telling the group chat when we have sex and we started in Cowgirl and you know that's my kryptonite and I gave you 14 <laughs> pumps. That's P. Hacker sand on you. That's P. Now there's some things that ain't P. Asking if I've eaten knowing damn well you ain't gonna do nothing about it. <laughs> that ain't P. All right? Taking clothes out the wash and they ain't dried yet, but you put the iron to it. That ain't pee, okay? Giving bomb ass fellatio and mid lick asking if we can go on a holiday, and I say, yes, ain't pee, okay? <laughs> and uh, calling my ass at 1 a.m., asking to get picked up and dropping off your ugly ass girlfriends that live in Fortin Heath. <laughs> Flashbacks, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ain't P. Amen. <laughs> now, Lord, as we continue to, in 2022, POS, pop our shit, please protect us from these five crucial things. The first one, redemption. The second one, reparations. The third one, retaliation. The fourth one, damn. <laughs> What's the fourth one? Retribution. 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 And the ultimate number five, Yusuf, please, reconciliation, because why? We ain't trying to reconcile with with y'all bitches. bitches. Amen, amen. Now, without further ado, we're going to get started, Man Cave, episode five. Please, it's a new year, so if you're trying to tithe and put in the collection bowl, y'all cheap motherfuckers that make your way to the toilet every time it come around, God's watching you. Amen. 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 All right, let's let's start with this P (sighs) word. And you guys can tell me yeah, mm-hmm. if I'm a Grinch. No, no. I'm with I'm you a, on this. an old fogey. Mm. <laughs> an old fogey. But the way, like, like I said in the group earlier, if you're a man and you're over the age of, let's say, 20, 21. Just that, that's, that's young. You know, and you're just jumping on yeah. slang the minute it was released. Yeah. Like, from a man that couldn't explain it properly. Like, I'm sickened, bro. <laughs> And I don't know if I'm just being a Grinch. I'm just nah, being a... Nah, you explained it well, though. Like, nah, it's, just, it's just jarring, bro. Say, if you wake up in your back garden beach, that's pee. <laughs> and you can mix it up with other things. Like, I put this shirt on. I'm pee. I'm pushing pee. It's a, doesn't it sound wavy, bro? No. Oh, you can't get down with it. No, I... I, no, but, I no, but why are you so excited about it? You be? Yeah. I don't know, bro. <laughs> do, you know what, do you know what it is? I think because I, I want to annoy people. So I'm putting P on every caption, on every story that I've did. People have come to me. I want to know what it is. What did this P mean? I said, do your homework, man. It's P. It's just funny how someone can say something. Mm. And then within seconds, it's, within it's, seconds, it's now the yeah. new thing. Everywhere I go on the gram, I'm seeing the, the P emoji and that ain't P. People have changed their names on Twitter. The, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And they put the P. If they've got a P already, they'll change it with a, uh, that, the symbol thing. That yeah. blue symbol P in it. I'm just like... And that's slang though I know but You've seen was... the tweets About the girls getting annoyed Because um, There was that thing Chunks and Philly did When it was like And what's the other guy's name Harry Panero Yeah And there's and there was like I hate the way that You know girls are Doing this slang Like it's the for me Oh yeah Math yeah, yeah, saying math in And this that and that And, and then the girls are, And it's giving it's this giving, And giving yeah. that And that One girl tweeted So you guys have slandered us And then you're jumping on P Like there's nobody's business Hypocrites and to be honest, I had to agree with them. Yeah. But you see the whole giving thing, yeah? 
I don't want to hear no man say that. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit you. feminine, isn't it? It's giving. It's giving. <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, nah, I don't want to hear that. But sometimes let man enjoy things. You know? No, enjoy. enjoy no, enjoy, enjoy it. it, but just, just enjoy. I'm. You can enjoy, but I'm still gonna be a Grinch. You, you okay, know what it is? I, you know what I think annoys me more is because Gunner is so mid. As an artist. <laughs> respect God. I'm not gonna lie, number though. one. I'm not gonna lie. He's number one. Let's respect. From watching his interview, I kind of like his yeah, yeah. his demeanor and his aura. I don't like his wardrobe though. That one we need to have words. I don't particularly care for his music. He's but I, his whole vibe. I'll, 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 I'll be honest with you. I haven't listened to an interview of him, so maybe I'll do, I'll do that. Yeah. But in general, as an artist, he's mid. You don't feel him. He's 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 Bruno like, Mars. It takes a lot to beat Bruno Mars. Bro. No, he's a re he's a rebore. Fugger. No, it wasn't Bruno Mars. It was the weekend. He, he's, he's like fuck. Sorry, sorry. sorry. He's but like, on, but, sorry, one second. But wasn't that the weekend second week or was that the weekend first week? I think it's his first week. Oh, okay, I'm surprised. Then. He's just a reborn fugger. Without, yeah, without, happens, without the melodies, without the Lil waviness. Wayne was a reborn um, Weezy, isn't it? it happens, Lil Wayne was a, a reborn Weezy. What? Yeah. What? He was supposed to be the Lil Wayne. How can Lil Wayne be a reborn Weezy? Who? F. <laughs> Young Fug was a reborn. Oh. <laughs> Young Fug was a reborn. I just deeped it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But, yeah. That was his idol, yeah, that, but he said, and they had I'm beef paying though, because he thought he was trying, nah, but, to, nah, trying to dead but him off. In terms of in terms of stylistically, Fugger's nothing like Wayne. What? Fugger. The dreads, the tattoos, the slur. No, 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 I'm, no I'm talking. talking I'm not talking about his his appearance. I'm talking about his his, his style, style. Of, of rapping. His style of rapping is not I don't think Wayne and Fugger. Not, no, of course, no, no, no. Wayne no. and Fugger are not even comparable. Yeah, no, of course, but it was and Fug, Fugger's more uh, melodic, melodic. Absolutely, than, yeah. yeah. But I, I, that's why I'm, and Fugger's not Fugger. But it was it was literally because it's the cash money thing. Like the Wayne's, he's going into legendary. I won't say he's falling off, but he's going into that legend legendary status. You know what's and weird? And then he's right underneath Baby as his new one under his wing. So it was kind of like one yeah, because that. that's when Wayne yeah. fell out with with with, um, with Birdman. With Birdman. Yeah, you yeah. know what? Wayne has fallen off, mm. but every so often he does a feature. And oh, he still got he still got something. Who was he on recently? Corday. With yeah, his verse. Yeah, I, I liked his verse. It was hard. I don't think Wayne fell off. Wayne just wasn't active. No, he was. Like, have your time though. I think he was active still. But remember, he did the time where he was pushing out stuff all the time. But so, did 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 he release projects that flopped? I think his last one went platinum. You know what I mean, but mm. that's kind of is it platinum because it's him. No, because it's like it's hitting, or is it? Because you kind of get like those listens due to I respect you so much, so I'm gonna tune in. You kind of get them listens and them streams, mm. but not to say like culturally wasn't really. It's like oh, little Wayne's drop. Well, yeah, 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 no, old, yeah, yeah, no, Wayne hasn't been as relevant in recent years. Yeah, relevant. He hasn't been as active as well. Mm. And I think there was a period of time when maybe he wasn't rapping to a high level. Mm. But I never thought of him as someone who fell off. I just looked at him as someone who was just absolute. taking a break. Yeah, and obviously the whole. Birdman situation that the whole beef they had in the lawsuit and stuff that slowed him up anyway. Oh yeah, true. Remember true. he was supposed to release the car of five, mm. and then he didn't release it until God knows how many years later because of the whole the lawsuit in it. So, mm. uh, but, yeah. certain people that when you get to a certain level, it's not really fall off; you're just transitioning. Yeah. So it's the Jays and, mm. and um, pushing P, pushing that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. Um, all right, cool. Um, I'm trying to think. I've got quite a few things on my docket still, but I'm trying to think what to what to get into first. One second. Um, uh, I saw something that you, I know K would have been happy about. Um, I think one Canadian girl said, "Ah, um, I love UK guys." Um, Twitter, and uh, so people ran with it and said, "Oh, our stocks are up, UK guys," and um, so basically, loads of UK women mm. were. Um, in the quote tweet saying because uh, she said one girl's yeah it's a romance for me that's what one of the Canadian yeah, yeah. girls and then UK girls were in her oh, you, you don't know about these guys this guy and everything and then one guy said oh see you know when they said that UK women are bad vibes he's not proving it by being in the QTs and let people live I said people have got time these same UK women are slandering UK men their, their boyfriends are from the UK so reality you know what I mean the guys that they fancy on the daily mm-hmm. we're here exactly all right, did anyone see the clip of that brother who's supposedly 5'1"? <laughs> <laughs> no? All right, so... No, 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 I'm going to play it. Everyone go ahead for it. Well, I've heard it already. Yeah. All right, cool. Let me play it. 
to the women who tried to shame me for being 5-1. Oh, this. And the women who tried to shame me for being 5-1 only. There is no issue with me being 5-1. How dare you try to shame me for my height? How dare you try to shame me for my height when it's not the height that makes the man? If I was born like this, then so be it. That's an incidental characteristic. But just because I'm short doesn't mean that I'm not intelligent. Just because I'm short doesn't mean that I don't have emotional maturity. Just because I'm short doesn't mean that I don't have a good job. Just because I'm short doesn't mean that I'm not romantic. Don't ever try to shame me over my height again. The thing is, yeah. I was not even going to attack this with a, with a mature hat. Five-one is fucking short. <laughs> Bro, don't I'm not gonna lie. He, he he's five-one. Five I don't yeah. think there's girls who are five-one. Uh, oh. No, they're, 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 you'll be oh, hard. No, 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 no. You'll be hard pressed to find a girl in London who's five-one. Now there's a couple, but to be honest, he needs to grow up. My dad would call it. A he, he, he definitely needs to grow up because that's mad. Five-one. But you know, no, wait, 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 get take a load of what you're saying. Man said he needs to grow up. I thought you were talking about the content you oh, released. He's doing he he double entendre. But the thing yes, is, I can't bro. watch that video and, not, like, and attack it with a mature <laughs> viewpoint. What, what height would he have had to be for you to be like, you know what? I feel your pain, brother. At least five, five. <laughs> that means borderline on the wolf. Yeah, uh, shit. You know, no, you know what? The thing is, five one is bad because even the short babes. Yeah. You're not really. The thing is, he has to he has to find women who are like four. No, like deep, actual deep, deep, deep. I'm saying four. <laughs> four, four, seven. Is four, seven even a height? Yeah. It sounds weird, doesn't it? it four, seven. Weird. Four, seven. <laughs> four, seven. Four, seven. Sounds like a gun. You know what it is? He has to get those babies that maybe four, ten. Me, t- nah, but this this video is hard to take serious because one, he's 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 attacking it a bit too serious. He seems like he's. I mean. It's, it's, it's I, too, it's too no, serious. But you can tell it's pain, bro. It's pain. No, no. but no, but no, but it don't seem genuine. Seems, no, no, it seems no, kind of I fake. think no, I think he's had other videos before. I, I think I've seen them floating around, yeah. but I've never watched them. Okay, where he's kind of telling men that they're like, you know, one of them, them, them dweeby guys that say, oh yeah. yeah, men need to do this and blah blah blah. Yeah. So I think someone went and found out his height, and that's why he's he's like, oh okay, okay. It's okay, a response okay. video to his oh. people shaming about his height, um, being five one, but big man. Five, Hold on. That's, that's about hearing it. What's five one in meters? Six foot is um. What? It's one point five. <laughs> I told you, I'm I'm attacking this with immaturity. No, five one's about here. No, it's about here, bro. No, five one is no. Not... Sorry, does he have? A video? Does he have any? He's a video about his. his... I guarantee he's probably be now. in the car all the time. He's sitting there. <laughs> hey, fuck us. Hey, you stop it, <laughs> Jason. How tall is Torrelines? Tory Lanez. This is about 5'4". Ask him. About 5'4"? Yeah, Tory Lanez is not that Raw. tall. Raw. Well, so this Don is... Or maybe 5'5". Five, 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 this Don is shorter than Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez is pretty, is pretty small. Mm, pretty small still. Ah, do you remember the Tory Lanez kid? When he, when he was... <laughs> the freeze. Uh, which, 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 oh, when he stood up. When he was rapping on Sway the and first time. He was the same height. And he stood up and he was the yeah, same height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So can you imagine that short? The man, he's... Tory Lanez is what? 5'5". Yeah. Say 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. That guy is 5'1". So why did you say they got onto him about his height again? Did, was because, he doing something stupid? Like he was doing videos. Like, you know, like when the, those guys are, oh yeah, man, you're the prize and doing those kind of videos. Motivational videos. Yeah. Boosting up men. Yeah, and, yeah, but he was... And then women found out his, his height and then piped him down. As they do. Yeah. Oh, he was doing a, a good work. Well, some of his videos, I, I think I saw one of the clips was a bit... Misogynistic Yeah misogynistic it was oh, a bit, Or was he? No, but then the thing he is, deserves everything as thing is, as a, as a man, I need to see this video no, but as no, a, no 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 If he's been misogynistic That's not We're not bringing that into 2022 You can't But the thing <laughs> is, the thing is As a man <laughs> To go on the internet And to give any type of advice Or even be misogynistic There has to be a height requirement <laughs> No no 100% No there has to be, has to be. No, no, no. Abide by patriarchy at least There has to be There has to be 100% You, you can't be a beta male ass nigga <laughs> Come be 5-1 on, on the net <laughs> Talking up the things? No, nah, you can't do that. I'm Impossible. not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I Why? think no. Why? The thing what if is, he's rich though. Huh? No, no, no. He ain't rich. He ain't ri- no. The thing is, <laughs> if wow. you're no, but if you're but he's not rich. Though. If you're five one, you shouldn't be hootling and hollering on the internet at all. You should just at all because once they find out your height, 
Matter of fact, you even within yourself should know. Shouldn't even have the gusto, bro. You can't do that. Why? Try and silence ugly women on the net. No, this is not about ugly. This is not about ugly women. I know it's not. <laughs> yes, I said it. I took it there. 2022. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, I'm saying you cannot silence a human being who has freedom of speech because of a quote unquote social impediment. You can't do it. I, no, I hate no. You no, right hate, now. Yeah, in we're this doing moment, it. I am. I'm doing it. <laughs> no, but I hate you. In put the music behind that. Did you do that? No, he did. Oh so I'm saying it's not serious. No, so someone, no, someone put the video because it wasn't. Like music. Oh, but I don't think there was music before. But in general, yes, you're speaking logically. But in in the world that we live in, yeah. and as men, we yeah. know if you're five one. Bro, you just, you got, you, you, you're... Sam, you got... if you walked in this room, he'll be the same height as the handle. <laughs> calm. He'll walk in level with the handle. It's calm. Can't no. chat wicked on the net, no, bro. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, that, that's... Yo, someone lying. bring out a measuring tape right now. 1.5 meters is not that. This guy is such a liar. F- five one is... I don't know what you're doing. Five, no, five, five, I'm just saying. 5'11 is 1.8. I know, I used to play pro, pro evil. Where's I? Is that his head is not his waist. <laughs> he ain't giving Brent neck. No. No. <laughs> Man's giving brain standing up, man. <laughs> Absolute deviant, bro. <laughs> 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 Listen, there, there is no height shaming, man. If five foot, then I'm at least 10. Precisely. Uh, okay, you know what it'd be? Probably, you know. Bro, he comes to your chest. You know, no, 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 no. I am where, being where, wicked. I said that. But where, now, where Brent's elbow is, <laughs> impossible. <laughs> Brent, you've hugged many a 5'5 five, five girl, so you kind of know where that comes up. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's what? Yeah. 10 centimeters less. No, no, no. If you're hugging 5'5 five, five girls, their chest is, their face is all up in your chest. Yeah, so, so you can get a belly button at least. <laughs> like, face. The fuck is going Wait, on? The midriff. Imagine being a man and hugging another man and your face is on his chest. That's dead. That's wild. It's wild. Uh, I've done it to my father when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, but you're, yeah, but you're a child. Yeah, but you a grown no, man. No, I was a you're child. a child. I was old enough. How, how tall is your dad? He was tall. I was shorter then. <laughs> so when you, hugged, when you hugged your dad... Yeah, my head was on his chest. Yeah, as a mm. child. As a, as a growing man. Growing this, man, This yeah. guy is a full-grown adult. I don't know what, what your problem is with this guy, to be honest. Why? Why? I'm just saying, bro. I'm not attacking this with maturity. I'm telling you. You're 5'1". You can't be on the net chatting wicked, bro. 100%. He shouldn't be. <laughs> he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be. That's what he did, bro. <laughs> he should not be. Bro, that's, that's really like... 5'1", for a man, is really short. We really need to find for, uh, no. the average is at least what is five nine five eight for the world average. Yes, five, no, I think the world average is like five seven. Somewhere around. Perhaps so. If the world average five seven, no, it can't be because women women is five three or five four, and it's always been. And I know five three. I know five foot two women, and they're short. So if I know if, like I, I know someone's five foot two, I'm thinking that he's shorter than her. They they won't have a conversation. She won't allow him. You know, I think you know when you, you know in his car he's got a cushion. Yeah, of course. At the barbie seat, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. You gotta have a cushion. Mm. How's he supposed to see over the over the the wheel? Mm. He's got to lower the wheel. Lower the wheel. Lower the wheel. Well. Cushion. You he got on the little steps in the car. The step downs. <laughs> like we must alight at the jubilee. That's, <laughs> that's, that's drive like this so we can pass. It. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know what I keep thinking of it randomly? You said your boy. He got the pattern in the airline, so he's always in the. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what he's too funny. What idiot. Um, all right, go on. So off air, we we're chatting about something, can it? Yeah. Remember. Oh yeah, yeah. speaking of my boys, bro. Sad story. I know you probably don't want to hear this, but one of my boys recently, recently, uncovered, discovered mm. that his child of twelve years. Is not his child. Damn it, man. Craziness, bro. That's mad. All right, so question is, though, after 12 years, you find out that... Well, the first question for me, for him is, why did it take you this long to do a test? Or how did you even find out? Do you know, like, the ins and outs? It was a bit too disheveled. I couldn't really ask him the Pacific. Okay, but okay. I suspect, because I heard yeah. that, the girl was seeing two guys at the same time. Yeah. Suspected it was assuming life like it's his, not necessarily yeah, trying yeah. to trick man or nothing. Yeah. But just, yeah, the yeah, assumption yeah, yeah. that we were together at this time you know, in when my you, head. When you do calculations. No, but the thing is, yeah. as a woman, if you're unsure, if you've had two sexual partners around the time you got pregnant, you should do a test. 
hundred percent. Morally, or because some people don't care. No, but yeah, no. If you don't care, that's your problem. But morally, what, you what should. What I mean is, if you're if you're unsure, if you have any element of doubt who the father is, do a test. But obviously, she had her preference. Of yeah, who yeah. she wanted to be to who she the want, father. To who she exactly. wanted the, the father, father yeah, to be. He's like, oh, he's got better qualities. So rather than doing tests and finding out for sure, she just ran with her favorite. Mm. You know That's I mean? mad. All right, so the question is, after 12 years of raising a child, yeah, wholeheartedly believing that child's yours, being in that person's life 100%, you find out after 12 years it's not yours, could you walk away? Skirt. Out of there with the quickness, bro. There is. You lied to me. <laughs> Seriously. I, I have to like, I'm trying to exit no, The emotion might keep me I know But ideally I don't want to be yeah, there Yeah but you're forgetting though You've You've raised this child As your own uh, For yeah. 12 years mm. In your mind There was no doubt It was yours So You're fully engrossed In fatherhood How easy is it is for you To just walk away I don't That's what like, I'm saying It's not easy yeah, I, don't I know but you, you, you were like Skirt Like you make it but, seem but like I was... really want out of there bro but the motion the, Like you say But the thing is Because your Your anger is not Really directed at the child No It's at the mum for keeping but it from I, you. I wouldn't be so able to stay is there. You're scurrying away more to get away from her or from the child. The web of lies, bro. Deception. No, no, I'm yeah. I know I hear you, I'm with you. But what I'm saying is, I think I'm trying to gauge how hard it will be for you to, to leave. I think the man in me would want to see him through to his 18. Mm, and once he's 18, done with it. Yeah, I've got I've got to find my new my new woman. I've got to do my life, you know, the right way. I, 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 the thing is, I wait, hear what you're saying, but I don't think you'd be able to, even at 18, to say, you know what, I'm never going to see or speak to you again. You're going to check in with him. I might or her. A little criminal car, you know? <laughs> <laughs> a little happy Kwanzaa or something, bro. Nah. Would, you, would you explain, so you find out at 12, so you find out what the child's 12, would you tell the child? Also. Then, or would you wait? Um, would I tell the child? Obviously, you tell the child eventually. Mm. But would you tell the child then, or would you wait a bit? Mm. I'll perhaps wait Until when? 12, 12 What year is that? Year 7, 8? Mm. No, that's that's about year 6 or year No, no, year, yeah. se- year, seven. year 7 Yeah, 11 You're 11 in year 6 um, He's got to know before he's 16 Bro, I'm just tell him then I love him I love him there's any point waiting Yeah mm. I used to be like, look by the way, I'm not your dad. Little nigga. Nah, nah, don't, don't, don't pay me to be that. <laughs> that's that's you. <laughs> hey, fuck your fault, cause listen, would it, would your decision to stay mm. be impacted if the father, the, the obviously the, um, the one your girl, or yeah, your wife, whoever, yeah. knew who the father was, but he was incapable of being a father, i.e., deadbeat, in jail, or. Uh, didn't even want anything to do with it. What, or, would that encourage me dead. to stay? Yeah. That pissed, me, that that pissed you, me off even more. Because you know Because that. you knew who the father was and where he was this whole time. Yeah, and you <laughs> and the thing is, that would piss me off because I, I would know you chose me yeah. because you knew that I, I, yeah. I would stay. No, but that might not have been his trajectory at conception. That yeah. might have been, you know, while the child was five. Yeah, no, no. no but to something, might no, but die, she, if, might have been being whatever. If she knew, hmm. she's only... She's kept me there because she thought I was a better candidate. If she if she wanted the other guy, for example, she would go and get a test. But in if you've made the decision to move forward with said guy, mm. in your mind, it's like, this is who I want to be the father. Mm. The thing, the mm. thing is, there could be numerous re- reasons why she didn't want to do a test or quote unquote chose this guy. It could be a case that the other guy maybe didn't want her anyway. Mm. And, that, been a, and that, a young fling or something. Yeah, and then and then you did did want to be with her. Whatever. There's so many different variables in it. But at the end of the day, the f- one thing that is true is that you lied to me. You know what I mean? So my my frustrations is at her, not at the child. So for me, the obviously, relationship done, but still. Yeah, obviously, yeah. if I'm with the mother, then relationship's done completely. In terms of me being a father, I, I can't be I can't lie to myself and say I can walk away from my child because this is this is this is my child. At this point, regardless of the fact that mm. Biologically, this isn't my child right now. Like I found out that it's not. But for twelve, now long twelve years is it's a long time. I believe this is my child one thousand percent. Question: Would you, what, so oh in my God. in my brain, this is my child. Mm. That's not going to switch off overnight. Never. So, it, so it's going to take, and I'm I'm invested emotionally. I'm trying to say so for me to walk away from that child would be extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. Um, would you? It's then, hard. It's hard. It's hard. Would, Okay, you're not all gonna walk away from a child. You're still gonna. Would you stay with him in the house? Of course not. No, no. Me, me, and the mother's relationship is over. Oh, okay. So uh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm completely leaving. 
But now it's about, okay, cool. How do I, or do I want to remain in the child's life? Because at the end of the day, this is not the child's fault. Yeah. So no, like, I hear you, I hear you. you know what I mean? So like, you just basically say, you know what? We need to separate. Yeah. But I want to be in this child's life because... I don't know. I'm not saying I, I do or I don't at this point. I just know <coughs> one thing for certain. I know I can't just walk away just like that. Mm. For sure. Are you trying to walk away though? I don't know. I because, think that's my um, because I, I can't be in this situation any longer because 12 years of deceit would rattle me. No, it would rattle me. But remember, mm. my, my anger... And obviously... I'm not in this situation, so it's half. Maybe I'm not speaking the truth to how I would actually react, but my anger wouldn't be towards the child, so mm. it's all towards the mum. Mm. So in that respect, obviously, communicating with the child would mean still having the mum in my life, so that would add a bit, a little nuance to it because I, I want to remove myself from you completely. Yeah. Mm. But for me to still be in contact with this child, I still need to be in contact with you, and you're the enemy. Mm. So that's where it might get a bit Technical. You just did me wrong. Um, it's hard, man, because I think one thing that we need to remember is you believe this is your child, and this is your child. That like you've raised a child for twelve years. Yeah. You found out that scientifically, it's, it's not. Mad. It's mad. Nah, it's my son, but it's not my child. I, I know, but you've just found this out, though, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean, I'm scared. Like your whole mindset is not going to just flip. Just, just this like life that. is scary, you know. You know what I mean. Life is scary. real scary because that scenario is crazy. I, you know what? I, I'll tell you about another scenario. I see. Well, imagine you're with somebody mm. and you're raising your children with them, but then they go on holiday every summer holiday. Yeah. And then one day they come back, like they say, they to do this yeah. for a couple of years. Yeah. And they say, "Oh, um, my cousin's coming to stay over." Mm. Um, do you mind or whatever? Yeah. So this cousin, said cousin comes. And then you find out it's not a cousin. It's it's someone that, that they're with. Run that back. Hold on, start again. Oh, hello, hello. You're with a woman. Yeah. You're raising your child. Oh, I get it. Yeah. She says, oh, I like to go on summer holidays. And, you know, but you say, oh, well, I can't really do that because we've got the kids, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. You go enjoy yourself. Go with you. Yeah. Go back home. Yeah. And then you like she's ah like, oh, one time she's ah like, oh, you know my cousin's gonna come over yeah. to stay with us. You do you mind? He's like no, it's cousin. You As in the house that I'm living in. Yes. Okay. As in the male cousin, female cousin, male cousin. Okay. And then you find out that's not a male, that's not her cousin. Who is it? It's her guy. It's the male man. The guy that she's been seeing. Wait, but who am I? I'm confused. Who you're you're her guy. So why is why is my woman? Bringing her another man to the house. I don't understand how this. But she's is. audacious. Flying in from wherever. This is some, but this is, seems so far fetched to me. <laughs> not, so, so my, so my. No, but you never had, remember the days when maybe my uncle, my auntie's coming to wait, stay. Wait, so, 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 so like, my wife, my girlfriend, my partner, whatever, yes. is saying, "Use, can my cousin come and stay over?" Yes, they're, they're coming over. But okay. it's not her cousin; it's her man. It's her yeah, cyclist. no, but you don't know. You don't know. That what is this? This is all. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's crazy. No, it sounds no, no, no. It sounds nuts. It sounds nuts. Yeah, but imagine like this cousin's coming. You know how audacious that is! That's <laughs> mad. But true story. Oh, ha- oh, you talking about this actually happened? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think. Where no, are you this, getting this from? This, this is not random. A, you know, I don't use hyper. This. Is oh, a, this is real. <laughs> this is real. Oh, okay, 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 cool. Nuts, All right. So what what happened once the man found out? Just said, "All right, cool." Like it wasn't didn't fly off the handle. Just he didn't fly off the handle. He's a better man than me. <laughs> wow. But yeah, just obviously they broke up, but she would stay with the guy. <laughs> you just no, I'm all types of confused. <laughs> you just this, is, this is very Mori Povich. Because you had the audacity, you had the goal. The unmitigated goal. To invite your side man over to our house. Like you don't respect me in any shape or form. No, clearly. But the thing like, is, I paid the bill. No, just, hold on. Was this like a friend of yours, or was the story you heard? From no, this is a, this is a story. This is not, not a close friend. And what, do you know what? Who do you know? How the the who, guy, who the, the guy, the couch hopper, or no, no, the guy, not the, not, <laughs> not the couch hopper, the guy that this all okay, happened okay, okay, okay. kind of thing. Women are like evil. Bro, I, I'm women just a sure. Evil. You thought faith when I said it was real. Was this how? When I was sitting listening, I was like... No, because I can't believe that. I can't even believe that's real. Because <laughs> no, I couldn't comprehend it. Listen, that brings... No, but the thing is... Bro, that's crazy. What I was like, in that situation, that man knew something was wrong. Because I, he must have known deep down 
Because if your missus is disappearing every every summer, yeah, and you're not with her, you have children. Yeah. Why is the children not going with her? Oh, she disappears by herself every summer. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, it's weird, but obviously you can spin it going to see my folks, my family. No, I hear that. You can mm-hmm. say, oh, like, say you've got a, 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 a mom, dad, granny live, or something. Yeah, that live abroad. You say, oh, yeah, I'm going to take a week, whatever. But eventually you'd be you like, take a you take one of these, you'd be like, yeah. You'd be like, oh, take, 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 fishy, go you know, on, take yeah. the sun, etc. Or we'll you'd be, be like, cheating. We'll be cheating. <laughs> like, oh, why can't we go as a family? Bro, listen, I think that would drive me. See that situation? No, 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 that is deception on the highest scale. And this is going to be spudding me. You're going to be Ving Rhames in the kitchen making eggs. <laughs> you drank all the cool <laughs> bro. No, 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 no. That one will spin me. That's how men turn mental. No, no can you imagine like you go work? Because you're seeing it as just a cousin. You go work while you're at work. Play my PlayStation. Man, try to do a sneaky one while you're at work. Drop the kids off at school. I just want to have a cake and eat it too. To be honest, I, I'm not going to lie to you. That situation, I'll be in prison. Mm. That's wild. Do you think, and even thinking about Ghana, bro, mm. I think, and I was, uh, I discussed this with um, Gloria, I was like, I think when men get bashed for cheating, it is based on um, inconclusive evidence. And I, and, I, and I mean, when I say that is, we know the amount of men that cheat more often because them get catch. But women are cheating and not because they're necessarily better, just men don't rate. You see when you said you can't even fathom it, like, mm. we, the, we can't fathom the woman that we chose that after all of the sorting and shifting and filtering that we put on such a high pedestal could ever step out on you. But that's, that's where we fuck up because... No, no, I can fathom cheating. But this is not really easy scrapping. <laughs> no, that is wild. But I really think, yeah, they are so... And I saw it in Ghana, man. It was so scary. No, but did you see it? Because I was talking to Gina about this. That she was like, you two are in a club and you were like, oh, that girl, I know her partner, but she's kiki keen with that guy. You didn't see her cheat. You just saw her kiki with a guy. No, but that's bad, though. No, but is that cheating? It's it's cheating. And this is the question I was going to pose. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. If, before we go on. Let me ask you. No, no, hear me out. Hear me mm-hmm. out. So you're... The diatribe you just you just spat before we got mm. here, yeah. So you're basing that all on just conversation. No, 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 no. Not on not on anything else. No, I'm too, obviously the, I'm saying. And what's key, key, key? Okay, let me address the first one first. Right? I'm basically saying, in a nutshell, a lot of men are getting cheated on, and they don't. Also, know. move, move, move right now. So a lot of men are getting cheated on, yeah, facts. and they don't know. Facts. So oh, that's the num- That's what I'm saying. The statistics are fudge because. Men are out there either being sloppy. Yeah. Women naturally assume men cheat because all men are yeah, trash. men don't assume that women cheat. Exactly. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of scandalous drones out there. That's no, no, the there is. Part. No, I agree with you. But what I'm trying to I'm trying to ascertain is you didn't see her. You didn't see any cheating. You no, just saw. No, you talk about the second part. You, you just saw no, to me, girls that's what I'm you saying. know talking to guys. But that's no, but the thing is, it, no, but you don't know what the conversation is. No, no, it's not the thing is, are you are you more talking about? Come on, Sid. are you more saying not the conversation because you're saying kiki kian, but more the interaction, the the actual, the the. If I transported your boyfriend from London and dropped him into the all white party, yeah, and you could see this. It's a domestic. Yeah, it's a domestic yeah. because of. The interaction that maybe he might deem the interaction as being it's cheating. a bit too flirtatious. Well, it, might, t- it might be, it might be level one. It's not bruv. Bro, of course, intercourse is the highest of the highest. No, no, I'm not even talking about intercourse because mm-hmm. I, I believe that having, you know, conversations with someone and plotting and whatever is cheating to me without any, inter- yeah, without any um, sexual intercourse. But mm-hmm. what you're describing to me could be anything because you're, you're way in the yonder and you're seeing someone you know in a dance. You don't know what the conversation is. Bro, you know what gingering looks like. You do it. All right. So you just said that, um, Yusuf, you believe that plotting to cheat, mm. it's cheating. it is cheating. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I got. Uh, yes. You know. You know what? You, you, you know just haven't. You haven't. Got you, have, there you haven't got there. You know what? <laughs> but you're planning to. I watch. You know. I watch you over you Christmas. All right. So uh, can I say? say I watch. Oh. Uh, why did I get married too? Yeah. Randomly, I, I, I know. I thought I'd watch it. But I had watched it. Before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a scene where Tyler Perry's wife starts acting mad different. Mm. Starts 
um, started to have more sex. She's um, come home from work. She's got flowers. She says, like, oh, you got flowers? There wasn't no note with it. She's like, nah, nah, nah. But he saw the street with a note. Mm. Anyway, he did go into bed. And she's there. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put... Um, she's doing her hair. She's like, oh, I'm going to wear this like laundry kind yeah. of thing to work. Like, this is what she's wearing underneath her. Yeah. And he's like, oh, there's, an, well, there's another side part. But basically, when he's, if she gets to bed, she starts kissing him. He goes, who is he? <laughs> <laughs> and he, she was like, "What?" When you know, you know. He goes, "No, no, who is he?" Because he go, he said he goes, oh, "About six weeks ago, everything was different. You start having more sex. Um, you're wearing like really different stuff to work. You're happy when you come home from work. What's going on?" He goes, "Oh, nothing's happened. I just met him at a meeting, and we'd gone to dinner." I was like, <laughs> "The thing is, you know, you know what one of the issues is hmm. that he didn't." Um, so he's described all these things that he's seen in his missus that he didn't provide. He didn't provide any of those things, and he don't see that as an issue. Like he, he just said, "Oh, you're this, you're that, the act." He didn't even contribute to anything. Don't that. you and- dare victim blame. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> no, but <laughs> Come on. even though he's caught in the act, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. But this is delve a bit deeper. The <laughs> fact that he's spewing all this and not one thought, run. I didn't contribute to any of this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, the thing is, in like, that, there, there's the issue. Well, even though what she's doing is not a justification, no, 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 but it, there lies a bit of the issue. No, it? no, but, but the issue is not if I, if you go to your 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 place of work, and you come home happy, I'm gonna see, I'm not gonna say uh, today, but if someone like you come home, like you can have a good day and all yeah. that work, <laughs> but if your behavior changes significantly, significantly from that time, ty- from a yeah. particular time, yeah. you start to know. It's like, hold on. As you said, I haven't contributed to any of this yeah. behavior change. Your 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 spider senses start will probably tingle. Yeah, flowers come come to your house like I didn't buy you flowers. This. Is a major red flag. How could another man be sending you flowers? What oh. was that excuse? Do you remember it properly? She said, "Ah, oh, no, I just I, I can't remember what her excuse was." But she was might that just, alluding to a man. Did she try and make it off like, "Oh, my girl did it"? Or yeah, like work gave her like work, work gave her. Oh, she, lied, she lied about. Okay. She like she lied about. Oh yeah, work gave her the flag, and there was no card. Okay. He asked her, where's the card? Yeah. Cause you know, obviously yeah. that was coming from. Like. Oh, I saw that actually. I saw, I didn't read the story, but I saw the other day, oh, a woman left her husband of certain, certain years to marry her work husband or to get with her work husband. Aye. Yeah, so she left her actual real life partner and started dating her work husband. That's my story. I'm, I'm flabbergasted, but I understand it. I do understand it because, and I don't agree with it, but because I he's... would choke a work husband. You know? <laughs> I'd choke him out. A work husband. A dweeb. <laughs> Strangle him like this, bro. You don't know, hang him upside down, <laughs> shake him for your change. No, bro. Get your own woman, you good. He's <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> Man's at work every day praying on my missus. Ah, oh, I'm living. You seem to be waiting outside in the car park. This bro, do you know how tough that is? Because you were just like on teams, uh, what time you go for lunch? They be going wagon mamas. They be getting mocha lattes, and, and he and he knows her favorite latte. T- oh, with the hazelnut. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know it. Oh, you, you don't even know this. Work husband for dead. That, <laughs> think about it, because then he's in the morning. You know, she comes in. He's got two two coffees. Oh yeah, I got you, I got you the hazelnut. He's a, he's a simp though. So. <laughs> no, but he's he's he, he no, just, a simp. He's a simp. He's why why is he characterized like that? Do you think all work husbands look like? What you're suggesting? No, but he's a simp because he knows she has a missus, but yeah, he's doing clown. He's doing dancing. Big man, go and find your own woman. That's a simp? In this scenario, yeah, if a simp. man knows a woman has a, a boyfriend, yeah. why are you doing why are you doing step boyfriend? That, that, yeah, wow. no, step no. boyfriend? Yeah. How do you mean? He's doing step he's doing why boyfriend. Step boyfriend? That's how boyfriend mean? duties because okay, if, cool. okay, cool. Why are you doing work husband? Is basically what I'm asking. What what how do you classify work husband? Everything I just I just see it as a guy who wants to basically get Something that isn't his. Okay, he can be classified as that as well. Then. As a simp, if you're doing no, when I say I, I see what you mean. Let him be a simp. If, if, not, if, you're, not, if you're doing, <laughs> if you're doing, I'm gonna buy your your coffee, and you're doing. Ah, oh, so how how's like that your nigga d- wants to get in the panties yeah, of, a, of he, a woman that is not he's his. He's a simp. He's a simp. He's a simp. I think wow, you, you, okay. you, you define simp. As a, you can still be a simp. Nah, in, in that those mannerisms and and plus that's that's desperativity to me. And, and uh, he wants to literally lace that chick. Yeah, and he's a yeah. simp for it. He's a simp. All right. Yeah. Okay. If, if she's not reciprocating, 
it's it's definitely a sin. Well, you think that also you know added an extra um factor to Urban it. Dictionary. Well, you you think uh, because he wants to lace her that he can't be a sin? Why? No, because in my mind he is just a nigga that she desires. No, she doesn't necessarily desire no, him. He, well, desi- if, he desires Well, you know, adding more. No, no, because in some cases. No, you chose what you wanted. I like. <laughs> so no, no, I, I, no, I just heard y'all say mm-hmm. that this particular woman, she's gone to work and she's changed her entire flipping oh, no, 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 lifestyle. No, 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 this, no, no, this is not real. He's, he's better. We parked that one from the front. Yeah, no, no, that's not real. We're talking about What's generalized. This? General, like, Give me like, the generalized thing, so please. I, was I want to be on the situation. same page as you all. Now, we're saying, like, the work husbands that will probably, the guys that will be like, ah, oh, they know she's got a boyfriend. But they'll be like, ah, oh, let me see if I can worm my way in by doing the things I know she likes by, <laughs> by studying her. A simp. That nigga just wants to rock books. So and he's still a he's simp. Gay. He's, he's just using <laughs> game. <laughs> what exactly? I can't. What? Nah, no, if she nah. doesn't want it, Nah. He's simping. He's then simp. cool. Simp. That's simp. that's that's what you. No, no, no. The thing he's is, in, in, in cases, he's a simp. What, in, in cases that Oof. there's a lot of occasions, she probably doesn't want it. But what happens is, is the is is that behavior persistent? That persistent behavior can get through the 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 the, the guard. Because women are suckers. I can break it down. Break it down. I'm just saying through <laughs> the guard. Because Might even break it down. It's, it's he could just it. be getting used. Who? He could just be getting used. He might yeah. not even be breaking her down. Yes, he could be. And mm. then you guys will then say, yeah, he's a simp because no, he's, he's being used. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. No, he's a sucker. Yeah, that, that, you know what, that, trying that, to steal my woman. You're a sucker. That, that, the <laughs> thing is, the fact that she married the guy, <laughs> but I understand it in a sense that... So wait, wait, y'all have never, ever... Wait, what are we talking about? Ever. Here? Been a work husband. Huh? Lace the chick, right? Who was not yours. And was belonged to somebody else. I definitely no. Don't, don't, no, he no, is no. chasing. He's pursuing. Them. He's doing the work. I mean, he's you're, you're at work in pursuit. You're at work. Like he's doing you're boyfriend stuff. That's yeah, he's doing boyfriend. You're a deviant. You're a deviant. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> because so, in my if, mind, I'm working. If if a woman who has I'm a man overtime, man. just puts the pussy in your lap, <laughs> boom, like that, that's not being a simp. That's his life. The woman just came and just gave it to you. Boom. But if you chase her, in this her, scenario, he's chasing her. Simp. He's buying the latte with the extra cream on top, <laughs> all that stuff. Bro. Two sugars, just Monday to Friday. Like almond milk, simping, please. Uh, oh, uh, you know what? I found this nice little Italian restaurant. We can go to lunch on yeah. Friday. Oh, I made reservations. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, don't worry. I already, I already okayed it. With, with we can go lunch. It's fine. I don't, I don't know. Just to be honest, you guys I, I remember, have been on this podcast I remember, before. That's, that's only. Um, a man who's chasing a woman who has a man. If she's single, then he's not a simp. piece of doing I might be stupid. Can you read the definition of a simp, please? Yeah, the thing is, yeah, if you're single, yeah, but Brent, you want to get all technical. With no, I don't. I, I just thought let us, meant... let us use simp how we want to use uh, it. True, 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 true. true, true, true <laughs> you know what I mean? True, we don't have to do true. simp by definition means. True, so true, therefore, true. you guys are incorrect. All I'm okay. saying, the man. term describing someone who shows excessive sympathy. I like that one. Mm. And attention towards another person, typically someone who does not reciprocate the same feelings. This is it. There you go. There you go. But it's the, it's the reciprocation so that within, doesn't within that definition we can she, find. Uh, yes, yes. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. You guys started talking about. You she, are just so. She stuck changed the her sin. entire world. No, 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 I'm saying that's where you started, and then you said let's talk about it generally. So paint the picture generally for me, because if she's not reciprocating, what aren't you understanding? No, if if you you told me that she wasn't reciprocating it. Then cool, call him a sim. Yeah, that's what we did. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. Bro, that is crazy. All right, cool. Have uh, I done that? Before? I'm thinking. I think I've done that once. As in, you chased a woman, you had a man at work. At work. Oh, at work. Oh, he's bringing their lattes. Here's the thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Wait, so is she accepting all these drinks and these dinners and flowers and bringing it home? What in his? The this, first no, this, he gave. no, yours. No, 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 she'll bring that. She's gonna bring it home. Right, but she's gonna accept the the coffee. She might accept the coffee. So she, 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 no, but, she entertains no, him. You're forgetting though. A lot of women will say, "As he's been," or nice. some women should oh, say, "Oh, he's been nice." They, oh, they. That's not reciprocal. Right? Any cool. man who isn't their man, they call them their friend. Mm. So and and in in bro, their head, talk heavy, bro. And in their head, they've, they're controlling that situation. Yeah, even is, though she's she made it clear, I've got a boyfriend. It, here it is, women. If He's not advancing. Someone told me men have a problem that there are other men in the world that are just nice no. and generous. No. Not every man is affording you these um, privileges and perks that just wants to get. Some people just 
like to see do nice things for people. I was like, what type of fucked up world do you live in? I'm trying to get them drops. <laughs> no, no that does exist, of course. Sid. No, it exists. No, 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 that does exist, of course. It's but low. use your... Use your common sense. Use your common sense. With, but you they choose mean, not case to. by case basis. No, but I think it's you know it is. It's not about choosing not to. It, it's knowing that I'm gonna benefit from these situations precisely, and I'm gonna categorize you as my friend because I've got it under control, right? Because yeah. I've got it under control. But she knows what his intentions. Yeah, are. yeah because but on her end, it's music, music. Because a lot of the time. That guy is not hiding his intention that he wants At said woman. Oh. Are you okay with your wife entertaining it? Absolutely Pardon? no. No. Are you okay with your wife entertaining it? Impossible. Because she has it on control. I, I, impossible. No. Like, like the girl in the all white party getting gingered. I, 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 the thing is, <laughs> Crazy. In, 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 in essence, a lot of Women the time... Women love to receive thinking they have it under control. <laughs> I am here to woo. <clears throat> I've swooped down. Yeah, you, you might not fancy me enough. Now. You might not fancy me now. You oh, don't really? fancy me now? Oh. In three weeks? The layaway joint. I am I am the person that you fancy because I now... You have things in common. Yeah. I, 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 get, I get you. I fill in the gap that you never knew you had. Mm. And then it's like, oh, no, but... Yeah, like, because in the other world, like, this person's nice, as you said, he, they're, they're generous because they want you. And the, and the thing is, it's not... People can be kind. Anyone can be kind. Absolutely. But if someone's first intention, they say it from early, I want you, or they make a a, a notion to say, you know what, I'm really attracted to you, to you. I'd like to go on a date. You reject it. You can be my friend. So this person who still perhaps thinks that I can win you over with persistence will continue affording you these favours while she's got it under control, because you let him know two weeks ago that this can't go any further. So then he still accept the lattes. He still accept the, the lunch dates. He still hugs you with a very non-Christian hug. <laughs> <laughs> and things are still going on. But as long as he's not kissing me in the mouth, I'm not doing something wrong. This is bad. Like I can't always say, what you always have to do is, if I drop your partner, or if your partner was a fly in the wall in this situation, would they be happy? Yeah, 100%. And if, and if the answer is, Unequivocally, no. Stop that thing. Or you, yeah, you just, you just flip it around. You say, okay, if this was me in your mm. in your position, how do you feel? There you go. Literally. This is it. Would you guys receive teas and no. dinner dates from your? No, nope, no. Because I, I would still. You know why? Because I got it under control. <laughs> <laughs> I got it under control. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Uh, that's the <laughs> thing. It's kind of different because we're told it's we're kind of joking. different. That was. That, Look, he said as it. You can tell it was a he joke. said it. I know you were joking, okay. sir. You off the hook. <laughs> he said it. Yeah, because we are labeled as the pursuers. So it's just exactly how women say we can't affect and when a man marries me, because the man makes the decisions. So if a woman is giving me teas and I am not, it is easier to be swayed. Men can seduce women, um, kind of getting not get in the head, but. Seduce, seduce, women. seduce women by with favor and, and perks easier than a woman, I think, in an opposite way. Because if, if at the end of the day, rice. if I'm not on you and you work on my floor and we're doing this here, it's literally that. It, it's, oh, if you can ring me in jollof of rice, cool. No, surely you're not suggesting that a, a man who a woman's not attracted to um, can change her mind because of the amount of coffee she favors. Not for coffee, it's not, not the serious coffees. Maybe Women get sport. gassed off of niceness. It should be in, in it could it's be awesome. in, it could be intricate things that that I, I guess there's some woman like that. I it's not the type of woman I, nah. I'm interested in, to be honest. No, I'm not saying that. No, I ain't buying it. The thing is, me. no, I, I get you. That but woman, a woman could change her mind based on these little no, no, I'm, work perks. No, but it could be work no, you say work, I'm not saying small work perks. What you got like, like, take it out of the work. You, you take well, it in context of terms of like, say this said woman is in a relationship, she is unhappy, she's not being seen. Yeah. Women like to, women want to be <laughs> do women want to be seen. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. goes to work. This guy sees her. Oh, you look lovely today. That's a nice outfit. No, no, no. no Jason, you know if, if he's back, if he's Jason, you know what it is. She, she does. Wait, wait, are you saying that he's attractive or he's not attractive? 
she not she she no she she's not, not interested in even Every girl even if these days, no, is their attraction high? even if her eye, other things that even if her eyes glimmer him yeah it's not gonna last it will annoy her it's not gonna no last. no I'm not saying no I'm not gonna say it's gonna last you but might I, kiss what I'm in the mouth what I'm saying is go and leave me for Stephen and Kanye <laughs> you'll be back in two weeks I hate her easy week and a half week and a half five days and the thing is what I'm what I'm saying is it's not about. It's more about the fact of the attention and if she's that said person that in a partner a relationship where she doesn't feel she's being seen, she goes to work, this guy's complimenting her outfits, uh, he's, he's then go and be with them. Bro, it, but that's why I said it happens. Go be with them. People are in, in But guess in, what? You'll be back. Because <laughs> you don't want them. You don't actually want them. No, it's the attention. You, but you be back is is that a good thing? No, I'm not saying I want her back. I'm okay. saying you'll be, be back. back. Okay, no, cool, because cool. if you spend eight hours in a day, you're in an office, you're in an environment. You know that person. You know, depending if they work in a close team, people tend to f- form friendships. Blah blah. I'm, I'm not, not saying lie, that I agree with it. I'm one of them people. Yeah, if you're being swayed by this nigga, then just go to him, bro. I hear that. I'm I'm with you too. Mm-hmm. Just go. But I'm saying some people have relationships where, as you said, they feel like oh, I'm in control, even though the sit was the sign. I know the scenario where someone said, and it it was to do with. Like two girls with, yeah. uh, But someone said Oh no I'm, like, The girls oh, I'm interested in you So oh, no no We can be friends Later on They they, they, they may try to move to her I was like The signs were there From the From the beginning Obviously. She told you I like you mm. I like you I want you What else happens from that If someone tells you that In a normal conversation You're gonna be like Okay Like as a man Even a woman said Oh yeah I want you Okay nice but I'm not available. So yeah, I probably want to speak to you again. Why? Why do we need to be? Yeah, I don't. I don't get gassed by a woman that I'm not interested in telling me that she rates man or she's on to me. Okay. There's, there's no amount of convincement. Oh yeah, yeah, it'll be nothing. Exactly. I, I think the other way around is not like that because I'm, I'm, shake you know, your hand. Thank you for your wide. A bit of attention, a bit of kindness, uh, game charm. Can do a lot of things because, as we've heard on multiple episodes, some the looks doesn't might not even matter. It's not about the looks; it's about the treatment, the <laughs> secret sexualism. There's a lot of other things. Oh, you know what? I don't even buy. I don't even buy that either, man. I think it's a whole other cap. <laughs> I, I, really, I really do believe it. it depends on the type of woman, to be honest, because there's no type of woman I'd be interested in that would look at a, a guy who's clapped, who feels <laughs> clapped, and be like. Everything you say now means everything to me. Yeah, I don't yeah, see yeah. that. Happening. No, the thing, that's the type of guy you are, though, because you wouldn't go for that type of woman. But then there are. Oh, I do believe that this happens. Yeah, because I think it happens quite often where Morning. people are easily swayed. I think if I've been working in different office environments, I've seen some people kind of. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you want to be with someone who's easily swayed? Some people might not even see it. Five or something. Some some easily people... swayed. <laughs> <laughs> you can convince. Like it's, it's very easy to convince me otherwise. Like, what do you stand for? Nothing. <laughs> what do you stand for? Bro, it's crazy, you know. Because I'm easily swayed. No, so that is a very unattractive trait. It's a very unattractive trait. But some people don't even realize that trait because can imagine you meet someone, you're so attracted to them. This yeah. is this is not our like our general type, but yeah. in, like some people are just meet a per- person, they're so attracted to them that they kind of Forget, don't look at all these kind of intricate traces, uh, traits in a person where you're like, bro, you really don't stand for nothing. But because they think the person's nice, mm. we can be boyfriend and girlfriend. Then they realize, hold on, you, you know your 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 girlfriend is is easily. Yeah, but she's she, just, she's a bird. Like the wind blows and she's there. That would worry me. Okay, so does your girl need to have a certain level of bouginess? One hundred percent. Yeah, of course. One hundred percent. As so if she's too cotton, not cotton, accessible cotton. and friendly. It's, 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 it's wrong. No, she can be friendly. No, no, no. You can be friendly, but you can be friendly. I mean, like you have boundaries as a, as a as a person. How easily are your are your eyes turned? No, is your head turned? Sorry. Yeah, how? Hmm. Yeah. How easy? Like, like, are you just easily impressed by material? You know, things it's like, or but you can be easily impressed. Or... But it's how you handle it? No, no, no. It's, if you no, can't no. be easy impressed, I don't no. think you want to be the woman it's, who's easily. You know, impressed. it's like you see mm-hmm. you see when you get the cat and you get the little light thing. Yeah. If your woman's like that, forget it. Yeah, like she's easily impressed by status, she money. Got, she epileptic. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if if no, but no, in, no. in general, if like I'm talking, about, forget 
Do you not really just feel the flip side? If a woman met a guy and he's eat mashes his that's, yeah, his wheat, that's the same thing for a man as well. If a man's easily if he's so, if a man's head's easily turned, that's not that's not so a man what, for you. What, what's turning? Is turning acknowledging that okay? No, no. Turned, okay. persuaded. He, he will actually follow. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Cool, yeah. Nash is dropped in his face and he's out. Quick. You know what I mean? Okay, that's, that's then you're like, raw. This man has. A, the thing is, that sometimes those signs are there, but people don't see. People don't want to see them because yeah. they're like, oh, that that person's with me. But you're like, um, I'm not gonna lie. That person doesn't make any good decisions. I already said the shiny things. If your per- partner is is excited by shiny things all the, very and turn easily. That's how your 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 babes will be. Um, what's that thing? The the boat in the oh. club should be in, in someone's VIP um, section. Not motor. Oh, driving the boat. boat. Driving, driving the boat. boat. Yeah, 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 should be in the VIP section. So, babe, where did you go yesterday? Oh, I was in um whatever. I was in I don't know, and I was in the club. And I was in these guys section. What guys? Oh, there's some guys that we met. Yeah, what? guys pouring drink in your girl's mouth is a different moment. It's like, look, look, imagine you're hearing the relay the story, and you're like, oh, so where did you go yesterday? I went somewhere. I was in a section with who? Them girls were just very excited. But who did you go? Who did you go with? I went with. You giving me flashbacks. I went with Tanya. Okay, but who? Who? Yeah. Who are these guys? Oh, we don't know them. You need to reduce it. You, your head or, will be. Or, or her friend is the one that knows the boys, so she kind of parlays of all the. You know, oh, um, Stacy um, knew that guy, so we was. That's why we was with him. Bitch, stay your ass in Gen Pop. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is you doing? Listen, like, Gen Pop will. Does always run your gun, bro. Literally, Jump Jump up. Up, literally, general admission, whatever you want to call it. Stay there, bro. I actually like that. Like, What's it was that? like, Yeah, I'm not gonna jump on that table. Yeah, I know him, but I'm gonna keep myself to myself. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cap for juice. Yeah. I'm gonna stay here, literally. No, I, I respect it. Has anyone of you got, got catfish lately? Not catfish, uh, <laughs> catfish lately, Hacked. bro. Hacked. Someone tried, tried to, no, no, there's a message. Have you seen those Insta messages where people will add you? And then within seconds, they message you say, "Oh, I need your help." I've heard that's I've had happened a couple, to people. Some, some girl tried to get me on a crypto, and I've thing. seen people post. I'm like, "Why this? This is an unusual post from you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're getting hacked. They're getting hacked, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think people say, oh, "If you want your page back, you got to post this and yeah. say that like, you've made some money doing trading or whatever it is, crypto, whatever." Yeah, that has happened to me. And I'm not gonna lie; if it happens to me, I'm not. I'm not doing it. No, no. The thing is, no. I've had two messages recently, yeah. and one. Someone added me. Yeah. One thing I know, guys don't add you and then message you straight away. If they do, I, I know you. Yeah. I actually know you for somewhere. So this guy added me, then he sent a message. I just, I, I, the first line was, I need you. I said, ah, let me. I, just, I, <laughs> I read the thumbnail. The only messages I get from people, and I'm just like, even I get a message from people who have like um, verified accounts, their followers, and they're on this, just this, I don't know how to explain it, bro. I just, I don't even open it. It, I just know it's BS. No, I don't open it. I block. Delete. Even, just the other day, some girl messaged me. She added me. Then she messaged me straight away. I was talking to my friend about it. And she was like, what should I said, fine babes don't do this. This is not the maneuver of a fine baby. I just said, hi, how are you? I just, I just. No, but that, no, but that could have be, that could that no, 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 you, no, you yeah. see. No, there was I no. I hear what you're saying. No, no, no. I hear what you're saying, but that could have been you. She might just wanted. You know, no, 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 no. The I, word spit. No, 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 no. <laughs> In that situation, I know my market and I know the pattern, mm. and there was no liking. No, but sometimes there's exceptions to the rule, though. There is, but there was no liking pattern before yeah. the, the ad. Yeah. There was not. There was nothing. It was, it was just, just. It was just a follow and a, a and straight message. I said, yeah, but that might be her style. Yeah, but fine babes don't do that. We that's if regardless if that's her style. So you're basically saying wait, if you adopt wait, that, tactic, you saying a fine babe? Anyway. A fine babe never jumped to your DM before. This is what I'm, I'm saying. not saying that. What's your market? I'm saying, do you know your market? No, no, no. <laughs> as in, what do you mean? <laughs> What's your market? As in, as in, as in, as no, no. Why are you saying this? No, no. What? Let me explain. Let me explain. You don't reach yourself. I don't understand. Let me explain. You like this? No, no, no. It's too good to be true. You don't want me. You want him. Let me put you ahead. Where's Ashton Cushion? I have low self esteem. <laughs> no, mm. let me explain. There's no way you want me, girl. No, no, the thing is, I'm I'm saying that just in, in the way that things work, if there is a fine baby that jumps in your DMs, yeah. there is normally some sort of cat and mouse sometimes before they jump in your DMs. But the thing is, have you pre the page? I pre the page. And is it looking legit or not? It looked legit, but I was like, nah. I just, nah. <laughs> it, 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 That's it, it trauma. Trauma. Said, nah, trauma. Trauma has me deleting this. <laughs> More. 
What was the message? What was the first message? It was, hi, how are you? I said, no. Nah. That's just basic, you know. This no. guy says, hi, how are you? How else is she supposed to kill you the devil? <laughs> no, you know what it is. You ain't going to get me today, Satan. I'm out. <laughs> I do this. No, you know what I did? I'm never working for this guy again. No, you know what I did? I went to check. I was like, who did they follow? Yeah. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah. I said, this big guy she follows. I was like, Nah The thing is, is I fully understand What you're saying your male mutuals. Because I've seen that before But There was one mutual I, I said If you follow this nigga I said no The thing is I looked at him I, I, can't, I don't want to say it here But you know who it is okay, okay, okay. I looked at her to follow I was like I even messaged him I said do you know who this person He yeah. said no. Nah I said well, she just, She's just an adder I said nah no way <laughs> She's a collector <laughs> I said no way I just, just Ed the message yeah, I think okay. I even blocked her I said nah we're not doing that. This guy's block, blocking blessings, you know? Nah, I don't, I don't think it was the best. It just came out of a... Bless is a hi, how are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> what the fuck do you want? <laughs> heathen. <laughs> Definitely heathen. Oh, oh bro. Yeah, uh, you've been there, bro. You get that one out of the blue. It's like, how did you come across? Especially when it's like Americans. It's like, explore bro. page, isn't it? No, I get explore page, but sometimes, yeah. like, I've even with explore page. I said there's always a some sort of pattern. Yeah. They might like one pick. Okay, cool. Yeah. But they this one back. was following DM. There was no picks. No following no. DM. Bro, she's a straight shooter. She's a straight shooter. Oh, yeah. Pulling up from four. Bro, she's a straight shooter. <laughs> yeah. Like, why why play games with the, oh, let me like a couple picks and he'll like a couple picks. Big man, I'm coming straight into your DM. No, nah, but even, uh, maybe a doing? story you play, Sutton, Sutton, some sort of avenue. This was... The tactic put you off. Basically. The tactic was like, nah, I'm not on it. And plus, she wasn't level. So oh, clearly, she wasn't level. I think that's the first <laughs> okay. thing. Okay, I think so how would it be? Because you said paintings don't do this. That's the first thing. So if it was a painting and she, and she did it, what are you, what are you telling me? I'm still going to be very suspect. She wasn't level. Did you ask another guy if it is you know the girl? <laughs> just trying to find out she was a robot. I, I was like, nah. they're going to have a very boring Tuesday, anyway. <laughs> I was like, who knows? <laughs> Liverpool. The person I was going to I was like, he must know who she is. And why is she here? That's like, why, is it, why is she here? No, I, to be honest, I have to ask, why are you here? Because we've had <laughs> no interaction. She's from the multiverse. <laughs> why are you here? She's from the multiverse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just that type of person to, to think. But like, when that no, comes across your mind, like, me. do you, if you get a DM from unattractive girl, do you, you say unattractive, unattractive? Unattractive. So okay, yeah. She's not clapped, not yeah, blind, yeah. But do you automatically think, like, cause I, I I hear what you're saying when you say why are you here. No, you I, I know get... what she's saying. No, it depends. No, but is that how you look at it? Oh, well, why are you here? Yeah. No. No. You look at it straight as in I know great why you're here. And you're trying to chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You don't ever second question or second guess or nothing. If the page looks booky. If it's a normal random girl that. If it's a normal regular girl and her page is legit and it's all a fine. Normal random girl, fine. But this page just look like. But if the page is because sometimes you can tell this page is like every picture is like. Just pixelated and there's no, no, and there was hardly any likes no of some of these photos. Cl- clarity, bro. Oh, I've I've had those. You see when once there was hardly any likes. Eight hundred followers. Was, this what stood out for me. Twenty seven likes. There was hardly any likes on the. I was like, you ain't lame. This, you this is. You go go to the last picture and check when she started her page. She might have started the page yesterday. Mm. Yeah, but there was, bro. No, but you're just grabbing a girl that isn't buff. Mm. Hence why we're here. <laughs> Somebody else would say she's buff, but she's not buff. Not you. So she's buff, or she isn't your type. N- no, she's not. Our type. Oh, it's not our type. So you don't get power at all? She's not our type. No. Paranoid in what way? Like, is somebody sending you here to perhaps check if I'm faithful or are you talking about now? Oh, whenever. You don't whenever. When I'm... Like, who sent like who You're talking you about know? if I'm single or in a relationship? Both. If I'm in a relationship, I'm not replying to, to DMs. Wow. If I'm single, I like it. Yeah, but I thought I thought he was asking me that make sense? about single use. But that yeah. makes sense. But then yeah. even, even like, because obviously some people might want to do collabs or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk to me? I want to talk to you. But, but in general, I just think Make sometimes you, you might look at a thing and you think, no, I'll open it and read it. Oh, okay. Because I'm not replying. <laughs> 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 Give me affirmations. <laughs> you sick no, but man. if someone's moving to me, yeah. then what's the point? So I'm, I'm assuming y'all don't want your girlfriends to be replying to DMs and text messages and WhatsApps. No, what's that? that if you got friends that like, whatever... You respond to your friends, that's normal. No, Everybody but WhatsApp responds. isn't just friends, right? It's a it whole should be. history of... It should be your friends in there. Oh, come on, man. Maybe, maybe they, one time they were friends, but one time maybe they were flipping lovers. And they had that communication. When it comes to the 30th dinner party, oh, pain. 
You know, WhatsApp is not just. No, I'm just saying in general, there'll probably be the friends that she normally talks to. But if, yes, they may be the. What's odd, your WhatsApp looking like? Don't you have a whole set of. There might, there might be. Oh, Schmidt! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Brent tries to like paint Jason's narrative. No, me. it's because I'm hearing him say no, that in, WhatsApp in that is different yes. than DMs. You know what? And no, stuff, no it's it? DMs and WhatsApp. No, it's different because that person would have to, would have, have to had your number. Mm. I hear that, but he was, I, suggesting, I he was suggesting that they aren't, they're only friends on WhatsApp. They're only like, like brethren on WhatsApp. When no, WhatsApp is just a messenger right, service. It's true. It's true. A whole set of you're history. Right, you're right. You're right. And you know, you know how like, women sometimes want to control situations. So, either friend, if your woman is old links or whatever that she's got in her WhatsApp is just getting advancements from man, and she's handling it accordingly. Do you care to know? No. No, that's not something she has to tell me. I don't care to know about those those kind of conversations, whatever, because mm-hmm. I trust you as a person. Yeah. Like, you would, like, logically, if you get in a DM and someone's advancing on you, you just don't, shouldn't respond. Because you know, you, if you're saying, you see, you're, if you're you're saying again, thank you, that's why I'm questioning what you're saying. Because you're, you're suggesting she shouldn't respond to the DM, right? But it's fine to WhatsApp. respond to WhatsApp. Or the WhatsApp. So you use common, use your. No, but if it's cars. WhatsApp, that's someone that she really knows. Then. This, 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 no, but I don't think it's. But even if it's someone on your own, if you know someone's giving you advancement, yeah, then you be like, you just air the message. It's either you air it or you or act accordingly, or you, you just tell them, "Well, go on, big man, I've got a man." But this is what I'm saying. You I ask the, the question: you Would you want? Would you want your wives or your girlfriends to basically tell these guys who were messaging? No. Stop talking Some to girls me. just I give it LOL. Of course. Know? Yeah, of course. Because oh, no, no. that's what you do. If they're being inappropriate girls. and they're trying to move to them, <sighs> yeah. then yeah. Of course you do. You just say, look. What What? What if you know, women what? are doing it to you and you can handle it? No, no, no but say, me handling it is me you telling say, them I've got say, a girl. I like you, man. The reality is you're saying the right thing. I'm saying you guys are the correct message. You ain't doing the right thing. No, no, no. That's what you're trying to insinuate. No, no, no. Don't try and put your words into him. Thank you very much. No, no, but logically you would say... This can't run. You can't. You can't do that. It's not. It's not cool behavior. Yeah. Because you know I've got a woman. Good. 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 And she might punch you in the face. Good, Straight, good, very simple. Good. 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 But, you know, yeah. If she knows. Yeah. You know, if she. Uh, if she knows, but she doesn't. Nah. You know, it's not really appropriate. I have a woman. Cool. Good. 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 But you'd expect your woman to do the same. In the situation. I don't think that even the appropriate thing needs to be said because she, she don't know you. I've got a girlfriend. That's it. Yeah. No. I, I'm saying, but in terms of you might just be like. But you, she shot a shot. She yeah, because for me, I don't need to be rude to you. You yeah. don't know I have a girl. You don't know me. You've just moved yeah, to me. So yeah. what I got to do is tell you yeah. my situation, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, and this, let me just say to my question. No, he both, was about- both. It, oh, it should, it should be the same. Should be the same. Ah, uh, like ah, uh, cool. But by the way, I've, I've got a boyfriend. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. Can't, you, don't, uh, you, don't, you don't have to be rude or nothing. On um, WhatsApp, should be the same. I think a DM yeah. can get aired face to face. I guess no, a DM can no, walk away no, a DM can get aired for sure. If it's a random, just come to. If it's a random show. person who you don't know yeah, from anywhere, you, you have to sky it. it. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. scene. Yeah. They'll, they'll just see scene, and that's it. <laughs> nah, it's, but if you, if that said person responds and there's a kiki key, 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 hey, yeah, there's some people that lol um in compliments and things like that. Like if that's their way of handling it, they're not gonna be as cutthroat as you or you be like, I'm sorry, I've got a partner. This can't run. No, but I I, I don't, you shouldn't really lol. You should really just say thank you for your compliment. But I have a if yeah. if you if you don't want to air it and you want to respond, your response should include. Yeah, but remember, you don't have to run around telling everyone your your status. It just yeah, depends yeah. on what's being said. Yeah, if you got a message to me, I'm not gonna be like, I've got to go. Like, <laughs> yeah, I could tell a lot of something and not respond again. I don't have to tell everyone. Yeah, I've got to go. Ooh. I've got to go. I've got to go. You yeah, like, that's to me. That's it's like what we spoke about earlier. It's like, all right, calm down. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's it's a case by case thing isn't it, for me anyway. You don't have to. No, be I think right, 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 I, I, I agree with you because if yeah. it all depends what's said, it depends what's said. Something you just laugh at, and you just keep it moving. You don't have to I be mean, like. There was a tweet, some maybe some, last year somewhere, and it was like, "I want to take you out to dinner," or something. Maybe I'm getting it wrong, but something was like, "I want to take you out to dinner," and she goes, "No, oh, I've got a boyfriend," and then the boy said. That's cool. He can stay at home or something like that. Yeah. And she gave bare LOLs. And everyone was like, that 
energy was a bit too. Yeah. Like, why are you laughing so like? It's... Nah, there was no need for laugh. Yeah, you could that, laugh. Yeah, yeah. That that energy is energy we don't need. Yeah, mm. yeah. You, you could you should have laughed internally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and giving me one O. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. And just not respond. They said, mm-hmm. "No, nah, I can't run." You're not taking it seriously, are you? Because I would laugh as well. Taking it seriously as a girl. You're not taking this seriously. Whoever I am in that situation, I would laugh. And I wouldn't If she laughed I wouldn't read anything into it no, depending Being the boyfriend You mean? Yeah yeah, yeah. Be, Be, Being the her boyfriend Oh okay Depending I wouldn't on laugh. the conversation if, Went after that Maybe it's just me and my No 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 no. I hate you But if she Like she could laugh Yeah it, that, No but why is Why is there like Why is there like 12 <laughs> emojis though? Is there too much? It's too much Yeah calm down It's calm too down. much It's too much, it's too much. I, 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 12 I, it could Six? be it could be twenty four to be honest. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Mm. Yeah, it's too much energy. Relax, relax, relax. Really use it because I know that would probably give man sim like she fuck with the boy humor. That's what I'm and saying. Man can get you in two Don't months. give him any reason to think that he he's can in come there. back and like, I, yeah, yeah. I got she like my jokes. Oh, oh I'm in. I'm gonna be in them drawers. <laughs> yeah. Come it's back tough. with the jokes. Right, Spin the block. Question. So you mentioned you were in Ghana and you saw a girl kikiing. And somebody told you. Oh, plenty, plenty, plenty. Yeah, yeah. All right, but at this girl in particular, you mentioned that Gina said she has a boyfriend and she's doing too much with the kiki key in red. I think that's what you said. No? Can't remember, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. I, I hope remember. I didn't make that up. Go for it. No, no, that's what G said last week. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, so, my question um, let's just say you were in Ghana and you had a girlfriend that wasn't in Ghana at that time, December. Uh, what is the correct etiquette when girls come to you? How much can you talk to her? What can you show her as it pertains to conversation and how much you're enjoying the conversation? Is there a fine line that you will not cross? Because if you do cross it, that's cheating. Um, If I'm committed to a relationship, there's no dancing. You know what I like to do there. (laughs) There's no... (laughs) There's no... um, we can speak. I can be cordial. I'm probably not going to um, initiate any conversation. Perhaps unless it's like certain people can be in your section, and you know, some like, oh, you know, enjoying yourself, you know, dancing, you know, why is your cup empty? And certain people start convos like that and whatnot, and you just keep it that like you don't need to do anything more. What I would cons- what I would not do, um, yeah, I'm not gonna be. Whispering in ears Because optics Can really Someone could be a in and snap the room And then You got me in the back Whispering Oh, oh so what's your name Where are you from blah, blah, blah. And then My girl can see that snap And it can look like Patternization And it's happening But no with, I'm having the most Christian act conversation So optics matter as well So I'll try mm. to refrain From doing that Even though it's loud As hell in here But <laughs> You gotta be mindful Yeah I think that's mm. te- It's techy Because it, it, I think what it always comes down to is your character, how you are in general around mm-hmm. women, has they seen you around women, blah, blah, blah. Then I'm like, okay, cool. Like, that scan could come across the room. Nah. Like, do you know what I mean? It depends on, I said optics can, but then mm-hmm. your character should outweigh the optics. I understand, but sometimes you don't want to put yourself in position to have to reassure someone or be asked Ah, Oh, no, yeah, that's long. Because it's long. Because it's very long. Depending on how the other person's wired or built, they'll be like, hmm. In your head, you're kind of laughing because you, huh, what is, I'm behaved out here, bruv. Yeah, but yeah, yeah <laughs> Now no, you've got to defend yourself for no reason. Yeah, and especially if your demeanor is very much to laugh something off because mm-hmm. you know yourself, you're like, that person, me. Come on now. Ah, uh, behave. <laughs> exactly. But I think that becomes because you know yourself, but then you have to be have a certain level of sensitivity to be like, mm. hey, you know what? I understand how that looked. It's not that. That's my bridging, blah, blah, blah. You kind of have to pattern it in that sense. Mm. So I do understand how optics look. But when you say, when you talk about Kiki Kian, Kiki Kian is very, very particular. Mm. Like, you, we run jokes, but you know when someone's, when Kiki, someone Kiki Kian, yeah. The draws are on the way. You're on the way to the championship. <laughs> <laughs> Can you quantify the Kiki Keen? Because uh, in, okay, you, you you and a, a said lady yeah. are having a conversation, running jokes. While you're running, like you're, you're running a joke, she's there touching your arm, your shoulders. She's letting you know, being very touch touch tactile, and then you like you know that there is some sort of um, so there's touching involved. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
And then the person's giggling. Giggling. <coughs> it's not even giggling at your funny jokes. Yeah. All right. So you mentioned before that even that, no, no, you mentioned before that if you're planning on cheating, then you're cheating, right? Mm, yeah. Damn. Shit, I got to throw away a couple of my blueprints. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay. It's because there is an intent to cheat. Of course. And for you, that's as worse as actually going through with the deed. If you've heard of, have you ever seen when girls say they've, they've caught their boyfriend attempted to cheat? No. Where they're DMing babes and getting yeah. hair. Yeah, Bruh. but they, yeah, but they, Mitch, they, let me finish my yeah, homework. Haven't, <laughs> the fact that you haven't done it, it's like, okay, people get arrested for attempted murder, right? Ooh, for sure. Yes, they yeah. do. Why are you squinting your face? N- attempted murder is a charge. N- 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 wait, wait, wait. When you say attempted, is it that they've... And even conspiracy to murder is no, a charge. No, because that's, that's what... Okay, cool. What okay, cool. Okay, cool. Suggested. Conspiracy, conspiracy then. Yeah, yeah. Um, you conspire to commit a crime. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I intercept a message between two people saying, yeah, six o'clock, meet me, we're going to we're gonna duppy my man. But then, I, but then the feds catch you before you dump you, my man. You're still getting... And they catch you with a weapon. Pen. Catch you with a weapon. You're still getting pen. I'm not sure. Yeah, what about if you're not variables to it, man. I don't know variables. I'm not sure if you don't no, I'm not. Because if, my, if I catch my missus texting a guy back and forth, and in the text, I can it's see that they attempted. are intending to meet up to fuck. They haven't fucked yet. She's cheated on me. Yeah. I don't care that the act hasn't been done. I've caught you conspiring to cheat. Therefore, <laughs> we are done. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I guess if you had superpowers mm. and you could read minds mm. and in her head, she wants to F that guy, she wants to F that guy, she mm. wants to F that guy, mm. you'd be like, I'm finished with you. No, that's a fleeting yeah, thought. Are you talking about a fleeting thought? Or, no. Because a conspiracy is, what he's saying in conspiracy is the exchange of information no, you're, you're doing too, you're being very particular, but I think I'm, he needs less. <laughs> no, even <laughs> in his less. even in his his description, yes, I'll leave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. If, I'm re- if I'm if I have powers, I can read your mind, and every other thought is I want to fuck it, want to fuck him. You're not someone I want to do. I know, I hear that. That that's even wild. if you're not even even if you're not gonna conspire, why are you even thinking that? <laughs> that's mm. a bit wild. Mm. Mm. But even if she just thinks, oh, that guy's very attractive. That guy's very attractive. That guy's very attractive. What again, this is a guy. Yeah, who's, that's, that's this is a guy who's easily like, heads easily turned. <laughs> yeah. No, but this is this is what I'm saying. That, that's one this too is, many. This is, that's this is one unfair. too many. This is unfair because if if you're honest with yourselves, yeah, you could be out in Ghana, chilling in December, dirty December. Mm. You got you got a dirty December in it, dirty December, <laughs> and you're seeing a plethora of beautiful women, I'm and you're like, mm, 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 mm. should you be locked up in jail? Because you have eyes. My girl hasn't got psychic powers, so. <laughs> <laughs> These eyes such... work. Thank you, Jesus. Yo. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Just window shopping, baby. Just window... No, no, I'm joking. Oh, man. The, if, I, I find it unfair because the amount of things that fly through my head, I don't want to be... Indicted for. Oh, come on, man. No, no, no. That, no. I hear you. But when you... Like, conspiracy... Like att- attempted cheating is worse than uh, in some cases. You know when women say no, 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 it's not worse. Than no, that, no, no, worse. Act. No, we're gonna say no, emotional cheating. No, you see when women say, you see when we get quick catching their guys yeah. attempting to cheat, but they get in air. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, so that, I keep it around because she didn't really want to cheat anyway. <laughs> you catch your guy, bro, <laughs> attempting to cheat, but the girls give him air. Yo, you so fine. Stop it. That is You're guilty. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Bro. No, the thing is, you say that it's crazy, but I've heard of these scenarios where women have caught, looked in their guy, like seen their like caught yeah. out of suspicion, seen the guy's DMs, and this said guy has been messaging a couple of babes but holding the air. Mm. That's that's embarrassing. <laughs> no, that's an embarrassment. She might even check. Like, why am I with you? That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's. I think that would that would turn off you. Yeah. No, c- because because they'll... one, I don't even have a man that everyone wants. <laughs> <laughs> so what the fuck am I with you? You are undesirable. <laughs> you are undesirable. Just, why am I? Here? And women want a desirable man. Yes. Don't I'm... let them tell you otherwise. Can you can you speak to the percentage? Because I I I believe that's correct too. That that women want a desirable so, man. I, I of course. believe so. That, uh, that's a, a big factor. Um, when women choose certain guys, yeah. Um, hmm? I said absolutely. Mm, mm. Ah, that's I'm still thinking about that's brave. Is it the same on the flip side? Well, no, not necessarily. No, I think it's lesser on the flip side. I think men don't really look for a woman who they know a lot of men want. Some do. There's a percentage. Yeah, no, some do. Like I said, it's a small percentage. Do, 
but I don't think this is that's a a, a a heavy influence on them. But it's for you actually because you were saying the other day. Oh, right, that, that other pod, yeah, the other conversation we had. I think it's a different characterization of my question okay. because, um, I guess what I asked just now, when I use the same flip as the yeah. girl doing this, yeah, um. It sounds as though I'm suggesting that men go looking for women that other men desire, mm. right? Because you said that if um, if a woman is with a man, it's desired. It, in fact, it's even more attractive that she would approach this particular guy because so many other girls want him. I mm. want to be the girl who basically mm. bags him. Mm. But in my uh, position, I 100% want a woman who literally when men <laughs> look at the girl, mm. 100% they want to, to approach her. And I wouldn't get vexed if they approach her, she's entertaining conversation. Mm. Um, because I'm like, but is that a pre, that's fine. But is that a pre-meditated thought though? In, in, uh, it's like, it's married. It's it's, or it just... it's synchronized in my head. I, I, I'm I not attracted to ugly women. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because you're attracted to... Attractive women, <laughs> this is just a byproduct. That because is so funny. Your woman is attractive. So, of course, other men are going to look at her. Yeah. That's basically what it is. It's yeah. not that you are looking for a woman. That... No, no, no. That's, that's what I'm so saying. So, wait, wait, wait. No. You, you are comfortable or you think it's okay if your woman entertains conversation? I'm for, fully fine with it. For being polite sake. Yeah. So, you, you think it's it's healthy for her to get I her think it. I think it is. Thrills. I think it is because, like I said, our mind is so... Aisha thing, isn't it? She wanted to be found sexy. I don't know why. Aisha Curry. I think everyone wants to be desirable. Every, it's important, man. Every person you know wants I mean? to be desirable. That's fine. I think that's fine because in the, the day, that's that's part of human. But if you can't, I don't. But I'm not going to the conversation. Hold on. But but as a woman or even a man in a relationship, you want to be desirable. Are you doing things to get this attention? Are you? you know what I mean, are you actually? Yeah, that's a bit different. Peacocking to need... get this attention. Yeah, well, that's a bit different to me. Yeah. Like, why do you need this Jeff, attention worry. so much that you're out there? Showing your bits or doing whatever you would need to do to get attention. That's to like, me, that's very troubling. Mm. Very worrying that maybe you need, you, you didn't get that before. Yeah. And now you'll feel like, it's almost feel like, like you don't know if you have it or not. You don't know if you've got the source. Yeah. Mm. And you're trying to figure it out while you're in a relationship, which is very selfish. And people do it. Because some, some people do the whole... She doesn't know if she has the sauce, so she goes looking to see if she has the sauce. Yeah, like, so, like you know, some people get into relationships and then realize they're attractive. So, absolutely, people, the, the person they're dating it might be of a higher status or whatever. Do you know before? I have zero self awareness, bro. <laughs> no, but some people don't. <laughs> I'm a dud. <laughs> Some Wait a people. minute I'm a stud <laughs> like, How do you know that before Big man no, or some, woman? People, some people might It's a self esteem thing though. Yeah self esteem And they might not know And then after Everyone's like Hold on You're a catch You know some girls Are scared of their own ass you know They annoying? don't know That they have it sometimes You know what's annoying as well Is that people For some reason Flock to people In relationships yeah. So it makes it worse Like Because, because now You are now, seen as somebody Who can quote unquote Take a decision now And that you're, committed I don't even know If it's even that bro But mm. now that you're taken Now people are interested in you yeah. So now, especially if you're this person yeah. who is um who just realized that, that they're nice mm-hmm. and now they're getting all this attention from people, it's like it's it's a recipe for disaster. But then is, this is a, a, I'm gonna go to something else, where sometimes there's people that you're not necessarily you never really had the source, but you just managed to bag someone yeah. that is deemed as as, as, as So now yeah. you have second hand source. Now you have you have the <laughs> The residue, yeah. you're getting residuals, yeah. and you're now believing that you have the source. Mm. So you know, I sometimes was, oh, you shouldn't, shouldn't give the ugly nigga a chance, yeah. because now he's now trying to get other babes because yeah. he's got he's bad one bad. And the funny thing is, those other babes who would deem him ugly before mm. now probably interested in him because they've seen him with a, he's a worldie. The, yeah, he's, he's bagged the worldie. Women are sick. <laughs> men, men, men too. Yeah, it's, it's a men sicker too, vibe. Too. But that will happen because oh, rah. He's bagged the worldie. Ah, oh, you know, I know I should have said those. Yeah, 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 because then it's it's like, okay, cool. What is it about him that she likes then? Yeah, I need to find out. Has he got Absolutely. a big dick? Is it the money? Is he funny? Is he this? Is he that? Now I want to find out. But you didn't want to find out before. No. Now you see someone that you like on his arm. Now you're interested. Leave me Fuck alone, bruv. I'm a cornball. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> but, but that's, I, I think, unfortunately, Wait, humans what? like that. That ain't P. That ain't P. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now back back to me the Grinch. Okay. Fuck P. <laughs> okay. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and our sponsors at Manscaped are here for you with the best tools to get your balls ready for the special occasion. This Valentine's Day, it's time to join the four million men worldwide who trust Manscaped, the leaders in below the waist grooming, with our exclusive offer. The Performance Package 4.0 for Manscaped is just the thing every guy needs in their life to make each and every day that little bit more special. The number one product in this package is the Lawnmower 4.0. This electric trimmer is designed to trim hair on loose skin and get this, the trimmer's advanced skin safe technology reduces cuts and nicks on your delicate balls. It even has a 400k LED spotlight so you can shave everywhere your heart desires. Did I mention it's also waterproof? So go to manscaped.com and use our code MUA7 for 20% off plus free shipping. But that, I think that happens a lot and people don't realise it. And this is where people who may not have had realised they had it, they get in a relationship, they start to realise, hold on, wait, I, so I could have been getting all these babes before. Mm-hmm. And then they they go out and step out because they get they get blinded by the lights. That must be I a think young. That's dangerous, though. A young Don you're talking about then. It has to be. I don't know if you used to, you probably know. I don't know why I watched it, but Lisa Ray was in it. Single ladies back there, one of them chicks. Oh yeah, that season. was alright though. To be fair, it was decent still. And the the, the white girl, what was her name? April. She married one lawyer type pattern guy, a bit of an Uncle Tom ish sort of guy when she was eighteen. And there was this one scene that was kidding. She was cheating with Common. Common was like a would you call it? These man. That's side be Pretty much, but it was like a... What's them roles? In, he was in politics, yeah. And she was cheating with him. So one time, he... The husband and the wife are, are sexing, isn't it? So he, he's, he's trying to give the work, but she's just not there. And he was like, where were you? And she's like, what do you mean? He's like, I was just inside you. You couldn't have been further away from me. <laughs> so, what sort of neaky lad is that this? Bar. Them bars, isn't it? So what's it called? Then she started talking to Lisa Ray and the other girls, and she, she was like, Nikki, you know? bruv, so I've been married to Look at him, look at him. He, he's, he's thinking, that was pure poetry. <laughs> 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 it was, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, he's got space right there above <laughs> that red wall. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> <laughs> so it was cool. She was like, I've been, I just realized that I've been, I married him when I was 18, 19, and I didn't live. I never experienced me. And this guy makes me feel. Beautiful, and it's like, oh, spare me, man. You got it's dangerous when no, somebody some people, doesn't know. Oh, do you know what? This reminded me. Yeah. Remember Temptation Island? Ashley. Which one was Temptation Island? The, 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 Ashley, the black girl. No, the white girl. Remember, she was crying a lot. She didn't really know her soul. She was just one, one. Oh. So basically, there was this girl. She was when she come on the show, you thought like she looks a bit miserable. Like why is why are they together? But. And he was like, like that, like, real confident. She would never go and leave me. And Temptation Island is basically two different houses. Your 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 couples that go in there. You're not sure about where you are in relationship. In the opposite houses, you have um, ten men with the ten women and ten gu- ten uh, women with the ten gu- uh, with the guys in there. And they ba- you supposed to date actively to see how where you are in relationship. If you're going to be tempted by other people. Basically, she was in there. She was really, really low confidence. And then she started, you know, engaging with all these different guys. And you start to see her blossom, in, as, as so to speak. You kind of realize, well, you know what? Like, even you actually saw her, like, you know what? You're actually not like this crybaby person. And then after she found out, basically she dated, she dated another guy. And she did the same thing. Oh, I've never been kissed like that before. And she she didn't know her soul. She just didn't know it because she dated some random guy <sighs> that was... Let's go with the other guy then, bro. I'm, nah, 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 I'm tired of these sub stories, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, that oh, the guy I, that she was I, with... I, I, never, I never knew. <laughs> she didn't away, know who man. she was, but you know what I'm saying? The guy that she was with was like, she ain't never gonna leave me, blah, blah, blah. He was she one of them guys. Yeah, yeah. And he was in the house trying to do, like, map these babes. And then after, he saw the clip at the bonfire. Oh, yeah. And he was the one that was barley. I remember him, yeah, but he, he couldn't got, believe it. He's at the bonfire. So basically, the bonfire, you see. Yeah. She, she beat as well, isn't it? Yeah. That one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was in bits, bro. Yeah, I can imagine your girl's beating another guy and you're watching it on the fucking screen. <laughs> 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 and then the guy with the iPad, 
How did that make you feel? Oh, right. <laughs> in front of next man, like... Can imagine we're all sitting there. Grab the iPad and smash it across his head. That's how I feel, nigga. <laughs> We've watched it, like... You know what the thing is? The other actually was the worst. Because imagine they're in there, yeah? Black couple. And they go and then, like... Before they go to split up, in the houses, like... The, they meet, they see all the other single people. They see yeah. the single people. Yeah. And one of the girls was like, yeah, so... Um, no, one of the guys... Imagine you're there with your missus and you're about to split split ways. One of the guys has said to the girl, ah, oh, I can't can't wait to um, go on a date with you. Mm. And then um, the, the the presenter was like, oh, so how do you feel about that? Just, just, like, you know like when you're confident in your yeah. own source. So you're like, I don't care. She like, can go on a date. Like, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't holding nobody hostage. Mm. She took it as, you're not protecting me. But this is the black one now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I so you're, you're not protecting me. Yeah. You're, you're not claiming me. You're not claiming me. Guess what? First night, she first beat. night. That was that was never his girl. She fucked Thanos. That was, that was never his that, girl. That hench nigga with the with the abs and calves. If, if your girl was fucking another guy on the first night of a, of a, of a show, that was never your girl. No, it was your girl. That it was, was, it was, it was never your girl. But it was, it's, it's your girl. It was never your girl. You, you just got a scandalous girl. No, that was never your girl. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, no, 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 couldn't be. No, no, she was like, no. So basically, she then slept with this guy, and he like, now nah, he did some corny. Like basically, to the camera, he was like, yeah, I'm the captain now. I said, pardon? Sick, man. Um, and when they did the, the bonfire thing, they had to watch it. Like, basically, we're all chilling. And the man just seen his girl going in the room. Like, she's gone to her room. She's his man come out the bathroom brushing his teeth. No, he just come out in his towel. And all the guys are like, nah, she's not. Like, this is the that, first that bonfire. Is, we just got to the show. Cool, you know? And the, the guys are looking at him, like, putting the arm in the shop. Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, Fuck the fuck off me, nigga. <laughs> and on the way back in, in the car, he's just sitting there like... <laughs> and do you know what made it worse? He was talking to the baddest girl, the yeah, black there, girl. There was a girl on him. He was too respectful. Was, your girl just cheated and this girl be putting it on you heavy. That's the way the cookie crumbles, like, isn't it? No, Yusuf, this girl, as soon as he walked in the house, mm. before like he'd seen that video, yeah. I want him. I'm on him. She was on his nuts. Yeah. She was like, oh, no, come, like, Rick, Rick, come. Trying to feel, like, feel, he's like, nah, look. He's like, look, I'm going to be real with you. You're attractive. The old me? Tell her ass up. <laughs> Tear it up. Tear, tear the bomb bomb. <laughs> but me? Nah, I'm, I'm chilled. So when he came back after saying his name's gone, <clears throat> she was like, consoling him and that. You smashed? Nah, he didn't. Why? Smash, she, I think you might have lips still, bro. I think he, he, was, he was definitely broken, bro. He, nah, broken. Yusuf, he was Slow sitting on because the... I'm getting that revenge pussy that insane it, night. Yusuf, like, he, he was a cheater before, right? He cheated when he was in when they was in college, so she had never kind of got over that. Okay, but bro. when he was Yusuf, he was a broken man. He was sitting on the he was laying in a hammock just like no, I can imagine. Alone. I can imagine. I can imagine. Swinging. Does it change? Does it help when you get revenge pussy? No, no. Because you would still after is you you come you still. Yeah, yeah, I'll like, be still pissed. Yeah, you still pissed. Because uh, look, it can happen to most of them. Go for a breakup, whatever. They don't deal with it. One, and you know it might hit them? Randomly at 3 a.m. They're at the edge of the bed. They have a new babes. They've just, whatever, and the babes rub your shoulder. What's wrong? And you think, I, I shouldn't even be here. I should, I should be at home. You Literally. just said something poignant. They don't deal with it. Are you plugging therapy again? No. I'm, oh, saying okay. men, I'm saying men just don't deal with Sometimes problem. we just don't deal, <laughs> deal with so that that particular <laughs> situation. But that show, oh yeah, season four starts next month, I think. Are um, you the producer of the show? Or? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I was, I was Would okay. you like to see this type of content for, for Black Brits? Nah, it'd be too... It's too uh, uh, you know what? It would be interesting. But I would, would still. Would I it would. be more relatable? Of course he would. Yeah. It'd be more relatable, no? To wet trash ass TV. I love it. <laughs> trash <laughs> TV. I'm not a trash, trash TV. That, that show? Mm. We'll be clued. We'll I used to be trash, I'm not going to lie. We'll right support now, it for two know. seasons, but then we'll get bored of it. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what it is? It only, I only like it because it shows that without work and your daily schedule, you get to see who, you're, who you are with the actual temptation there. Like you've got no distraction. And yeah, but ain't these niggas even at least playing up to the cameras? Some of them, but some of them, some of them have the cameras. I mean, but some are like, 
Like, even if you are dirt, a dirt bag, the cameras are on me, isn't it? No, the cameras are No, but the thing is, people forget the cameras are on them. Mm. And some people... And it's just lust. No, some do. Impossible. Some people do. No. You no, know it's they, there. They can't be... That's I stupid. feel like some people feel like the camera might not grab them. Like, yeah, it might not I might not him. make the highlight reel just today. Yeah, I, I might... <laughs> no, no, they might not see me sneaking off to the bathroom. Yeah. Kind of thing. In, in 4K, bro. Literally. No, anything in that, I think it gives the... Because a lot of these people, they're in like weird crossroad in their relationship. There was one season where one of the guys, he was like, his girlfriend was pressuring to get married. He was like, oh, I'm not too sure. Because the tall, the tall white. Yeah, his dude. family weren't really, he weren't really feeling her family. Anyway, he went in there. He was in the, the house with the other girls. He was the, the, the talk of the town. Anyway, he started to talk to one girl, just went on a date with her, just not, cash, nothing, whatever. Then he ended up, he went home with that girl at the end of the show and, and get, went uh, and proposed to her. Nice. I was like, wow. So he left his girl during the show and then proposed to the girl. Because his girl said, no rules. Like, you are free. See, going into that show, that, that relationship was already, already at its, at its end. No, 100%. There's, no, there's been couples. Like, it, was basically, it was basically done already. No, there was couples in there that actually just uh, have stayed. Yeah. But there was like, there was one guy, I think, you see, from the day he was in there, this woman was on his nuts. From he said, "Nah, I'm not with it. I'm good." Man, even when they said hello to him, he said, "Hi." Mm. So I'll give me a hug. He said, mm-mm. Mm-mm. To he said mm-mm. <laughs> "I ain't hugging nobody to be a no highlight reel." Yeah, literally, it's crazy. I don't think I could. I think I could. I'll go in it just to be the the example that I'm gonna hold it down and I'm not. But how would you feel though if your girl was in Castle Moor getting it down? I'll be living, man. I reckon I could just go in there and just be chilled. Pass off wearing colours and be my, just, just mind my business. And just kind of trying to not put myself in situations where it may look, because the way they edit it is they cut, they don't show things in sequence, as you would guess. I will kick you off the show. Yeah. Why? I'm, I don't want that. Uh, you want mayhem? I want this clip, but I want to play quickly. All right. Go for it. Um, you want mayhem, innit? It needs to be, he needs to sell... Uh. The male, I could have 18, 30, 40, 50 women pregnant at the same time. As a female, you can only be pregnant by one man at a time. And further, it benefits you as a woman to stick to that man because the more you get pregnant, the more your value declines. Stretch marks, losing the vaginal elasticity, and all of these meaningful things that attract men. So you are one who should stick with a man. So monogamy is very meaningful for women, whereas for a male who has a lot of resources, monogamy is not a necessity. It's actually a detriment to you. I've always, I, I personally think if you're a man of a certain status and income, it's stupid for you to be monogamous. But you know yeah. what I'm saying? But women can still benefit from you not being monogamous. So before we even tackle this here, obviously a big narrative in the past couple of weeks is that men shouldn't have podcasts. And like when they see clips like this, they highlight it even more. Mm. This is the reason why men shouldn't have podcasts. Because da, 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 da. Mm. Um, this is, to me, this is a garbage that, take. Yeah, that's that's very garbage. It's a very garbage take. I think the takeaway or the caption was, okay, um, does a woman's value decline as she gets pregnant or when she gets pregnant? So that's the question to the room. Thoughts? Mm. Value to pregnant you, or has a child? Value to who? Has a child. So, to, okay, you cool. to society? So, to society and maybe even this, to a man. So, a man meets a woman who has a child. Um, obviously, that's essentially what he's saying. Mm. But has, then, has, has her value in the dating pool declined? I'll probably use the word desirability. More. Desirability, then. Yeah. Is, is she as desirable? Obviously, he's mentioning stuff like stretch marks and that rubbish, whatever. Know, but then, yeah, that's irrelevant. You know what, that's, that's irrelevant. I'm talking about just the, having a child. Point, point First point. of all, it, it, it matters. What am I here for? Mm. Am I here to date? Am I here to um, just for sex? Am I here to take you seriously? It, it, I think it. when we say it depends on where the, the guy that she's met is at and how his viewpoint of it is. Because if he wants a child, she doesn't have no children, mm. he may see that as a... Something that something that's less desirable yeah. to him, yeah. but it all depends because it's not. It's weird because it's not really our place to say that. It's not, but is uh, sorry. I get weird when this stuff happens and we change stuff, right? 
So if I ask you, Jason, mm-hmm, go on. if there is a woman who's had a child, yes, would it change things for you in your eyes? It changes it how? If I find, is if she I, more desirable? You use the word if, desirable. If, she, if she's still attractive, all right, and you wouldn't mind if she has a child. It would. It would be a well. It would depend. Where's the, where's the father? Where's uh, the father of the child? Is the father mm-hmm. th- these? Th- do you know what? To be honest, in those scenarios, meeting a meet a <laughs> Political. <laughs> when it's you, also correctly though, but when you meet personally, a, well, let me just jump in quickly. <laughs> I think we've had this comment on, comment on the pod yeah. millions of times. Yeah. And it's been, I've said my view without even hesitation. I think because we've played this clip mm. off the back of the clip, I think you're doing. <laughs> no, I'm not even. Just walk on eggshells. <laughs> no, I'm not even doing walk on eggshells. Because what I would say is the, the variables always count. Because this convo isn't new. No, the, the variables always count. Me personally, I ideally wouldn't. But the variables count because if you meet a woman that has a, a, the, a child, you may still want her. She still has great qualities as as a woman. But if you have, if the baby father's around, and he's a madman. No, he, it's a no. And where she is with the child, how old the child is, these are important factors because if she's the child's two years old. No, no. The thing is, there's definitely variables and factors, mm. but just point blank period. There's a woman with a child. Is she deemed more desirable than a woman with a child? Forget all the variables. Just is she black and white? That's why I, I I'm answering only on the basis of what do I want from this woman? Yeah. So. Oh yeah, no. Obviously, that's yeah, a very that's important main, factor. Yeah. I think that's you the, want a relationship from this woman. If I want, yeah, yeah. Me personally, I'm not looking for that. But that's a, it's a never say never. But I'm leading with no please. Okay. I'll be you on that. And what he's saying about, um, he said, oh, yeah, man can have, back, he man can have 10, 15 at the same time, at the same time, and the woman can only have one child at the same time, whatever. whatever. Is he trying to say that a man with lots of kids, his his market doesn't really, or his desirability doesn't decrease as much as a woman with one child? I think he's saying that, but I think that's bullshit. No, that's, that's definitely bullshit. I, I, I think he's definitely but saying that. But the thing that. is, but there are men, but obviously, for example, who is it? I think... They were getting on to little Dirk's missus because Dirk has like six or something. Six, like that. seven kids or whatnot. And she's that, like, that, that they, were, they were getting on to her. About what? Ah, Why would think, you wanna... I think, did they, get, did they get engaged recently? Yeah. yeah he proposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Dirk proposed to his missus, but everyone said, ah, oh, but Dirk has, I think there's a picture that was circulating with Dirk and all his kids. Mm. And she's like, that's what you want to take on. You want to be with someone who has that many children. Um, First of all, we have to outline that he's talking from the American experience. Who is him? Yeah, yeah. Him. and and I think the answer will be different from where you are. For and also, different. being UK, yeah, I don't think I don't think, I don't think that, women or men are as welcoming to the fact of multiple kids. But it seems like on that side of the pond, yeah. Um, but you're forgetting the, the key factor here with this particular example. He's little up and he has money. Yeah, he has money. That's that's the the baseline. That is that is the. Uh, yeah, that's not, the main fact. That a regular well. woman is not gonna take on a man who has six, seven kids. Even one kid, she might just think, yeah, yeah, yeah. She should be like, well, a, a rapper who had, for example, Future. How many kids has, does he have? He's, a, he's five. But Future will continue to bag women. Yes, and women that want to be with him and be his next baby mother. Because he, they, if Future was just Frederick from wherever, just regular Don, like you said, he could have one or two kids, and it's a no-no. Let alone seven, eight. But also <laughs> because they have seen an example of him looking after those women. If if women see the example of yeah. how you handle those situations, yeah. some women will be like, oh, he's still a good person. He treats but me. what is it about a man? He takes care of business. That take, like, for example, okay, cool. There's plenty of men in, in the world, isn't it? Mm. This man has, just say this man has eight kids. You could go and be with another man, but you, you still want to be with this man with eight kids. What is it about him that's telling you, you know what, I'm going to look, par- I'm gonna look past the eight kids. And I'm gonna, I still want to be with you. For yeah. some, I, you know, I've, some, uh, lots of men, there's a clip that sometimes women just are attracted to people that take care of business. If he has eight kids, yes, it's wild. She would probably be telling you before there's, she may. There's a responsible irresponsibleness about it. Oh, so you, you mean that she's attracted to the fact that he's taking care of eight kids? No, he's ta- <laughs> no. You think so? No, despite everything, he takes care of business. It's not the fact that she's attracted to eight kids, no. It, to her friends, when she first meets him, he's got yeah. eight kids. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. We went on one date. I don't like him, blah, blah, blah. I don't think the kids have anything to do with it. I think it's the man. Yeah, it's the man. It's the fact that he is who he is. Yeah, yeah that's, no, that's, I'm, I'm saying the that. The money, the success, all that. Yeah, it's just the man. They didn't see the kids. And they have to look to ignore the kids, 
even when it's his, he tells them, I got eight kids. But if we're talking about a wealthy Killers. man, it, it's, it's to do with security. No, so I, I was, that, I, you were talking about two things. The wealth, yeah, but the you, security that are he you provides talking to my you? point? Where if they see that, forget he's got eight kids, he still takes care of... No, they don't see any of that. No, no. that. They don't factor any of that in. It's just the fact that they see the man. Oh, yeah. Nah, they yeah. just fall in love with the man. Yeah, because some in some cases, some women will be like, oh, we you know what? They ignore red flags. It'll be, it'll be different they with me. They ignore kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be number nine. It'll be cool. Mm. Some women literally think like, well, I'm different to everybody else. Yeah. I'm the exception to the rule. <laughs> That's very simple. I don't mind a woman with children. Huh? I don't mind a woman with children. How many? Being your woman. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind. Uh, if it's... Two from the same one, and he's dead. <laughs> As in he's dead, dead. Oh, like he's not here. You can have. She him. basically wanted to spend the rest of his life, rest of her life with him, and mm. she he, he happened to die. Yeah. Right. So she's a widow. Yeah, but isn't that like an extra? That's, that's an extra little bit of baggage, though. For who? Because she got with you, a widow. For you, yeah, a right. widow. So like, you have to you, you, you got to deal with the death of her, her partner. Yeah. No, she's gotten over it. No, yeah, no, nah, nah, yeah, do you, you ever really get over death? Have, have have you I'm, seen, here I'm here for it. Have you seen no, J- here for you. Wait, wait, wait. I'm here for it. I, would, I have but, three rooms. I, I'm gonna do it, but Jada and Tupac. I said there's enough she space in the house to get over it. <laughs> you, I have three rooms. What you? As it, as it, as it, as it. <laughs> I got enough acres. What you? <laughs> as it, I have my room. She has her room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But two, Jada's never got over Tupac. We'll still pay him for, for, for his death. That's mm. fine. I'm at Wisman. Mm. Oh, so you're the better man. And I wouldn't like a girl like Jada anyway. What's, what's a girl like Jada? What we see manifesting now. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I would have okay. seen that time ago. No, you, that's only manifested over years. No, no, no. We don't no. know how... No, no, we've only seen her beautiful. Pretty, we haven't seen her. Yeah, her. yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Mm. No, but, she got a platform. But, 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 to be honest, no, would, but most men would have been sucked in that by her beauty. And then later on, I'm like, oh. wrong with that. We'd be like, oh, shoot. You're yeah, one no, of those. No. She's lovely. Her and I along. Okay, okay. I've got a question. She's beautiful. How do you distinguish... Between lust and love. And if you do lust somebody, lust for somebody, is that bad? No, I, I don't think lust well, is not bad. Hold on, do you find it hard to distinguish the difference? I think it's something you've got to because it's a thing of why shouldn't I lust the person that I love? I know you. No, but there's nothing wrong with lust and love together. together. Yeah. Should, and, I, I, and, I think. and there's nothing wrong with lust by itself if that's all you want and if you let the person know that's all it is. Yeah. But when both is in when both is present. Which is that's completely fine. That, that, you should, that, lust, that, you should uh, lust over your partner. That should be uh, uh, I'm gonna tell you that should be um Yeah. Hold on, you don't think you should lust over your partner? No, 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 no. I'm saying some people that, don't, you know. Then that's what, that's that's a, that's, a, that's an issue to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, some people I don't. That is an issue, but when both are present, I'm saying how how do you see? No, but both both things. Fight? No, but both things can coexist, and they can they can be in sync. They don't yeah. you don't have to differentiate. Why do you have to differentiate? No, he's saying like so. Uh, how do you know yeah, you're not being led? You can misunderstand. Yeah, how do you know you're not being led by mistake, your lust? Yeah, you can mistake uh, lust no, for love. I'm assuming you're already with this person. You, are you saying this is that as in you trying to get to know them? No, no. lust. Sorry. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, get, try to get to know them. Oh, you mean to... this is? Oh, this is in the courtship stage. Or yeah, are you saying you're with them, and you're you're lust you're lusting and you love them? But in certain situations, you don't know whether it's your lust that's making you stay mm-hmm. or your love for that person is making you stay. I think it's easy. I think it's really easy. I'm, yeah, I'm really confused. After you're satisfied, you just look at I don't like you. Yeah. Because I think generally... Yeah, because lust, lust is sex, right? So after you've yeah, had sex with the person, how, how do you feel? Yeah. Do you, do, do you want to bounce? Do you want her to bounce? Are you kind of finished? Like, why like, are you still here? Why are you breathing? Yeah. Like wow. no, because some people. I said, "Why are you still breathing?" You know? That's deep. That's that, deep. That's that, deep. That, that was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> no, because kill that bitch. <laughs> no, because some people are in situations where the lust is more powerful than the than the love. Mm. So they they do have those kind of thoughts. Of I wish I'm someone saying that. Where like because of the you know that like some lust is dangerous to some people. So the the, the sex it was. It, Keeps them kind of entwined, mm. but the person that they're with is a, is a shit person, and their relationship mm. is generally shit. But the sex keeps them. Is is that the whole uh, girls getting uh, digmatized? That 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 statement. Not even digmatized. It's just that that I don't know that bond in sex is kind of kept them in this. No, this, I get you. I get you. That spiral of ah, oh, I hate you, but hey, yeah, you got some bond. Yeah, <laughs> like, like come over it. I'll never come over Like ah, Don't go I know I told you to get out But Stay 
But she's mad mm. when you think about it because that's long. So hold on. So you, in your courtship stages, whatever, you have found it hard to differentiate what emotion is leading this race. Mm. Is um, it more lust that I feel for this person or is it more like or whatever? I like how you put that. That's, that's a great way of putting it. Thank you, sir. Thank Thank you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just posing a question. Is How does one distinguish which one is leading? Which, what's the key? Who's the key driver? Okay. Mm. Maybe... I think I, I, I think it's pretty easy to be fair. I, I'm even struggling to, to convey no, but if, an explanation because to me it's so... It's just so because you know, what happens if... Let's say if we're doing it on a percentage thing <clears> and I don't know, 60... Percent on the lust, mm. forty on the love. Is that bad? I think if you're pursuing a partner, it should be. I think that your um, like for them should outweigh lust because lust doesn't really last long at all. If it's, especially if you're just isolated, so I think like and love should always lead over lust. But you should always, obviously, to me, lust is just desiring this person physically, and that's a part of the equation anyway. Mm. But I don't think it should be if it's just complete lust. Then it's it's not gonna last. You're yeah, gonna have sex once or twice or whatever, and you're gonna be done with it. To be honest, you said something was very key there: mm. love, lust, and like. Yeah. You have to like the part your partner, liking your partner. And I say when I like, not in terms of physical, just like who they are as a person. Yeah. Because who they are is is what will keep you around, keep you around, and what will help you do life. If you think I don't like the way you do things, and you think that consistently, that person is not for you. I would even be with someone who. I had the thoughts about because I would have sussed that out way, way before that even became a thing. But yeah. some people don't suss that out because it's almost like, okay, I, I find you attractive. Yeah. So we can we can we can figure this out after. Mm. Ah, impossible. I could never I could never go into something purely based on Love. physicality. It's impossible. Some people do, but you fit the bill. Especially no, I'm talking about I can't pursue a girl mm. in a relationship if I'm just if it's just physical, I wouldn't even get there. No, I I wouldn't even, it wouldn't even go there. I would, if I'm, if I meet you and it's just lust, and that's all it is. I'm not trying to turn this lust into anything else. I hear that, but I think some people do. In a sense, you might tick people tick the boxes, isn't it? It's like, oh well, well, you are like this, you're like that. So uh, we might as well just try. It's it's mm. weird. Yeah, but then there has to be something else there. Then if you if you've got those thoughts, then. There's definitely some type of compatibility that, 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 that you can feel. No, they just look good on my own. Then you're looking for something. You're looking for something different, isn't it? Yeah, they if, look good on my own. If you're looking for eye candy, then that's... Some people like eye candy. Some people don't want to lust over their wife. Some people don't want to lust. Yeah, some people don't yeah, want... They wife. just want... Now, they've, like, some... Wife. They've heard... I, I don't know, I've heard... They just... They've had their fun. And now they just want... Some you know people it is? see their wife as an image of purity. Yeah, some yes. men look at their wife as this... Has, she has to be prim, proper, like she can't be, you know, over sexual or da 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 da. Well, I think it's the complete opposite. You and your wife together should be, there should be no limits. I don't think you should look at your wife and be like, with me, when you're with me, you need to be prim, proper, and prude. No, bruv. Like, I'm meant to be, you're meant to, I'm meant to be your fucking slag, bruv, and vice versa. You're my wife. It's not, it's not about, I don't know. This is why I see it. No, no, I agree with you, but I'm, I've heard no, no, guys no. say that. Nah, there's certain things they don't even want to do with their missus. They just want... Yeah, because in their heads, those acts, they look at them as degrading them. It has to be. Because mm-hmm. why else wouldn't you want... I've had, I've, had, I've had men say... No, women say, actually. This is back in uni. This is back in Luna, actually. I was in, I was in, the, I was in Butte Court. In somebody's, somebody's kitchen, bruv. Not beautiful. Having one conversation with a bunch of people in it. And the girls were saying at the time... I wish I knew so I can tell you the names of the girls. They were saying that they don't want... They will never give their man head. Pardon? So these girls at the time were looking at head as this proper, like... This crude act. They were saying that they would happily let their man get head off another woman because I'm never gonna do that. That's like they looked down upon it. Like I remember. You remember? I remember that. Yeah, that era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's me, crazy. You suck a man's dick. Are you mm. crazy? No, he, now, can, he can get some other bitch to suck his dick. Yeah, mm. yeah but they, like, that that kind mm. of energy. How you know times I mean? have changed? Yeah, I would never get my knees and do that. Yeah, that's yeah, not, yeah. times have changed like, now. Well, now even, they, even Dougie was like that, bro. Now babes is. Yeah. There was whispers, yeah, about doggies. Doggy? <laughs> oh, Dog, no, no, no. As in, I don't want to do doggy. Doggy is a degrading act. Women were saying doggy is a degrading act. Why? Because the face was. The the, oh, well, because you can't see the face. Knees. Just things like I that. I think I heard that because you can't see the face. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's, that's mad. You know what? Yeah, there was, a, there was a narrative that if a girl's ugly, you just put her into doggy. Mm. Ah. I reckon it stemmed from that. Oh, okay, okay. It stemmed from that. It stemmed from that. But okay. all I'm saying, times have changed. Now, babes be letting you know that they. 
on online. You no, know, it's weird how times have changed. Where women now are online, kind of letting you know, if you pick me, I got them skills. Like yeah. I want, I hear a lot. I want to be a, a a hole for my husband, but I'm a hole for my man. No, is it me who, who's in this room? We think that's a, that should be standard. No, that should be standard. That's, but, that's your man. That's your partner. No, no, no. But you, what I'm saying is, I'm seeing like people post up regular memes and kind of yeah, they're they're fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're placing themselves in the mind Because yeah, they know full well What men like But I'm not going to lie I find men who Jump at the bait I just find them <laughs> disgusting <bro. laughs> You bought into that Like when a woman posts out And then within five minutes He's in the DM Talking about Yeah How about that How about that tweet <laughs> Have you done shame How about that <laughs> Please come back Come back next week At least man Act, act inconspicuous about it Don't just jump at the Because now she knows You're just jumping Because of, I just tweeted something mm. You, you know, know what you, say, yeah. Yeah. You, on, you say this, but you know how many guys do this? Fam, but it's, it's actually sometimes I'm even like you know when a girl forget obviously I can't see DMs, but the replies like you see a girl tweet something provocative or sexual whatever you look at the replies it's just bad guys just, mm. ooh, this guy's a weird bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, bro, I think it's, read it, yeah, it's and crazy. the thing is you're just doing it publicly brazen. You don't even care that everyone can see your reply mm-hmm. and your. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Garbage thirsty message. That, that reminds me, I was in Stitches yesterday. Some girl was tweeting saying that uh, she thinks she's, she about, she's gonna leave Twitter. It's, she's been there for a while. Yeah. And then some guy wrote on the, uh, um, can, I, um, can I have your number so we can keep it <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel you, brother. No, but the thing is, I feel you, if, brother. If, no, but if he was saucy, <laughs> if no. he was saucy, then it, it could run. No, but, but all he has to do is all he has to do is go to the DMs and say that. No, but he, he said underneath the tweet, and she was like, um, "Now nah, you're right." Yeah, because he, he wasn't saucy. <laughs> now nah, you're right. Is <laughs> killing me. <laughs> he wasn't saucy. You know what it is because there's a conception or well, misconception here yeah, that those who are out in the open with it, there's an air of confidence about. Oh, he's fearless. You know what I'm saying. Mm, nah, to me, it just comes down to it. Like, your first bucket. Yeah. Get your hands like, your first. And the thing is, I went back to the tweet to see if it, like, it was deleted. Yeah. That comment, because, yeah, so you have to delete You that, have to delete it. We so. saw that. We saw you just. Because the thing is, if she rated you, she'll just ignore the tweet and just DM you straight away and say, oh, I saw your tweet. Here's my number. She didn't rate you. I was, I was dying. No, no, no. I'm saying there might be an incident where you might just to save face. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And still hit him in the DM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know, I hear that. But mm. yeah, but then but then I'm gonna check you in the DMs though. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm checking you in the DMs. So trust you, me. You try and slander me publicly. Yeah. Try and come make it publicly. You better go and delete that tweet or <laughs> uh, now, I think it's because I know her. I'm like, ah, uh, he's holding air. She means that. That's corn. Crazy. That's corn. Oh, but, who saw the um DT. Oh, the Arsenal fan TV guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? Break it down for me. I heard he got oh. more. They tripled him. Hold on. Let me see if I can find the article. That, that was crazy. And no, no, not funny, but obviously he's been kind of missing from AFTV for most of the lot. Well, since the season since the season started, basically. And I think what was being said was he was going through, I think, depression or. He had a few issues that like he was trying to take care of himself. Da, da, da. Lo and behold, this probably might have been it. Um, all right, let me see what's the story. So, uh, and this is this kind of um harkens back to the whole we could be good friends with somebody, yeah. and you don't know what the hell you know, yeah, they're yeah. flipping doing. Yeah. Even the when madness I saw, that they're doing, yeah, when I saw they present something completely different when it is that they're on. Yeah, when I saw <laughs> Robbie, you know how he does his transfer daily, isn't it? So, mm. before one particular daily, I think it was yesterday, he was like, Oh, yeah. Just so you guys know, obviously, we're aware of what's going on with DT. And mm. obviously, we don't condone his actions. Da, 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 da. Mm. It's disgraceful. And obviously, he'll never be on AF- AFTV again. And it's like, it's mad because obviously, he was a key part of the channel. Yeah. And it's like... He's the one who made it pop. Basically. And now it's like, he's just done. It's mad. You know what's really interesting? There was one guy. I don't know who... One guy, one also... Uh, he's on Arsenal fan TV a couple of years ago. He said, I'll come back on Arsenal TV when DT returns to Joe. Mm. Oh, he's been in jail before? Oh, yeah, he has it, been in jail before, hasn't he? he retu- yeah. But he tweeted that. No, no, he tweeted, he said it. Uh, no, he, he tweeted it because people were asking where, uh, and, and, and then he's like, oh, no, I, I, I guess I've won. Mm. Yeah. Kind of thing. But when I read the story, I was like, wow, that's mad. I'll give a quick context, isn't it, for listening. So, uh, Liam, good enough, his name, 
Known for a passionate rants. On... <laughs> Garbage last name. Like Good enough. <laughs> What's his middle name? Ain't? <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a garbage last Liam name. Liam Good enough. Known for his passionate rants on AFTV YouTube channel under the nickname DT. <laughs> has had his prison sentence increased after he stalked, assaulted, and kidnapped his former partner. Um, he was handed his initial 12 month sentence on the 5th of November at Aylesbury Court. Da, 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 and he was also given a restraining order uh, for 10 years. Uh, Liam Goodenough, 42, stalked his former partner as she went on a date, jealously sending the victim's brother messages threatening suicide and demanding to know the location of the victim. Using a, uh, a tracking feature on her phone, Goodenough drove to the hotel the victim was staying at and verbally abused her, as well as assaulting her companion. Uh, he then proceeded to photograph her in a state of uh, undress. Um, good enough dragged the victim out of the hotel room in his car sorry to his car suggesting he had a knife and that um, her son was in the vehicle however when she realised that her son was not in the car she tried to escape a bystander intervened and the victim was able to get out of the car while good enough escaped good enough's 12 month sentence was referred to the court appeal blah blah blah, blah excuse me um Good enough subjected the victim to a shocking and frightening ordeal. I referred to sentence. I want to see when they gave him more. Anyway, I think he has three years now, isn't it? Mm. So he was initially a year, now he has three years. Um, it's all mad. 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 DT's a sick man. Just imagine. He, Who would have known? He built up 260,000 followers yeah. on YouTube. Just like in the space of a, yeah. Yeah, a couple of years, yeah. Well, mm. a year to be honest, inside of YouTube, yeah. He's on YouTube, or he's on YouTube, yeah. He's got his yeah, own YouTube yeah, 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 yeah. That was off the back of AFTV, he yeah. knew full well he was bringing in the contest, yeah. He was bringing like, him and troops, and obviously, you know, Claude and yeah, Ty and them, man. Those yeah, all the yeah. Lee judges and them, man. That's the last name, you know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Lee judges. That's my guy still. That Thai guy. <laughs> no, Thai, Thai, he's actually he's mad. He's funny, man. He's like, Thai is the is a guy that in black the guy. Full, he full wears kit. everything Arsenal. So he wearing Arsenal jacket, Arsenal headphones, Arsenal hat, Arsenal cup, Arsenal socks, like Arsenal jeans, like the guy's mad. No, I'm being serious. He wears everything Arsenal. With the denim jeans. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with the badge on the back. So he wears Arsenal ah. jeans. 1,000. Ah, uh, he's funny. You know, there's one clip there. I think it was Gary Neville and um, Jamie Carragher. It was yeah. at some football talking. Yeah. I was there. And, they go, and then they was talking about like just the league. and the, yeah. goes, Why do you think Arsenal can't win the league? <laughs> and everyone went silent like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, as in as in this season or like in the future? No, it was like last. I think it was last season. That's a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> and they bought. They they stopped. Like what? Hang on. Did we just let him on, bro? I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, he, he's the most delusional, delusional Arsenal fan. But um, yeah, the DT D- D- thing is sick. It just shows you that you never know. Yeah. What people but are doing? You know, it's funny. So we say that, know. but then his behavior. <laughs> I don't think his behavior on AFTV reflected this. He was just no, no, it doesn't football. reflect that. But he, he just—I don't know. Maybe he just—he seemed like a. Like, wow. Oh yeah, no. Based on his whole demeanor, yeah, I'm not super shocked. It's basically what. It is. Yeah, sure. I'm not super shocked. You I'm know not, what's so funny? Yeah, I'm not I, super, um, super shocked. I, relating I saw, those two is kind of no, no, no. I don't mean his his rants about Arsenal. Just his presence, his temperament. Yeah. Just the way he is. But then you know, then I saw a clip of him confrontating some guy, and a guy punched him. Punched him. And I was like, raw. So, like, you only had that energy for a woman. Like, that's, that's what it seemed at that. So, like, you just take the punch. Yeah. You know what? I, was, I thought when I first read this story, I thought, raw. Obviously, what he's doing is sick, and he's he's a complete circle. But I thought, raw. This is this is what love has has got you to do. Bro. Like, this is. I mean, mm. it's mad. Infatuation. Yeah, yeah infatuation, and emotion for another person has brought you to this point. God yeah. forbid I ever get to this. Uh, no, because you, uh, they do say it. Huh? You hear a lot of those stories. There was one the other day when. I'm black man. He was like, my wife is cheating on me. And it's like, um, yeah, so I'm going to kill her with this shotgun in my hand. And then I'm going to go after the man after. And then he locked off the live. Mm. Um, yeah, I think so I heard about he that. So he locked on the door or yeah. something. And there's some sickles out here. Um, he, he, no, but he's the type of guy, like he will build up resentment. He wouldn't blame himself for all his bollocks. He would mm. come out mm. and he would look to punish her. Yeah. Mm. He needs to be finished somehow in jail, man. He will not, not that. I don't well, I'm not sure. Depends what type of jail we go. That's to. wild, absolutely wild, and 100 percent is not over. Well, his life is over because everybody 
it's gonna finish him when he comes out. Yeah, he has no. Future. Oh yeah, his his career as a football YouTuber pundit. Yeah, yeah but then you're right. He might hold. Full stop. He might have that hold that resentment because and you blame her because he's like, well, you've done this to me. Yeah. You left me. Oh. Yeah, but why did she leave you? And she has the right to leave you. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, but he, you know what's mad is, is that sometimes you don't. They, they won't think of it like that. It's not logical. In it's, it's not a logical in his brain, yeah, and it's cool. it may be just simple thing of like you love Arsenal too much, yeah. and we don't have a, a life. Lot, a lot of it is that. A lot of that was one of the reasons why. She no, was, because, or they didn't work out because he's yeah, because of who that like, is. Mm-hmm. Some you got to realize some of these men. Like I love football as much as the next person, yeah. but these men go to. I don't. don't How no, is their life? Not like that. Yeah, yeah, but, no, but the thing is, not like no, we don't like it like that. No, but they but, go. No, but if you look at a man like um, who's the, who's the owner of Arsenal TV again? Robbie. Robbie. If you look at a man like Robbie, he's passionate about Arsenal, but he's built a multi-million dollar company out of his no, passion. I, no, I hear that. But you know there's I mean? other people that, there's a man that go to... Are you saying hope- challenge, challenge it properly? Huh? Challenge your love properly. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. Because he had his own channel. No, no, I'm not saying... No, I'm he not saying, had his own football team. Yeah, I'm not saying DT, DT didn't challenge his love properly. He did because he made money out of it as well. But... No, nah, but love for women and love for a sports team is... It is, depends. No, it is. How much of this are you taking home? Basically. Mm-hmm. How much of this football shit are you bringing to your house? Yeah, can you imagine. Know, do you yeah. switch it off when you're with your missus or are you still Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal when you're with your missus? Uh, babe, you he know what? We should like play a 4 4 okay. You should play a 4 4 2. You know how 4 4 2 works. You know, da da da. Can imagine you just be at your baby's like, hey, we're having dinner. We just want to. Yeah. Nah, let me show you. I'm going to move the salt shaker and move this. And you're like, like she's probably thinking, yeah, nah, yeah. I, can't, I can't do this. Or like, he can, like I'm saying These men go to Every You know football ho- is a massive part of their life Home like, and massive. away game Europe blah 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 Yeah Now his job is essentially His job is an, He's also a supporter Is his job Essentially Yeah he was getting bad jobs off the back of that. Yeah, yeah. Jobs, yeah No but when you, as, a, as a man You think rock okay, cool, I get, I'm getting really paid To support my team mm. Yeah no, That's I get dope it. But crazy. how much of that Are you bringing home Hmm like, yeah, at home all day talking about Arsenal to your missus. And she's like, oh, oh fucking you. Arsenal. Money. Yeah, yeah. And, no, and how much are you contributing to the relationship? Because if you're the whole whole thing is football. Yeah. And when do you have time for her? If you're at games every weekend and, and she's working Monday to Friday, when are we having our time? Yeah. You're going to fucking home and away games. And you're you got to Middlesbrough, Sunderland. Oh, Europa League, you're traveling across the country. <laughs> she, she, to Zagreb. Does she have it any other way? Huh? Does she have it any other way? Of course, you'll have more time spent with her. Yeah. Like, Unless At, money huh? Unless money No but she would want you To go and do a job That doesn't Yeah I think so In in in, in I think so Like don't Women and people Like money But Not at the detriment Of their relationship No way And if they if They like money more Than their partner Then you're just a gold digger Yeah you don't want the partner You just want the lifestyle Because hmm. if the money is Like you wouldn't think Okay like if, right, Let's put it up where And you had a woman She worked to work She earned good money which meant that your life was good as her. You earn your money, but your life is better because she earns big stacks. Mm. But you spend no time with her. Then you're not in a relationship. Obviously, with me, different because you're the same person who said you could spend a bit less time with your partner and still be functional. Whereas I remember when it was me, you, and Gina, and we were saying that we had to see our partner at least mm. and you got- once a week, a times a week. I think you said something like you could see your partner. Oh, but that's, that's when we were still in our homes. So it's different. Fortnightly or something like that. But now, as, you, as you're getting older, Quality time is essential. It's essential. And like you won't have that time. If you had a woman that worked wherever and you don't, all the free time you have. What's that? Uh, DT's club. What's this? Let me see the same one. Nah, I read it. Right. Something might come true. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty dick. <laughs> Following on from the previous statement on Monday, the 17th of January, we can now confirm that the club would like to announce that DT Football Club and DT have parted ways with immediate effect. We have new owners, new management team, who are currently working through the legalities of formalizing the new structure with the assistance of company accountants, Companies House, Essex FA, and Essex Alliance Football League. The new branding will follow in due course. This was posted an hour ago. So that means he had a football team. DT. Yeah, that means he didn't own the team then. He he was a director. But this was my team. You can't go and patent the team without me. The team's my team. There yeah. must have been contracts to stipulate if yeah, something happens. Yeah, then. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Crazy. They took it from him, bro. Whole empire. <laughs> Imagine he, he came on just yeah, as a flipping fan and he, he had his own football team. So <laughs> can we still vouch for our friends? No, 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 no. 
No, no. We can, we, can, we can vouch for their character still, no? Of what we know of them to be. In this, or, no, but when, when or do examples like this, like for example, remember we had the whole argument before, innit? Yeah, mm. but Crystal, I think I at yeah. the time you also said, no, you can't vote for them because you don't know exactly what it is they're yeah, doing. Yeah, but you can vote for, you can vouch for yeah. the character that you know. Yes, yeah. yeah, but you don't put your life on but it. You never stick your life on it. But yeah. apparently that's, that's null and void when it comes to how they interact with yeah. their opposites. Yeah. Or mm. how they know, because you can yeah. like the same sex, but how they interact with uh, romantically with somebody. Yeah, else. you know what it is, yeah? yeah. I think, you know... My stance when me and Chris were having the debate before, yeah, and I was more so on the hill of, this is my friend. If I if I think that if I know good in their character and I haven't seen any evidence of what they've been accused of, I'm gonna to me they're um, innocent or even guilty. Yeah, I think as time has passed, I'm still on that side of the fence, but it's it's decreasing. Mm. I'll be honest with you, it's decreasing a bit. Whereas, cool, I might know my friend to be a certain way and I've seen these different you know good qualities over the years and I've never seen him do this XYZ but you just never know bro mm. but that's the thing then why then why do we build relationships why do we build collateral with people if you're basically saying this is null and void no I'm not saying it's null and void no no I'm not saying I'm, that, saying, I'm saying I'm saying if if somebody is to go in on, on the side of you can't uh, vouch for enough nobody just on the basis of how you know them because yeah. that's not how they're going to treat other people. I think mm. you can speak to someone's character that they've shown yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't do anything well, outside of it. Yeah. I, can, I can speak on what they've shown me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So according to my memories, this sounds far-fetched. This sounds incorrect. This sounds false. But what you hit... But, mm. again, you know, I'm sure Robbie is probably dumbfounded that this is how, this is what DT's been up to. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, so it's like, okay, cool. He's been... Friends with DT for years now. They've got podcasts together. They got, he probably had a, didn't have a clue none of this was going on. Like, I didn't have the foggiest. Mm. So when DT leaves me, after we record our pod, he's going off to stalk his, his ex. <laughs> yeah, I mean? see, that's the, that's the weird thing for me, though, because if they were that close and they're going into business in that, in that manner and they're chilling outside of work hours and this, that, and X, surely at some point in time, sh- sh- where's your missus? Well, maybe he did know. I, I believe that he knew, he knew that there was something there was issue. issues, issue, issues yeah. going yeah. on, but whatever he l- told him, yeah. he might have lied to him. Right? Yeah. Of you remember it's what we said in one of the pods where we said that sometimes people may show what they want to ever, yeah. but they won't show that that's the real them. Yeah. That makes sense. Because they know it won't be accepted in the people they're around. Threatening her with a nut. Basically letting her believe that he had a knife and mm. then saying... Yeah. Her son's in the car. son's in the car. And she's obviously beside herself. She wants yeah. to make sure and protect her son. So she's gone out. Mm. This guy is sick in the head. Sick in the head. Sick. Bro, I just... I just, I kind of fathom, like, what has put you in that position. How do you only have to pay 10 months in the first place? Yeah, it's mad. More evidence must have come out. No, no. The judge, the, the one, the appeal um, court, they, they read it and they're like, why do you only get that? Nah. <laughs> Triple no, but, that sentence. That's what I'm thinking. That how, if you, from the original evidence, how you're right, how did he only get 10 months? Yeah. Because it's like, someone probably didn't take in all the information. It was probably an asshole fan for the judge. I don't know. Like mm. an asshole fan. Maybe, or they just, you know, sometimes people may have seen really bad cases. Uh, so they might have read it. Oh, you know what? 10 mm, months. Yeah. Not actually taking it in Actually no wait And obviously the appeal was good Because Those kind of people That kind of behaviour Don't deserve to be Outside But It's nasty bro It's nasty behaviour Very Nasty AFTB They're taking a little turn though Wouldn't it Because first troops went to America and they lost it a bit there. I don't watch it anymore, you know. Oh, no, exactly. No, I don't. Um, Is that when, I, when I say I don't watch it anymore, Trippier. I I watched the stuff that kind of went viral mm. when the team was there, as yeah. in the first crew. Yeah. Because Mo Mo was cool. I liked Mo. Oh, yeah, Mo left as well, wasn't it? He, yeah, well, he, was he, left, but he was kicked out. Oh, was he kicked out? The whole Palestine stuff. They kicked him out because he oh, was being political. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had and no this idea. is why you were saying, what, you, I can't talk about Palestine, but yet this is... What you've been harboring all this time? I didn't even know that he left, you know. He didn't leave. They kicked him out. Oh, they kicked him out? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't realize he was gone until you just mentioned his name, to be fair. Yeah, I liked his. And I like the Turk guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, no, but he, he's, he's still there. Oh, is it? 
Mm. That's a shit you don't see. Yeah. Mm. I think Turkish, Thai, and Lee are the only like okay. originals from before. Obviously, Claude passed away. Um, R.I.P. Claude. R.I.P. Claude. Um, I did him again. What's that? Yeah, yeah. You got a bunch of new people there as well. But yeah. Uh, AFTV isn't what it used to be, to be fair. Yeah. It is what it is, isn't it? It's, it's hard when, because people are coming in there trying to repeat the originals. Mm. And they're just the original um, passionate guys, the punters. And then you're just like, okay, I'm now got to try and mm. troops number two. I got to try and. Yeah, yeah, okay, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and be controversial. Mm. You know what I'll say? I think I tweeted it the other, um, today. I was like, I miss when things were original, you know? Right now, we're in a state where people are just trying to rinse, and rinse things and go viral off. So many fake scenarios. So now, sometimes, even just a fake rollout. I hate the fake rollout now. Music's being released and someone has to do something outrageous. Then they give us mid-music. Like Jim Jones, like Jim Jones album, isn't it? Uh, Respect Jim Jones album. I'm playing one of them cuts today, bro. Nah. Have you heard Jim Jones mix mixed bro? Uh, no, not yet, but I'm going to the gym tomorrow and I've pl- plugged in Gunner. Because again... SP. Young, young Teen Boxy were in on three shots yesterday. Okay. Yeah, such... Cool characters, their yeah. personalities, mm. just good to talk to, yeah. right? And they dropped in Gunner. I'd never heard of Gunner before, so I'll put it in my playlist. Mm. And I've also put the Jim Jones in my playlist. Yeah, don't, don't waste your time on Jim Jones. Yeah, don't. don't. <laughs> no, no, it's gonna get you right. No, 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 no. For five reps. For what? Nah, 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 nah. eight oh eight slides. Bro. You know, you know what's mad about that? When I was, I was like, <laughs> you listening to it, and then you said it as well. There's so many random rappers. Is, Brent, is this drill and unknown rappers? Unknown yeah. rappers. It's drill. It's all drill. Let me, if you're looking yeah. for, for El Capo vibes, this it's is not. not. No, no, it's no. drill. There's only one track. Track with, one is, is more. Is, now, the Migos track. I, 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 I'll, I'll tell you. you know, that, that track's wavy. No, no, the Migos track wavy. is. I'll you tell said you the now. There's, there's the Trillions. Making it in. <laughs> Big song. There's the Migos track. There's the one of Mano and, and Fabulous. Mm, like and that. that's very, like very, that. very, very, very mid. But I, I do like what they're doing, though. Going to the gym together, yeah, wearing yeah, their yeah. nice little fits and making the videos. You stuff. would like that, wouldn't you? Listen, listen to the tracks with Dave East because they slap as well. Yeah? You know, yeah. Dave East is on there. You know even, even you one didn't of, get there, did you? You even, even off. <laughs> one of my favourite Dipset songs, Crunk Music. They ma- remade it with, with Fabio. It sounds meaty. A lot of it. A lot of it. No, that's like, it's, it's, in, the top, it's in the first five songs. That one was cold. Crunk music. Nah, impossible. It's meaty. The, the drill one that was early with Fabio. Yeah. I need to listen to the sample again. Was... No, the sample is crunk, crunk music. Yeah, it's, oh, <laughs> it's, it's meaty. Bro, I've tracked one to five. Was, there was all thumbs up for me, you know? Oh, the first man, one we yeah. all liked. Yeah. Come on. The what, Amigos. what, the intro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the Duckworth or whatever. Yeah, because that was more... Of the yeah. heat maker sound. Yeah. That's the thing. That's you, you, you open up this album thinking I'm gonna get heat makers. I'm gonna no. Get, I don't think I'm gonna heat makers because you're we, gonna get nice because we set the trends. Song. We set the trends. It wasn't heat makers. No, I thought I was gonna get something like that. But I think your ears are too. You hear the production and you hear drill and you're like, mm. but I'm also listening to Jim Jones rap. Yeah, for me, me, it sounds like a. Let's see what this. It sounds like a uh, Jim Jones presents type of tape where he's like, okay. These are like, my young uh, boys. These this, is, this, is, this is Jim Jones More Life album. Yeah. Let me give you these features <laughs> and we just create some music. Have fun with it. I, that was fun. Nah, man. I, 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 I saved that today. I was like, nah, I don't need this. I deleted it from my phone. I, I don't need it's this. gone. Just play El Capo, bro. We said the trees. <laughs> That's the only song I like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saved that. The That's only track. Delicious. There's one tune on there with Dave East. There's Maybe I need to give it a second listen. Maybe I'm. B- How giving many it tracks has he got? About 20 something. Brent, you're going to get to a point, yeah? When you start listening to it, everything's going to start to sound the same. Oh, yes. That's and then, what you, talk about. then you're going to get annoyed by the different random rappers with different flows. This, this is what I want to talk about. And the head gigs is on it, one of them. That yeah. shit is on that still. What I going to say, so you lot, you, you lot are feeling the game and Kanye's track, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. Like still. So you remember the clip that surfaced a while ago? When he said about fucking his... When he said about he um, fucked Kim K, grabbed her throat, busted her face, all that stuff. Do you think he's apologized for that? No. Have you heard, have you heard the clip? No, I I'll think he had. No, I think he might have. Yeah, he has, man. He has, he has to, to apologize. I'll play it for for Brent. Thank you. So this was a snippet of a game song that was going to be released a couple of years back, isn't it? Mm. Um, but the song never came out. But this was the line that he said. I'm a goat, nigga. I held Kim Kardashian by a throat, nigga. I made her swallow my kids until she choked, nigga. I should apologize and shame my folks, nigga. This for all them vice lords and folks. I'm so a now goat, they've nigga. got a song together. 
called Easy, which I don't really feel, but these these guys are feeling. Yeah, it. I like it. Oh, you like the oh, song? Oh, I like it. Why? Because well, those of, those why? raps or the Easy song? Easy. Do you like Easy yeah. because of the of the bars or because of the beat or just everything together? Beats. Everything. I like the beat. I don't really like the beat, you know. Um, I'm surprised I, you don't. I, <laughs> that's not funny. Why? Because it's an off cut or something. No, it's just like I would think that you used to like that beat. Is it? I think, yeah. I think the song was. I don't like the song because we was both shocked when it's you the said percussion and play. You, when you said you didn't like it, we was like, "What? What's going on there?" I don't like it. No, I thought I thought you fuck with it. I thought it was kind of vintage. Yeah, Carly. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, thought I might listen to it again, but from the first two listens, I was like, yeah. "Sample's nice, though, man." Easy. Yeah. Like it, you know what? I don't like it. Just even you doing that. <laughs> <laughs> flashbacks is whack. You're in flashbacks too. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. All right. So, could you work with someone after they said this? It's it's just business, baby. No. Um. This is just that's disrespectful. It's just it's very really disrespectful. It's just business. You know, I honestly feel like. I couldn't be Drake and amend it with Meek. I feel like you really tried to end me. No, you mean you, you mean me. as Meek you could amend it with Drake? No, if I was Drake, I wouldn't have blessed it with Meek. Why? You tried to Oh, end over me. the ghost yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I think that was very personal. Yeah, that was spiteful. That was like secret society, inf- whether true or not, information. Yeah, that was true. And you're, we fucked together. We made amen like, you're supposed to be my industry boy or whatever. You don't do them things. But... Nas and J, you can see it running. Yeah, decades. Mm. Um, mm, no, but remember, J had an affair with Nas' baby mother. Yeah. But to be honest, they're, they're better men than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nas is a better man than you. Yeah, better man than Nas is a better Because Jay's like, I won. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's tough. J, so J won. Um, you know what? I'd find it, you know what's weird? You know, like, game as a musician... Mm. I love your game as a musician, mm. but as a person, uh, yeah, the person very name sh- dropping. It's very, well, it's man. very like I no, don't name, name dropping is a part of his. Yeah, his, his I don't think I that that bar. But this bar, you know, this 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 that, that bar is ridiculous. Is it, we can't we can't we can't parlay, bro. And obviously, I think that's AP. that's why the song never came out. Obviously, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can't we can't parlay. And you know what I mean, and this was a bit no because in, I always think. If you are willing to say certain things, yeah, I, I can't trust who you are. Yeah, no, game, game's the same Don who will post a picture of his dick that, tomorrow. Meat, 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 puppy. What were you in, in boxes? Like? He's rubbish. Um, <laughs> who saw the Kanye thing about him trying to get to the daughter's party and mm. yeah. Kim didn't let him come, and then Travis had to send the address. Travis That's sent for, the address. Yeah, yeah Travis. Yeah, yeah. Travis, like, I, 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 I still want them beats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally, bro. Now, I, to be honest, I. That's crazy. Man. That was probably a situation that many fathers are going through. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. And it probably people probably took it lightly because he's famous. Mm. But I just looked the message by and like, raw, that could happen to anybody. Yeah. And also because they really know that people think that Connie is a, a bit off, mm. they can just say, yeah, he's, he's acting weird, so we didn't want to invite him and then be around the children. You could use that angle. And I, I think it should. Those kind of things should be kept offline, but then I suppose you would use your cl- your your clout to get the access. Yeah, he, I think could he have got that address without going on? The, so it is. Travis saw the media and said, Let me "No, he, he he could have just text Travis." That's Travis. what I'm saying. Yeah, Whereas, could he have done that without? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I think he he probably did, but Kanye probably wanted the world to know yeah. what he's going through. through. You know, Kanye's very expressive with the like, I want yeah. the world to know that Kim is. Not letting me see my child, not letting me to the party. Mm-hmm. I think he's trying to paint her in a bad light. Did you not see um, Amber Rose's old tweet? No, what'd you say? She said, um, I can't wait till they fuck you over. And when they do, I'll be I'll be here to... But who, who, who thought that, even though they did last quite long and did have lots of kids, who thought that Kim and Kanye would last forever? No one. I but think anyone did. She just said that she knew that you're, you're going to, that's the way you're going to, yeah. what's going to happen. I think she kind of maybe thought, you know, you... I said, well, you went out of her because you thought that would propel you even more. That's what it seemed like. Mm, I don't know. I, I don't even feel like the Kardashian family have propelled Kanye. You know? I don't feel like they've contributed. Even though they have, I don't feel like they've contributed. I to, think they have in a sense his, that they've rise. They're, I think they have in a sense of where he wants to be. I take your point. Yeah. I agree. Mm. But I believe that it helped him reach a further audience or a larger audience quicker. Mm. But I yeah. take your point. Yeah. Yeah. He could have still reached to where he was going. Yeah, I think so. But this expedited everything. Yeah. Mm. And it 
it put him in other circles mm. that he wanted to be in. Mm. Kanye's always wanted to be in fashion. Yeah. And wanted that kind of... By being attached to that family, it gave him more access. But the, the Kardashians have clout in fashion industry? Yeah. They don't seem, I think Kanye has more than them. No, they, they but they have access. Yeah, it's not that they are qualified to have that clout. They, they just have it because they, they Because are. they're um, that celebrity status. Yeah. And all these people are doing... They're in parties, yeah. like mixed up with these um, fashion house yeah. um, owners in the standings all the time. So 100%. Yeah. 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 And that, that's, what, that's, that, that's where, and that I think a lot of people, when he broke up with um, Amber, mm. she was saying that, look, you're, you're going because you want to, yeah. yeah, you want to uprise your, your career. Mm. Um, and if you're, if you're looking at it from the outside looking in, he was always happier with Amber. As a, why as, he left? Yeah. For, as a business move, that's why he left. I don't even know. And because he, he said, oh, it's, it's, oh, I've always, like, I've always um, liked Kim. Oh, he's, he's been after Kim for, yeah. for ages. So sometimes, you know, some people get that thing in their head of like, they see a woman and that's their everything. Yeah. So eventually I want to get you. It doesn't matter what you are, who you are, but I know, you know, like they'll say like, some men when they go in business, they 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 get another level. Just mm. pick one one babe that fits the lifestyle. Men do it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no. Men do do it. Men do do it. It's sad because then you don't know what when people do it at to what to what, um to what end. Yeah, but it depends. Like some people don't care about the the longevity. The repercussions. The repercussions. Well, some people don't even fear divorce. It's, it's calm. We can have a moment. We can build. We can do this empire thing. Okay, we divorced in five years. We have some beautiful kids. Yeah. It's life. And it's just like, it's part of the business move. Who yeah. was, who, what type, What other type of woman was I actually going to get with? Yeah, I hear that. But some, sometimes that breaks men. Absolutely. Literally. That actually breaks men. And it's like, raw. okay, cool. Mm. Yeah. That, that's... You see him coming a billionaire if he didn't choose his route? Yeah, I think so. As Brent said, it'd be just be longer. Mm. That's all it is. It just be longer. But it's such his life, and I think how he is is very much like. Did you see the, the hangout? Um, not the hangout. The, when they was hanging out with Madonna, him, Madonna, Floyd, a, Antonio Brown was there. Yeah, you know what that looked like. Yeah. I, I, was, I don't know if he's tweeted. I said, "Ah, oh, this looks like when your boy gives you the bird call." Yeah. And then when you get there, you have to pull him to the side of that big man. Why did you call me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, this place ain't levels. You're like, nah, who's these oddballs? <laughs> Why are we here? That's what it looked like. Oh, oddballs. Yeah, because Madonna's like 60 something. She's trying to still act like she's. See that picture with her inverted cheeks out all on the floor and that? Yeah, she, um, I think she's. Uh, that's a BBL, no? Yeah. She got a BBL mm. yeah. on that body. Wow, man said on that. Surgeon's just handing them. Man said on that <laughs> that old fossil oh, that fuel frame, body. On that skeleton, bro. Just but, boy, calm, bro. you got the money. Just yes, I suppose you wanna. But then still out here where her peers are all dead. You know, it's mad still. How old is she now? You say that she is. I don't know how old she is. Oh yeah, she's still out here as well. She she looks better than some people. Think when I said peers, obviously I'm putting Madonna in the same like we're talking about eighties icons, mm-hmm. Prince. MJ, mm. you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was in that she was in that kind of era, innit? What did Janet Jackson look like? Who? Janet Jackson. What's she like now? Yeah. I'm not, I haven't seen her. No, she's she pushing 60. Yeah. Janet, she must be. Yeah, Janet must be 60. When did Poetic Justice come out? Poetic Justice. Jeez, you're, like you're going 92 or something. You're going throwback. She was a little boy. It's 30, 30 years. Yeah, man. She's yeah, yeah. it's making sense still. Yeah. Jenny's That's mad. Yeah, All right. Is there any other any other topic we, we want to touch? Um, Anything else happened that needs the man cave to address? Quick scenario here, right. just to get your opinion. So on the internet, boom. Red, blue, red pill or blue pill? The red pill. Restart your life at six years of age with all the knowledge you have now. Blue pill, ten million in cash. Ten million. Ah, red pill. I know red you would take pill. red pill. Ten mil, man. You're a red pill. What? Man? I'm buying Bitcoin when it's one pound. That's a ten mil. 
That's minor. <laughs> Hold on. Go back. Give me. Give me like this uh, at six years old. All the information. So you want to live that life? That's long, man. That's what I'm saying. So nah, I gotta go nah, live. Sorry. I have to go live all these years again. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Allow me, man. Allow me, man. Allow me, man. I thought about it. Bren, I, not, I was not, on your way. No, no, Bren, I'm okay. not, I'm not, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, that's I, for I you. That's Can fine. Back. I'm not Can going to back. back to six. Now I gotta live all that life again. Big man. Last week you was clamping some grown cheeks. Now you stewy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's crazy. That's keeping the 10 mil, man. I'm not getting back to six years old. Bro, now you're a little bit. Bro, I thought, I thought immediately red pill. I'll, I'll go Amazon. back and I'll be the prof- I'll be a professional Please, gambler. You buy Amazon when you're six. No, I no no when No. Okay, let's let's I'm going, I'm going wait, back. No, let's, let's make it realistic. So he's going back into time, but his life he's he, the life he has left is still gonna carry on. So like he's going back How I read this scenario is Okay. Rewind back to nineteen or nineteen eighty eight yeah. or nineteen ninety. Yeah. Yeah. All the knowledge of the thirty plus male yeah. that you are, yeah. back into a six year old's body yeah. and start life. So I know the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what? he has all the knowledge of the future. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I said, six. Red Pill. I'll just be a professional regardless, gambler. I'll live all my city, regardless, yeah. just give me, give me that 10 yeah. You know why? You know what it is? Yeah. I get the knowledge here, but I'm not going back to six years old. That's what I'm saying. It's a long and a long. restarting. It's long. It's six long years and a restarting. But Tell me, man. What, primary school again? I'll put, I'm putting I'm putting Secondary 100 pounds on Leicester. <laughs> 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 what, just, just, just 100? Not 100. I'm six years old. Who am I wrong? Where am I getting 100 from? No, no, but, no, but remember, Leicester are not winning the league until you're an adult. Yeah. So yeah, you that's, what I'm saying. that's what I'm saying. It's a longer journey. That's what yeah. I'll be a professional. So those, those things that you're going to put money on, yeah. just wait until you're adult. No, but that's what I'm saying. Obviously, I'm starting, if me, I'll be 1999. It's not even the less so. You know so, who wins the league every single year. That's what year. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm doing every bit. But then every you, year. No, but then you get. You're not you so might. sharp to, to score in 1998. No, he, he, he ain't going to get backed. No, a spot, uh, spot betting. What do you mean? Basically. No, but you have to throw some bets. Yeah, you have to, to, yeah, yeah. Like, invincible. No. I'm betting on the no, invincible. No, if, if you spot bet. You mean throw some bets. Like, you, you to can't, make it look like yeah, because you can't you win know. every single one. Of course we can, because no, don't be on to you. How, on to what? I'm a time traveler. <laughs> 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 no, listen, fam. No, no, no. You, they're, no they're not going to be on to me because but, the, how they must know that I'm, I'm no, a time no, traveler? No, no, no. What, bro, what happened is the world, the pharmaceutical company, Putin, mm. these men are going to kill you. I'll off. just bet. I'll bet another names. No, I'll, I'll, make, people, I'll make people bet for <laughs> me. Know, the CIA. No, I'll make people bet for Angela me. Valdez is going to be on your ass. I'll make people bet for me. I'm a big man. Go make this bet. I'll give you a little change of it. But there's a thing called spot betting. Now, if a bet is made, if a huge amount of money is uh, put on a, a regular bet, yeah. Um, yeah. But who wants to win the league isn't a regular bet. No, no, no. That's fine. Yeah. But if they see a regular bet, what happens is that they, that gets flagged. Even ah. Uh, yeah, but what I'm saying is, in this particular circumstance, how are they going to prove that I know what I want? They can't. They can't, but they no, may, that, but they, they might, might ban you for for um they might ban you for like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, no so, they, so no they're banning me because I'm fleecing your peas. That's yeah, why you're banning yeah. me. <laughs> That's it. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm understanding. But so then I watch, gonna have to try I watch a documentary. Um, predicting how to watch it. Oh, just no, just go travel the world. Go and bet everywhere. You should watch um bad. I'm a professional better. We're gonna go China and bet passports. Mozambique. Yes. Mozambique. Get everywhere to bet. You should watch bad sports. It's uh. Netflix documentary on real life sports people that were kind of fiddling or doing like yeah. bit of corruption in sport. Yeah. It's really interesting. The one guy was in um, as a basketball player. Um, he was in college, really good at basketball, mm. comfortably, and then someone approached him to um, fix some games. Mm. Just two games. That's, that's his own fucking problem, bro. Um, twenty grand. Then the guy that was actually then they, they introduced into a, a professional yeah. gambler, the guy had basically his team was supposed to win, mm. but they could only win by two or four. Like he'd give him a number, only win by four. The guy went to Vegas, had a million pounds. Was it a million? It was a million pounds, something like that. A certain amount of money. And he would have to go, because of this is what I was saying about sport, like they would actually, he'd have to go split, go to different. Uh, betting places and put the money on. He said, "Oh yeah, they're gonna lose by a thing." It got to a point where he had five million, and he went to the, obviously put the bets on. But he had to like basically when he put that money on, it, it kept, no something happened where someone else heard of it, mm. heard that the guy was doing it, and a whole bunch of college kids put random bets on that same mm. bet, and they all got flagged. And then they found out that basically this guy had been. 
has got the guy in his pocket. It's actually really interesting because mm. the guy was supposed to go to NBA. Um, so that was the last few games. Mm. And because he didn't, because they, that scandal came out, yeah. he missed his draft for the NBA. He did eventually go to the NBA. Um, Why did he keep playing, bro? He did eventually go to the NBA, but they didn't have a career that he was supposed to have because obviously the, the tainted. But the Bass Sports was actually dope. It's actually a really good doc. That's like in Battle of the Future, isn't it? The Grey Sports Almanac. The book that had all the results mm. from all the sports in history. And he went back in time. Are you sure you want to go back, bro? Yeah. Definitely. I, I don't think they'll, they'll let you live long, you know. Who's they? The people. The people. The people. Them. Them. Mm. No, but the thing is, <laughs> you don't have to be greedy with it. I wouldn't be. You don't have to bet on everything. Yeah. <laughs> Like you could just place your one two little bets and set yourself up for life. You don't have to bet on everything. So like you would, you would bet. And plus, it's not just about betting. Like I'm not going back in time just to bet. To bet, I'm not to bet and predict. Oh, would you, what else? No, it's about to live my life better. Yeah, it's not about betting. I want to go back. All the lessons I've learned about life and whatever. <laughs> like Gloria said, we'll still be we'll still be making stupid, picking their own people. I want to use that we'll to better my decisions, kids. my choices moving forward. I'm gonna mm. try to have a better life at the end of the road. Yeah, it's not about betting. No. Yeah. What, what what's one thing that we definitely go and do? He said to buy Amazon. No, I'm um, on Leicester. In terms of what money, something. Like, no, no, like, money. Just what? Like, okay, name three things that you would do if you could go back to when you was. No, but you do other things like clock life, like every exam paper you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not just about making money. Mm. I don't know, care about exams. I to be wouldn't give a shit about exams. Actually, not a word to a degree. No, but it depends. How do you want how to navigate life? No, 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 how do you want to navigate life? Do you want to just run through life until you get to the point where you're allowed to bet? <laughs> you're gonna stop betting. Bro, I'm stop betting. How are you going to get money to bet? That's what I'm saying. Would, run I up would. in mommy's purse for the first tenner. <laughs> flick that. Man City, Carlos Tevez. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go, we go up and up and up. Bro, that's like a super professional. Like, Moms, I got I this. Got this. I got ain't got to work no more. Just let me get to S18. Uh, do you told, know what yeah. I wanted to talk about? I don't know if you saw. I, don't, I saw this firm thing where this guy, really intelligent guy, he said, oh, I wanted to see if, you know, the people, um, there's TikTok couples. So I found my like they do all these TikToks and say, oh, I found my forever person. Yeah. He went, figured out an algorithm to find these people and find out if they're still with that person, with the person that says it's their forever person. Awesome. And now basically he would say that people post, oh, I've met my forever person. Mm. He would um see the couples, see if he figured out an algorithm so you can see if they were. Still together on Instagram. So how do you figure out? How do you figure out an algorithm? Well, this guy was really intelligent of how to work algorithms in the background. Oh. It was weird, um, and then he was like, "Yeah." Then he would go and DM the girl and ask him if they're still with the guy. And then he said, "Oh yeah, I found that forty percent." And and I was reading, and then some guy was like, "Oh, this guy's playing chess, not checkers." I said, "What kind of chess?" Is this? I said, you are focusing on the wrong things. This man is really intelligent and he's wasting his time Trying to find out, to find if, out if couples are still together. I said, this is the rise, rise of the dweebs because that's what it feels like. Fucking dork. <laughs> that's how I felt when I read the tweet. Loser. I was like, when the guy said that he's playing chess, I said, big man, you're. I said, what does he gain from this? Listen, focus specifically. Focus on, on the ventures. fact that this man. <laughs> Knows algorithms and he can find out information that could probably help the world or help himself, but he's finding out if babes are still going out with other people. That I was some like, niggas out here dying for Nash, bro. No, Actually, but it's not it okay. Is. It's, of course, it's, it's not okay, but it's not okay. This this lifestyle. Men disappoint me every day, anyway. It's fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> No, no, hundred percent. No, hundred percent. All the time. Men Do you think me. that the new generation coming up, the younger generation, and that the generation after that is going to be as finished as we were in this aspect? That Ra- you said? Rise of the dweebs. Yeah, I think they're going to be worse. No, no, as in, would they disappoint in the same fashion? Would they would they follow the same sins? Would they commit the same sins? Would they no. make the same faults? No, they're, they're, as it pertains to looking after women or treating them right. Uh, I think a lot of them are going to be. Worse, worse. Uh, the reason I say this is because visibility, availability. One, because I don't think a lot of them actually engage with women. I'm because of this gender wars. Gender wars is making everything. Gen- just... gen- gen- gender wars, but, they, but they, gender I... wars is not down there. Right. The, 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 no, young, no, no. 
The younger kids are too woke oh. for that. No, no, too, no. The reason, no, the reason why I say it'll be worse is because they are very much, um, what's the word? They're very fair weather, a lot of them. What do you mean by that? Fair weather is in that they f- uh, move with every, every movement uh, with... Precaution. It's been a precaution, but like if women say this, they're like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, you're, you're right, blah, 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 without any using any critical thinking skills. You're saying that there's just oh, there's cool. to women without actually um, interrogating whether it's right to listen to them or not. Right to listen to the information that's been, been, been put out because of fear of being. They're caught- easily led then. Yes. Without- easily swayed. Is that yes. what you said? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, without. Yeah. without, without, <laughs> without Okay, basically, they don't want to be called misogynistic. Oh, they're afraid. You're seeing that there's. Hold on, what, what generation is this referring to? One's way, way below us. As in, what age are they at the moment? Probably 24. No yeah. way. Way older, way younger than who? I'm not How 24 old are you? Yeah, nah. I ain't way old. Nah, I'm, I'm seeing these 24 year olds as the same type of. Mentality. Mentality. Yeah. So, no, some. But I thought you were younger. 24, oh, younger than that. 24, they're in. They're here now. Yeah, they're here, the they're here. Okay, okay. We're they're, they're causing women trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what you say? What kind of age are you talking? I'm talking about the youngest, yeah. bro. Like, 10 years old. Age. <laughs> what kind of age are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Robert. 24, they're getting married. Oh, no, I'm oh, about, you talking about like teenagers. The youths, man. Yeah, the youths. youths. I guess... 20 and below. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of them don't engage with women in general. So let me put it this way. They you don't, don't think so? No. This, what, but, you mean in person or you mean online? In person. A lot of people inter, uh, only interact with women. Is no, but at school, college, yeah, so still so interact with people. They hardly Foundation. even engage with... Like, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah, but, I see yeah, them how do we engage know? with them all the time. We, we, we ain't there. No, we ain't there, but it just comes across. for a week. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Cool. no but how many teenagers do you interact with on a yearly basis? A few, but not. I can't say a lot, but a few. You know what I mean, I don't interact with teenagers. Where do, am I interact with teenagers? I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. No, teen, no teenage young cousins. Cousins. No. Okay. I got I got quite a few friends who are teachers. To be honest, so I ain't, I interact with them all the time. And my my te- my, uh, my teacher friends say that something like, "Oh, you guys are really dweeby." Like, wow, no, 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 man. What do your teachers' friends say about their students? If they say anything. As in what I see? No, what do they say about them? Or their classes? Or what? You have the same type of uh, social structure. As in you have the cool kids. Mm. Mm-hmm. You have uh, the, the dweebs. You got the ones who uh, literally set aside or set apart from everybody else. Mm. Um, but all of them on TikTok, all of them on Snapchat, all of them are looking to find their own YouTube channels and this, that, yeah, and yeah, yeah. All interested in being content creators. Mm-hmm. But they're all still interested in each other, mm. as in okay. female. Okay, you know what? Even so much so. One thing I say in general, men, women, be you. Don't pretend to be anybody else but you in most scenarios. Because what happens is people do interviews, in, or they, they do that, that person that they're not. And a lot of people even get to a stage of being married and blah, blah, blah. And then the, the pretense of who they, they've been telling this person they are, is not them And then they, they realise Bro you're not I think I think We pretend sometimes Our age group To be honest mm. I think we pretend all the time Sometimes yeah. I think humans do But I think you should try to be as Close to who you are As possible We lie on social media all the time mm. Yeah I think people do People do People do a lot People, no, people do a lot But I'm saying in, in them circumstances If you don't believe anything Believe certain things where Maybe detrimental to other people If you're pretending to Agree with uh, women's plights, and you don't believe it. I think that's wrong. I hear that. It's disingenuous. I think it's very I hear disingenuous. One hundred percent. But we know it's a currency right now. No, it's, <laughs> and it's a very big country. And same, same with the. the is, it, is it currency? A one hundred percent. Yeah. Who? Even for self-preservation. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> you said bad guys that, that probably do that so that. No, like, no, but what I mean is you don't have to go out there and spew your opinion. Just say nothing. Yeah, but I guess if you don't do it, you don't get you're complicit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. complicit. No, no, you don't get... is, is that if is that if you are someone who's known to be on social media, mm. and, yes. you, and you're someone who's always in the mix? Yeah. Because if you're just someone who's on there and you're not, you're oblivious, and how, even take it away from no one's media. no one's going to call you out. 
Oh, so and so hasn't mentioned anything about this topic. They haven't, they haven't voiced their opinion. They, yeah, they, they must be the ops. So when, you're, when, you're speak, when you're speaking to a girl <laughs> and then she's talking about women's right. plight or such and such and such, yeah. in your head you're like, yeah, I'm, no, you make a good point or you're, you're agreeing just because you know that oh, she's going to think, oh, we're compatible. He understands my... Pl-. You know, sometimes you... You're see, on to side, man, not your... Yeah. Not, you know, your. sometimes, yeah, you see it in... I see it now, right? I call it um, when guys are doing coochie fishing. Well, I mean, where they're, they're, they're tweeting certain, par- like, what's well, one paragraph? Guys are like, ah, oh, this men of this generation. I just feel like they're just so disappointed. And like, he did some long, sp- I said, this guy's, I know, I know what he's doing here. Yeah. He's, he's coochie fishing. However, I've been told, and when I say I've been told, it's mainly Gloria, who <laughs> always tell me, why are we castrating the guy that's tweeting common sense? No. Because it agrees with the woman. No, 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 no. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna d- disagree with that one. Mm-hmm. Because we're not we're not castrating mm-hmm. someone. Because you you can someone can tweet common sense and it's a pattern of who they you can see that's who they are. Mm-hmm. But often than not, some people tweet or put, do certain things to coochie fish so that they are seen as a particular type of man. Mm-hmm. And they do that consistently so that they play a role. What like, if, what if, it's they, what if that's how they genuinely... No, no, if they... Who, who they are, that's fine. Mm-hmm. The prime example, biggest uh, coochie fisher was uh, Derek Jackson. Mm-hmm. He was pretending to be I am better than, than, than thou guy. And how many women told you you, you don't like him because he's, he, he's, he's talking the truth? But you could see through him but that's not a bad thing. You can say, you're you're not castrating him. You're saying, I hear what you're saying and he's agreeing with you, but he's not being genuine. I can see that. Mm. I'm not saying don't, like, don't let people be there who they are. But sometimes it's very obvious when people are not being genuine in, in their statements or they're not living their raps. Mm. Especially if you actually know them in real life. Yeah, you're like, right, I don't know what you're doing here. That's the worst thing you know. <laughs> so he was very vocal with his um, promotion of women's rights and stuff, right? Derek Fisher. <laughs> Derek That's a point guard. Nigga. <laughs> Jackson, like, he, Jackson. He, he was... Derek Jackson? Yeah. Derek Jackson. Sorry about that. Yeah, he was... He wasn't even... He was... Uh, if <laughs> he said, if your man does this... Like, he was... To be fair, I, I don't know who he was until the day he got... He was do, <laughs> literally... No, do you know, know what I knew who he was? Because I had a couple people that... Women that were like... Reposted stuff. And I was like, are you really just calling bullshit? I said, no, nah, you, you're, just, you're just jealous of... I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to lie to you. This is a man that I could never be jealous of because I just can tell he's not being genuine of who he is. And just because he's in the car and he's got he's got a little v-neck on muscle that like you think. So do you feel that if he was quiet, then he would he would come across more genuine? No, if he just you know when people are not genuine sometimes, when they try to separate themselves from a particular thing, like oh, like them men, no, so you're a man too. So mm. like if you if you were to say if you say us us as men we make mistakes and unfortunately there are some others that more than others that do this blah 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 then I know that you're speaking from even your like your keep yours you're still like okay yeah, I'm I'm a man too and I do make mistakes but when you do it like like men disappoint me yeah or men disgust me yeah but I agreed with him when he said it no but, in, yeah, but I'm I'm also a man and I also disgust myself. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now in 2021 But 2022, sorry But it, in the past it, But it, it, you know what I mean? When people separate themselves from situations Like you know, Some people will say Oh yeah um, Are those black people? You're like well, you're, you're, you're black too. Like you kind of Almost trying to It's a What's the word? You're better Moving than out of the hood? No, no Not moving out of the hood But you always got You're better than What you are Mm. Than other people Even though you're like No but You're you're one of us too So don't Kind of Talk down on the people That you are I, don't, I can't This is a phrase is it No, no, I hate no but What you're saying Is a very simple premise He wants to Be seen as being better Than other people Yeah there's, not, there's, there's people that do it They have a brand Over mm. doing that And it works for them I get it You're, you're making your coin Or that other you That be on um, Made you think A uh, light skin guy That you always slap someone and he's always just talking about my, yours. Basically, if you ain't got 
you should be financing a woman's life. You should be, bro. So you always just slap someone. He's just one of those guys that talks guy, down on guys who are not alphas <laughs> and this, that, and the third. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> but he's doing, he's doing, even there was a, a guy that was running joke about that, mm. where he'd do a speech, yeah, guys, you should be paying for everything. Da, da, da. Then after, like, he'd pretend like he'd finished recording. And then you'd be like, oh yeah, this is gonna give you all the yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen that, I've seen that. But yeah. there's guys that that's their their That's their angle. Man. That's their angle. It's it's sad. Twin? Yeah, no, he done that as a joke. He, do, oh, he okay. what you described, he he done oh, that. Yeah, because yeah, that they know realistically, there's no there's no thought pro- yeah, some, as humans, sometimes there's no thought process. If someone uh posts something that we agree with, a lot of the time we won't even uh, second guess it We just repost it But if uh, And if you're emotionally Attached to it as well It's so easy You're like Oh yeah nah mm. I hate men Or I hate Hate women You know It's the same way that There's a rise of these guys That talk down on women And kind of like Say yeah Ah uh, You know that, that pod That I was talking about Earlier mm. on There's a rise of them Because mm. There are Men that feel That particular way So they just repost it And they feel like You know these are the men to live up to. Do you feel you are doing your gender a disservice when you um, visibly agree with something online? So say, for example, I don't know, Justin L.A. Boy puts on uh, something like... I hate them niggas, man. <laughs> I was say, he, put, the rise. He, he puts on something like, um, if, you ain't, if you ain't making her life easier, um, shut the fuck up. Oh, as a man, if you're not making a life easier, shut the well, fuck I up. That. I kind of agree with that statement. And, there. and if if uh, the general consensus is that's just you're feeding into soft life, or you just oh, are mm. not them sort of man. But for you, do you feel like oh, I'm letting I'm letting the brotherhood down if you were to repost that or like? Not even. No. Sometimes I feel to throw the brotherhood under the bus. Sometimes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey. should, it, to be hey. honest, it's just on a. On a Real nigga. Yeah, it's like, sometimes you that's feel like, like that's that. Why I was, that's why I said you that warehouse willy one. I said, I'm sorry, but this is fucking funny, man. Yeah. yeah. But you see, like, some like, just, you said a good example, Justin, but sometimes he plays both sides of the fence. Yeah. And he, he plays both sides of the fence because he knows it gets, he gets popular. It's going to rile people up. Yeah, he's, he's just posting what he wants. He knows that everyone's going to interact with him. Yeah. And he can't just post for men. I mean, so he just posts, he posts for men. Yeah, some of the stuff is, 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 is tongue in cheek, but some people take it to heart. Because wherever they're at in life, they're hurting. Mm. So they'll be saying, yeah, da, da, da. And you're like, big man, it's not that serious. But a lot of the narratives are just banner anyway. Like, for example, black men don't cheat. Yeah. That's just, it's just a banner narrative. It's not mm. something that people that, actually believe in. That'd be the truth, sir. That'd be the truth. It's not Absolutely. the truth, though. <laughs> what? That's the, the thing, it's not the truth. The, those, those <laughs> Who are, Mex- are you? This that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the, those are Mexicans, man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's, just, it's a I'm banner blaming. narrative that people just feed into for jokes. Now, yeah, it's, obviously. It's, it doesn't mean anything, can it? But a lot of the time, people sometimes people take things to heart. I think there's one comment. I think it was one of my, I think it was one one of our yeah. things. That some time I posted, I was like, oh, and I was like, bro, are you. What, what was it? So I was like, ah, oh, I think um, Jason, um, like really, like I can't remember said that like, is into this romance stuff. Da, da, da. And I was oh, like, I was like, you got offended by that? I didn't even get offended. He didn't like that. They put you in a little. In, in the no, box. no. The thing is, I, I just, you know, what? I'm, I'm curious. I just went and clicked on the picture. I was like, was it a, a girl or guy? This, I, was, I was like, who's well, a girl or guy? Guy. And I was, oh. just, I was like, whatever, man. In this world, people will say stuff that's normal. What's wrong with being seen as a guy who's into romance? No, but it's just the way, like you know, sometimes people. What was the wording? What was the actual? Is it? Was I, can't, it... I can't remember the wording, but I just remember it was like, I love a boy. No, nah, it wasn't even that. But I was just like. I was like, you're really invested. I, I don't really know who you are, but I don't okay. mind if someone says it on me. No, it's. I think it was just the wedding. I was just like, okay. That's endearing, man. Listen, it happens. But everyone's gonna have. Everyone has an opinion. Isn't it? Yeah. Opinions are part of life. I'm not yeah. really bothered by that, but I'm just saying it was just like. Don't change your content for that. My like content? Yeah, yeah. Don't be more hard just to. Man <laughs> 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 said, don't go D block on them. Uh, <laughs> this is Jason the Lover Boy. You know? Nah, that's cool, man. It's all good. It's he all envious. Good. But do you think that you are going to be worse? Or I think they're going to be um, better in the sense of them being able to handle themselves um, if the internet went kaput. Mm. Nah. Nah. Because everything, everything, every experience is tethered to some sort of internet uh, mm. social interaction with them. Um, 
So I guess it's good that the metaverse is coming because they will be they rule it. I do wonder, like, in terms of because every weird. year, every mm. year, if you tune in in them August days when they release them GCSEs and them A levels, it seems like they're getting very smart. Mm. Or we were just dumbass kids, but. <laughs> Or, I would like, or the curriculum is again. I think it's changing the change curriculum. 100%. That too. But I'm just, I also think like, but they, they have, have plenty to more, more information now, to but be honest. Also, plenty more distractions. Yeah, we was listening, yeah. we was taking uh, information from encyclopedias and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That updated. Harder what, to basically yeah, what, which updated once stuff, a year. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or the, the, the CGP textbooks that we had available to us, bro. Like, yeah. They put everything, every information. Yeah. So they could probably come in class like, so you was telling me about this, but. Mm. I read up on it and yeah, nah, nah, that made no sense. You've got access to much more information, so it makes sense for your degrees to be going up. Yeah, mm. I, I don't lose sleep over any of that, to be honest. Was that so, your what? I don't lose sleep over any of that. I have to just make sure that um, my finances are good enough. Mm. Yeah, I love to think about this stuff. Then, yeah. They will still be working retail. And Fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> and finish your own and you still have to be in contact. Yeah. yeah. That's my own and you could be a, a cool dad and be like trying to be involved in everything. You're... That's another thing I was going to say. Not involved in everything, but I'd, I'd definitely be a cool dad. I think our generation will be cooler, mm. cooler dads mm-hmm. than our parents' generation. You think we're, you'd be, we're more clued up. Be giving music education. That's what I was going to nah. say. Would you be, what sort of music would you be listening to as a 50 year old? I, 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 I think the same. I've been the same. same. There's rap, hip hop. Yeah, some coming up. You heard that? That new Kendrick. <laughs> <laughs> You're 50. No, he's no, he's no, 14. No, 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 no. My kids not gonna be listening to what I'm listening to. Mm, nah, they wouldn't. I don't think my son's gonna be listening to Kendrick or who I'm listening to. He's gonna listen to whoever is the popping rapper. So he's time. listening to Lil Snooty and you still. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying he's not gonna go and do his research like yeah, I did because yeah. I still went back and listened to all the, all the rappers and what were current when I was younger. But I don't think I'm gonna be listening. Me, and my kids are gonna be I think the only same. Ha- the same tracks. And that only happens when there's a, there's a small gap in age. Mm. Like, if you had your child young yeah. to when you're still kind of growing, yeah. then the music, you can introduce him. Mm. I don't think we've disconnected yet um, with the type of music our age is supposed to be not understanding. Mm. The same way um, our parents can't connect to rap in the same way we yeah, are. I think like that's much closer. Because yeah. still, when these new artists will come out, there's still tracks 100%. It's a banger, it's a banger, it's a banger. Yeah. And these are the, the tracks that people or concerts that these little kids are they're going to vibe to. Mm. So I don't think we've we've reached to that particular era yet of music where we don't understand, we can't this we can't yeah. connect to I it. think I think we'll we still, as the older ones haven't, but I think the younger ones have disconnected with the music that we've we were. But that's that's on. understandable because that's of it. but I think that's we as young 30 year olds. Mm. Where we've got old foot year olds, like we've got people our, our ages that wouldn't even dare listen. What well, don't like, listen to the I, baby? No, nah, like, I, I always, I always say, when people get to thirty, you have become older, you're young, you, you remain a young thirty, and that, that goes into the way your your music, the way you dress, everything is you, is just two way split, and that's how it is. You'll find your friend. Now nah, I can't do that. I'm old. What? So, I was even, I was also asking my boy what type of television do you think you'd be consuming? You still gonna be fucking with whatever Fifty Cent's pushing out with Nafuli, all of his BMF sequels and sequels. Yeah. Or, you gonna be the documentary guy? I or, might be documentary. No, I don't think I'll ever be documentary. But, well, it depends on what mm-hmm. the documentary is about. I mm-hmm. watch documentaries from my whole life, but it just depends on. It, it depends on what it is, but, but I think I like documentary. Yeah, I like crime stuff. Movies. I'm still gonna be watching Marvel, MCU, bro, until mm. um, Quay Quay old. Because he was looking at um, uh, like say that that clip that I sent you with um. With Miss Banks, the, the talk show that they've got. Yeah. I sent it to my boy, and he was just like, I'm getting tired of all of this, this same repetitive sort of listing. Yeah. yeah. Like, he can't see him, himself watching that, consuming this sort of content for that much longer. Mm. So I was like, So, what stuff are you going to be watching? Are you going to be watching like how these bloody married vlog couples are on YouTube talking you know about what? The thing is, experience? You, and all that you never know how your palette might, mm. might change. Progress, but I even, think, no, sorry, no. a couple of years ago, I was heavy on reality TV. Mm. Like I used to watch anything that was hip hop related that was reality TV. I was glued. Now I don't watch any of it. Like mm. not one. Mm. So that's my 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 palate, my taste is just changing it. And obviously that will keep happening until I'm going to what age. So I reckon my interest will definitely evolve. Um, but I reckon it's still going to be centered around black. Blackness. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The blackness black, will always be blackness, the, will, blackness will always be the common theme. 
A hundred percent. It may even add to, to like, it's more your interest as well because you might start to have a pay more interest to technology, a lot more technology because you might be buying more gadgets so you start following a YouTube channel. Would That's it be, just... What about, would it be time though? Because I was mentioning is that when you actually have a family, apart from the, we might just be on the couch with your, your missus, but you're not really, you're looking after kids, you're working, you're trying to find new ways to make money, you're this and that. There's not much time to consume other stuff. Yeah, you go watch a blockbuster films and maybe the one show, I don't know if there's a, an insecure sort of something that happens mm. in the next few years. But other than that, what you're consuming, is it going to be plentiful? Like it was no, like definitely, because my, my, my consumption of TV has decreased as I've got older. Yeah. I don't even really watch TV. Yeah. And I haven't watched I TV for years. Sports, it's just YouTube. I'm a, I'm a sports person. Like, but it all changes. It depends mm. on, on how you set your family life and how your... You and your, your partner set your time because you still may be... Obviously, you're, you're a sports person. But like, well, I watch sports here and, da, 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 yeah. and she'll know that and she'll ha- has her, her thing. The only thing that might stop that if you get with someone that's codependent on you and everything that you do and like, oh no, we, we have we, we need to watch this. Or what are you watching? And then you're like, no, but I, this is my time to just like just watch yeah. the pool. Like imagine like you you like your tech stuff as well. And she's like, oh no, no, why don't we just I wanna watch this? And you're like, like nah. get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Listen, I'll call you when I want to ask. <laughs> so we can't watch shows separately. <laughs> ever. <laughs> no, but some people live that life where there is no separation. God forbid. In in their even if you're downtime. doing your own thing, I want to be involved in your remote somehow. presence. Yeah, or being no, involved. you can be my presence, but don't say, "Oh, let's watch something else because I'm here too, and we need to watch something that we're both interested in." If I'm watching football, I'm watching football. Oh, you might even watch Marvel. So, oh, I, don't, I don't. Can't we just watch? And you're like, no, no, but this, I, I saved the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, you know, this movie will be over soon, and when it's over, you can you can have your turn. Uh, again, three rooms, lads. <laughs> No, I hear that, but well, I'm just... She's going to leave one of them and come to yours. Come to just, yours. Just, just have, 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 have common common interests. Yeah. Have common interests, but she might just be hanging on the, on the end of the door like, so, uh, Brent, what are you doing? I'm watching TV. Oh, we watching? Come and see. Yeah. Ah. Do, you, do you think it's very important to have common interests with your partner? Like, I think it is, but I don't... From music example. to sh- TV, shows, like, the, the stuff that you consume. I don't think... It's a, it's, I don't think it's like there's any flag or any, not danger, but there should also be an appreciation for the fact that we like different things. Because that mean for me, that means you can actually, you have, first of all, you have something that you can do alone. Yeah. And you have interests that you can even perhaps get me into. Yeah. So if I don't know, your, uh, your girl might be into sci-fi. I'm not really a sci-fi guy. Yeah. But if there's something, a popping series or something, I might can get interested into it. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think it's important to have every single you know mm. thing in common, but I do. I've experienced both ends of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I've been with someone and we've got hardly anything in common. Obviously, we get along in life sense, but in terms of like interest, music, shows, there's nothing there. You know, I've had people, I've had partners where everything I like, you like, and it's just it's, it's just way later to me. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Way 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 better. I, to... I think it's just yeah. Too much. I. I it's almost the person understands time. That's that's what it comes down to. They understand your time, their time, time together, like when to know to separate the two. Because sometimes you you might have a situation where some people have situations where, as I said, they don't have no downtime. The downtime is when they take their phone to the toilet. <laughs> and that's a wild way to live. That'd be the best though. I'm not gonna lie, that's sometimes that's my downtime when I'm in my house by myself. No, yeah. no, was it, but I'm saying, say, to the and just... bro, pants on the ankles. Sure. <laughs> but say that that was your Shoot. only time to, to the, oh, you, you park up, you'll spend 45 minutes in the car, just like, ah. Oh. Yeah, but that's not like you hate your relationship. <laughs> some people, um, some people maybe. <laughs> some people do. Like, no? Uh, yeah. Like, why, why, why can't, why can't, why can't. In, in everything in life, we need respect. And about why can't your downtime be. He's, I hate you. You and your missus together. You don't have to be talking. You could be in the same room, silent, same room, doing your own thing. If you're coming home from work and you're in your car for bare long because you want to go home, you hate your you hate your relationship. Not really, but like sometimes on, you bro. just want to do a non like man just want to burp, man just want to rap. 
just want to. No, but the thing is, yeah, then don't, then don't live with your purpose. But you is right though, because it speaks to where your relationship is at that you can't be you, and it kind of goes back to my point of people sometimes in a relationship is not them, and then when they want to be them, they have to find another escape or a yeah. Because they they never let their partner know. You know what? Mm-hmm. When I get in, I like forty five minutes of silence. And your partner might not have voice. They might want music. You have to find and Brent's free rooms. I was just about to say. Yeah, you just say, oh, all right, babe, I'm gonna be in the other room because I need to hear my music when I come in, just to feel like I'm alive. It's it's all balance, and it's all about having a conversation. Yeah, mm-hmm. have a conversation. And obviously, you... practice this stuff before you move in together, isn't it? Like. I'm sure, I don't know, one of you might have your own place while you're in a relationship or while you're dating, whatever. So spending time with each other in whoever's apartment, whoever's house, that kind of breeds, you know. That would be great. Though. And teaches you how the other person is, what they like, what they don't like, and you get a better yeah. idea of what they like to live with. Yeah. And you take that into, you know. Consideration. When you move well, you, together. D- you don't know people until you live with them. You go on a holiday. Oh, holiday's a big one. <clears throat> What's the other thing? Seeing them around their friends in their in own environment, as opposed to a reposted today, it was I think there was a couple. Mm. But I think those are where you keep indicators when you know something. You're like, ah, oh, you know what? You can actually say, I like you, who you are. See them around their friends is a tough one because then people can start acting. No, but they won't act because it may be act, <coughs> you might, but it's actually who they are. I'm talking about when they're in a comfortable, their 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 peers. Because you'd be like, oh right. Like someone might like say, I never use this funny. Why are you not this funny with me? I have to be serious. Mm. Like, it's true. It's true. I feel you. Like your, your baby's like you. You you're cracking jokes like this all the time. Babe, I told you I'm funny. Yeah. You, just, you just don't let me be free. <laughs> do, do you think? Do you think it's a turn off a woman? Yeah. Let's just say she knows her man to be a certain you know type of man, and then when she gets when she's seen him amongst his peers, he's looking like this, <laughs> this different kind El of feeble. man. Like a bit timid, a bit yeah. feeble, a bit of a recluse. She's thinking, rah. Like, what do you think that says to a woman about you? You try to boss up on me in the kitchen, nigga, <laughs> and you the sixth nigga on this team. <laughs> you <the> sixth man. <laughs> like, obviously, it's right to know your place and to yeah. be however you want to be. But do you think a, a woman will look at you some type of way if around me you're? I think so. Big boss man, but around your friends, you're looking like looking like you looking kind of meek over there. I think so because I think to them status, stature, and how people perceive you is quite important. Yeah. yeah. So if you look at like the chump of the group. Yeah, if you look at the chump of the group, I think it's a problem for your missus, you know? Yeah, because she might look at it raw. I saw one. I, I, I the woman doesn't want the chump of the group. Yeah, I saw one tweet, you know, like, ah, oh, I dated. She, I think someone's like, mm. what, I, I realized he wasn't the boss man of his group. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I laughed because I understood what she meant. But the way she said it, it was like, and he wasn't the. But the thing is, I don't think you need to be the boss. No, you just have to have your own uh, mind. Yeah, that's just, what she meant. Just don't, don't, just don't be a sheep. Yeah. But that's, that's what, what she meant. But she said, the don't boss be a follower. Imagine, imagine your girlfriend sees you get pricked by the uh, next man. Like you lost the argument, like, proper, and you get a clown. And then the rest of the man, you said, don't have that. And then, <laughs> shut your mouth, <laughs> <laughs> bro. You've got then you've got to. That's what I mean. You got to act now because you've got to. Back your own in a way that right, man don't really put me on the spot. They just try me because my babes is here. Now I've got to do bravado to make it look like I ain't a chop. Mm, I think I don't know. I, I don't think know. that would happen really because if you're around your, you bring your your woman around your man there. Yeah, everyone should just act would act normal. Yeah, like how they should act. Yeah, and unless you get one guy that's really trying to mm. run joke on you, like but then you just have to. I think you just have to be who you are. The worst is when the man them. Crack joke on you when the missus is around, and then she tries to jump in with the joke, and then now she's trying to run that same joke on you when they're not around. Big man, that joke is not for you. <laughs> that was then. That, that is, that's me and their joke. So you you now try and use that mark. against me. You know, little bitch. <laughs> is that, you overstepped your mark here. Like, you're opposite, you're opposite, you're opposite your boundaries. That's bad jokes, man. Like, but have you been opposite? Like, I always think we get oh, like we're gonna get to situations where your missus, oh, let's just go. And do couple things like with other couples. Yeah. And you get there, you're like, babe, this guy's a I don't, even, I don't even like this nigga. <laughs> this yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I have, I have to have met him <laughs> in a different setting. I can't just or, do a blind date with another man. Or this guy's a drawer. What do you mean? Because the way he <laughs> like like he's the he's, way he's, he's he's like gets on your nerves, you're like. Now, I was gonna say, like, say say for example, you go out with 
Um, he doing some good stuff with his wife. And oh, oh, he's yeah. the oh, he's oh, the bad. He does the PDA, or he's <laughs> he's ginger in, yeah, yeah. in that in that booth beside, and you're not really on that sort of kissing in public. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, hey, like, yo, wait, I'll bring the bring the ace over. Ace, <laughs> I'm trying to get blossoms here. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to get the ginger ale. <laughs> what you trying to do, bro? I like, we we got this right. To be fair, we <laughs> to be to be fair to be fair, I think that's bad etiquette. <laughs> If you meet a man for the first time hey, and you dude, haven't ascertained what he's on, you're just doing your own thing mm-hmm. and making him uncomfortable or putting him in a difficult spot. Like, for example, ordering a, a three hundred pound bottle of champagne. Yeah, but that's what you do when you're by yourself or when you've your your, your man. Them, you don't know this. Done. So I have to dull my my my. No, but you read the room. You read the room. I'm saying have a room. Read the room. Have a little combo. Like when the girls go to the toilet. Have, have a, a quick, quick little team talk. What's your budget like? What's your budget? <laughs> <laughs> What are we saying? Are we getting bottles today? No. <laughs> not even that. Like, no, 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 no. It doesn't Bring have to me be that, that southern yeah, It doesn't have to be that kind of conversation, man. Yeah, just... What do you do? What do you do for work? Wow, that's how you find out. Yeah, nah, that's, that's a bit too juicy. I got a job with boxes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think... I think I'll be working think, down I think, at, I think there's at a, a way station. just to have a conversation <laughs> with a man. Yeah. It could be quick and you can... There's certain things you can say. In this, yeah. What pace we sit in? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it could be. You know, it could be very yeah. simple like that. But I, I was, I was saying the opposite. Like, so like, 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 like wow, is it, a, is it a light day today or day heavy day? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you say light or heavy? Let me know. And I'm. That's like, not a bad deal. We can parlay. Like whatever you're on, I'm on. Okay, cool, safe. Are oh, they back? I was going on, baby. You cool? Yeah. Patting it that way. I was saying. You work it that way. It's politics. It's bad joke. No, you're correct. It would be dope if he's the type of nigga that will get that. Yeah. Yeah. Because then the evening will be dope. Yeah, yeah but if he's not, then he goes back home to the base. You know, this guy was on some El Cheapo <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit circulate. <laughs> You're done out, bro. Uh, uh, we, we ain't we ain't linking them again. Or I'm saying the other way, like he's a draw out where you're like, he's like an awkward guy mm. that you're like, I don't like this guy. And mm. he's drawing me out of my own comfort personality of where I'm like. This guy's a bit of a prick. Yeah, then I'm, I'm going to play, I'm gonna play nice for the next few hours and then, babes, I'm never going to see that never, girl again. Never I'll let you know that. Never shoot again. Yeah. Don't do that. So ho- hopefully, um, she saw the same vibes that you saw. Yeah. She's not stupid enough to be, be like, what do you mean? Yeah. And then you look dumb for basically not wanting to see the, the, the yeah. guy again. Because yeah. she liked the girl. And she- yeah. That's, that's they, awkward they, though. Imagine, they're going, they're imagine going on a double date and you don't feel the guy, bro. It's just... There's, there's no, I mean, there's no oh, energy, there's oh, no common anything. Just, a, ah, you can imagine. Get me out of here. Blind date, double date. Yeah, blind date. Like obviously, your missus knows mm-hmm. the friend, but she don't. She, you never met the guy before. Mm-hmm. And he's like some weird. Or can imagine what you just said before, where you all run and joke, and yeah. he tries to run joke on you. Like, hey, big man, I don't know you. I don't know. I don't you know you like that. I don't know you. Like, you know, like first time you let it slide. Yeah. Second time you tries to run a joke again. Yeah. You're like, nah, nah. This. Yeah. I think. You have to meet him at like a, a group setting first, like a party or whatever. Mm. I think you're honestly, you're going to need that um, girls go to the toilet. Yeah, you so have to. You need that so you can actually get a little... Fig- figure out if you're, if he's he's cool. But what if the what if both of the men are timid then? It's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're good. All right. <laughs> How did you meet Sharon? <laughs> <laughs> like two shy men on the table think, okay, they've gone to the toilet. They're, they're both thinking the same thing, but they ain't saying it. Mm. Or they might be even that. You might have... They might just she, oh yeah um so and so's coming around the house for dinner. Oh okay cool. What if this happens? What if um you're all you're all having dinner or whatever. The bill comes in your mind. You're thinking okay cool. Me and me and my man are gonna split the thing. Obviously, what if two things happen? One he doesn't he doesn't pay and let he, lets you pay, or he just covers the bill and makes you look like the, El, like the, I said the, the... El Chipo. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if the latter happens, yeah. Right, like, for example, imagine he took initiative and maybe went to... Uh, yeah, I got styling on me for no reason. Wait, why did And paid. As a man, are you going to feel like, rah, like, I wanted to pay too. Now you're making me look like I'm not contributing. I, I, I might say, so what's your, what's your monza? What's your... Yeah, don't, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll, I'm going to send worry. you the P. Ever I pay think, on me, nigga? I, I, <laughs> don't pay on me. That I ain't P. If, that ain't P. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the guy who pays wins, though. Because now you look like. Now you've got, but do you think your missus is looking at you in some type of way? Even though she knows. It depends what missus he, you he, get. He docked off by himself to do a secret on oh, let me pay for the bill without letting no, anyone know. It depends what sort of missus you got. Because he'd be like, yeah, eager guy. Yeah. Eager man, let him, yeah. It's up to him. Uh, if she's impressed, like, oh, right, you don't even. 
I never see you do that. Or you might be the Dante. Oh, what he paid? Safe. <laughs> <laughs> you got a bad mouth, him. Yeah, like. See you your girl. Oh, you, you paid big man. Any guy, right, bro. Geez. Paid. Next time I got you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to impress his girl, bro. We don't do that here. Save, save me about a couple hundred. I've <laughs> mm. imagined that, dude. Save me about two, about, about two hundred bucks. Imagine, let's. let's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Thanks. Next time is. Okay. Imagine that. Like, let's say the bill came up to, I don't know, you go out these days, we mm. could do 150 for two. I'm assuming if you're going out of a double date, D days, you're going somewhere nice. You're yeah, going somewhere yeah, where the bill's yeah. coming out to a couple, couple hundred. So he's you've got a. Does it even look smooth or clean? Talking about, all right, this is three fifty. I got, got one seven five. You got one seven five. It, it might even look. No, like, but as the men at the yeah. table, I think it's you, obviously you get up and go over. Yeah, there like you're you're both paying. Yeah, but, and you just say, bro, well, cool. Are we split? All right, cool. We split, cool. Oh. Yeah, come, let's go. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you're supposed to. Yeah. Be. You can't let that card reader come to the table. And then he's. It's tough. And, you're, you're and, then, and, and then he brings out the gold platinum. To be fair, the, 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 the Amex. To be team. fair, if, if there's no pre dialogue, it could be a case where the card reader comes over and the bill comes over and you're both. The women are both there and you're both. You haven't had that conversation. So you don't know what the pattern. And you're both in your head thinking, okay, cool. What's going to happen? <laughs> do I just pay it and sort it out later? Or do we. Should I ask him now? Oh, are we going halves? Like, what do you do? I was just about to ask you. So what happens if that couple were a bit, you know, extra heavy-handed? I think I have to buy them two apple pies. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So now we've got to go straight direct the down middle. the middle, even though, I let's know. say the bill was 400. Mm. We did 150 over here. Yeah, yeah. And you did 250. Now we've got to do two bills each. I'm not going to lie to you. See, that's where... You've got, it, you got to swallow it. Nah, that's where your, your woman will come into it. Because if she's yeah. on, on... This is... Women if are great your woman part. is on your side, yeah, she would say... Like, we we didn't spend all of that. Yeah. That's you not, have to say in a joking banter way. That's not Someone that. will do it. No, that's not happening. Unless it is you guys know each other. Oh, okay. That kind yeah, of yeah, conversation yeah. of flying at Angamon. Yeah. Yeah, on the spot there. The on the spot, no. But, but then the she might say, oh, why do you say nothing? You know that was part of the part of the budget. Just this one got to half. Yeah, you got a half, but in, in my in my estimation, if it was a, a cool evening and um we're probably gonna do this again. Do it again. Yeah, I would cover this one and say you and get it next time. Yeah. yeah, and then or he might say I will get it and then and you get, get it. it. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. That's a, a nice calm conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. even that went well. Thing, all right, put half of his and half of mine. It looks a bit weird for me. Mm, I don't think it's that weird because you're two guys doing it. Yeah. Mm. If and you if you said I got half and then he goes, oh yeah, she got the half. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do if that happens? What do you do, if, ba- baby? Got your car? <laughs> no, is it, is it awkward if the bill comes over, you pay your half. And then you look at them and they're divvying it up between themselves. Look at your missus now. No, that. you know what? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not looking at, no, I'm not looking at her, Ra, like, why didn't you pay? I'm looking at Ra, like, Ra, is that what they're doing? No, no, I... Impressive enough. No, I... There was... Someone told me this, that a girl broke up with a guy because he was like that. As in what? Like, he would... They would go out in, like, couples and stuff. Yeah. And then when it comes to paying, he'd be like, oh, so you got your half. That's childish. Yeah, of course. Oh, no, 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 not, dang, not dang, to break dang. up. Huh? That's childish, man. But to break up, not to break no, up. No, asking his no, wife. If to... if he done this in a recurring, if it was a recurring thing, if, I understand. If why she break up with him. He embarrassed her in a mixed forum, then cool. But to break up with him because he did the same thing. You met him like this. Yeah, no, I hear that, but it was. I think because it was more like he was doing it in group settings. Oh no! Okay, cool. Let's and say, and she wait, said, "Please heart. don't do that." What do you mean by no? Heart? As in. He's, it was always 50 50. Did, did this happen on their first ever date? I don't oh. know about their first ever date. So when they go out on a normal, they always do 50 50 or yeah. whatever. So when the guy in a group of 10, he's still saying, bring out your 50 pound. The scuff still. Oh, yeah. Dang, yeah. You're, okay. Dang, you're saying yeah. the group. No, nah, the group saying you got to cover that, big man. You're moving mad. I'll collect the money later. No, nah, don't collect the money. You're, just, you're paying for your, your missus. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I hear that. But if it is that's this, this scenario, he could have easily have just um, avoided that. No. Like but is, is, say, so. but let's say you have do you have ego in the sense of, I don't know the the way you're set up. Your wife is happily paying for meals or stuff like that, but it's just like in this group with all these people. Even though maybe it's your mark time this month, I have to pay for it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can't look yeah, yeah. obviously your wife can pay for you dates, whatever. But if you're in a group setting, my wife is not paying. I'm gonna pay, even if it's just for the optics. <laughs> Literally, you know what I mean, Literally. even if it's just for the optics. I'm paying. But. T- take my card, babe. Huh? Literally. <laughs> What's the pin card? The thing is, most restaurants that you go to... The, the, they, they come up to you anyway. They don't even go to the woman. No. Never. I think that's disrespectful never. still. Why? I ain't got it. 
Look if I don't going. have no, no, I have it. No, you have it. That's wait, why you're there. I said I have it. <laughs> but <I'm> still, <laughs> wait, wait. It's not my day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that it's like rotted. Yeah. Like, how do you know she's not here because it's my no, birthday? No, it, make, it, make, me. it makes sense though. And yeah. if if the weight is wrong, then the rate is well, wrong. wrong. Because like, think... no, no. the thing is, a woman if she what she like, ah. Oh, now it's his birthday. It's, yeah, it's no, because that's, that's happened to me before when yeah. I'm being treated. Yeah, women will birthday will, whatever. I, and, the okay. whole thing about dates that when they're thing, women will gladly say, "No, no, it's my treat today." Blah blah blah. Yeah. But it, you can't do it in a setting where she's just kind of slurring you out, and you yeah. feel like raw. Gotta let the waiter go. I, I think it cool. them situations are funny, but I think as we get as we get older, there'll be a thank lot you. more. Thank you. <laughs> there'll be a lot more couple situations. Yeah. Or your wife, like, oh yeah, we need to go to here, and you, you like you have to navigate that even space where you're like, babe, do we have to go or do I have to come? Because mm. I wow. really, f- I don't really feel like we went over to so and so's house. Mm. Food is meaty. <laughs> yeah, but all these conversations are just normal that like you just have with your partner. No, no, but some people don't have this conversation. Some I don't. People, I don't get it, bro. Some men actually will have to. Will just go to every. Not me, bro. I'm very. I'm outspoken with relationships. I'm telling you, like, what well, we have to go back to. Yeah, how stunk are. <laughs> <laughs> well, them, them. No, nah, I'm not getting. I refuse. Balls, I refuse. No, 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 no. But that's that's like part of. That's a part of a couple life that we don't hear enough people have conversations that yeah. you have to navigate even family life. Like, oh yeah, we've got to go to Auntie um Josh's house, uh, Auntie jo- uh, Jocelyn's house. Again. Nah, drunk, she'd be feeding uncle. she'd be feeding me mixed veg with it with the, nah don't. <laughs> Listen, be free of your partner, man. Literally. Just speak your mind. I mean. Just don't be offensive, but just yeah, say don't look. Don't offend kill you. family though, but just be like, Yeah, I wouldn't oh. be rude. I wouldn't be rude. Yeah, you'd be rude, but you just unless be... she gives me the permission. After she basically slacks them off, I'll mm. still keep them off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but her, yeah, her slacking them off is not uh, uh, an uh, invitation. Yeah, that's like you said, you're off. not allowed to join that joke. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's not, you can't join those jokes. <laughs> that's my ugly ass auntie. Yeah. <laughs> She's beautiful to you. What the fuck is she talking about? Oh, exactly. But just as, as you said, said an invitation. But no, just not. be free with your partner and say, look, babes, yeah, I'm not really comfortable going over to that, that function or mm. I actually don't want to go. So it's my Saturday. Yeah, why? Because I don't want to go. Yeah, you can go. If you want me to pick you up or whatever. Cool. Sometimes you got to save face though because it's like, okay, wife has got to roll up to this function. Yeah, yeah, get no. awkward questions. No, no like, sometimes, no, sometimes you do things you don't want to do to yeah, appease absolutely. your missus. Yeah, you play, sure. the role. you play the role. Okay, cool. You, you need me to come today because you need me to be by your side? I'm there. But sometimes I might really not want to go. You might have to beg me a bit. <laughs> do something strange for a bit of change. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll come along. Yeah, but I, mean, it, it, I think you know, it, give and take. Literally, it, that. But that's how it is. I don't think people. Some people gotta think that your one person has to almost rule and. and no. Yeah, it's definitely give and take. Not, Even certain things like it could be your partner's career, but the type of events that they, you want, she wants you to come to, jarring. You, you gotta be. I, I'm candy. Isn't that? And all, you got you got hair from 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 that. Like, I don't mind me candy. I'm candy. I, I, I free drinks. Oh, the canopies. Or dirt. You're sick. But oh, you saw you got hair. You, uh, Yusuf, you did well. You punching. Or at the, the, the function, you gonna be like, okay. To be uh, fair, I think uh, they tend to compliment. They didn't tend to compliment the, the woman. Yeah. Sometimes, but ever sometimes. What, a, what a beautiful wife. Stuff yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying. It depends though, because if it's your. Function. No, oh, if it's my function, it's I'm taking her along. Yeah, you're along. They're yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. They're, they're gonna. I think they always compliment the woman. Yeah, they like, oh, the man. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you see, is it this your? Yeah. Oh, you did good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're always gonna make her feel like she's on the pedestal, mm. for sure. And other function, but like, oh shoot, this is your husband. You should bring her up more often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice though. It's imagine she's like, no, no, no. Let you see, you can't come to the function again. Don't bring me to your Nike events on this day. Mm. No, sometimes you just have to give and take. You might get good freebies at their events. Mm. Wow. You got help over a promotion. Party favors. Literally. Trust All right, me. Cool. All right, let's do the song of the week thing. We've been on song of the week for a couple of weeks, though. So. Have I got a song? Spurs. Spurs. They won, they was losing 2 1, and then they 95th and 97th minute to win it 3 2. I guess who? Uh, Leicester. Oh, oh was it? Oh. Crazy. You know Arsenal got hella games in hand, you know? 
Again, I'm I'm liking us. We have like three or four games in. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm we're still fifth. We've Spurs done. Got we've few, done. Like game in hands. Yeah, Spurs got bigger in hands. So. Done, <laughs> the game in hands mean nothing really though at the moment. No, it does. Yeah, it, to because be honest, I, I hear that. I hear that. Because the, the amount of get, like, it's all about also about your squad as well. We have game in hands. When the fixtures come. Yeah, no, obviously you got to win them. I'm just saying. No, no, in general. I'm it's, just it's nice to be sitting in fifth. Yeah, I hear that. And still have three or because four games in hands. Yeah, yeah. As we, yeah. I know I hear that. Mm. we got game hands as well, actually. We've got two. All right, I'm going to play something off Nas's new album, Magic. I'm excited about next season, though, to be honest. So we know we're getting a striker. We know we're getting Who, a the one, one from, uh, I don't know which Fredio. one it is, to be honest, but and we know we're getting one. Yeah, we're definitely getting a striker. It's going to be an upgrade to flipping... Black and the yeah. You think who are you gonna go for? Isaac, Isaac or Vulovic? Vule, but Vulovic is asking for too much, man. Oh, that you... He's asking for twenty percent of his future sale. Mm. His agents asking for like eighteen mil, and he's asking for something. They're asking for too much. I mean, I don't know if any of that is true, but well, we don't know. But I'm just going off what I've heard. What I've to been, be honest, I don't really care about how they spend um, their money. I want to win. No, I know, but that's gonna be the, that's gonna be the deterrent from Arsenal actually doing the deal. Mm. They, didn't, they didn't stop from buying Pepe. Yeah, but Pepe wasn't asking for this. And they paid in installments. I'm, 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 I'm just hearing, hearing Fiorentina won a lump the full sum. price. Whatever mm. we have to pay. I'm not hearing anything else about I know. what this person wants. But what I'm saying is, if they are asking for those things, Arsenal may not do the deal is what I'm saying. I don't think you want value. Why am I going to pay Fiorentina 60 mil and pay your agent 20 mil, then pay you 9 mil, then give you 20%? Yeah, I don't know if it's true. I yeah, don't... okay, let's assume it's true. Because if that's the case, I'm not even sure Arsenal do stuff like that anyway. Mm-hmm. I don't think Arsenal would do that. Precisely. So that's why I said I don't think it's it's legit. Unless, no, the p- clubs don't need to do that unless they really, really... Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of clubs don't do third party. Yeah, and also you're forgetting, Vulovic doesn't even want to come to Arsenal. He doesn't rate Arsenal, bro. He wants to go <laughs> to Juve or something. No, I don't. I, you know, I've, I was watching something where they said that him, it's sort of just so. that issue because he he wants to get them to Europe. Yeah. Before he doesn't want to leave in Jan. Yeah. Because he had a fallout with because they asked him to sign a new contract. He didn't want to sign one. Yeah. And that they that put, they put that out very public, yeah. so the fans were angry at him and yeah. it looked bad on him. Yeah. If they, he leaves in January, just after that, okay. he'd rather leave at the end. In the summer. Yeah, in the summer. Then he, he can actually pick his club, get into Europe, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But Arsenal, I don't think you want that guy. Bro. And also, I think Arsenal, I think everyone wants to see where we finish in the league. Mm. Probably. Like, is Arsenal fourth. going to be Champions League team? Are they going to be Europa League team? Or are they going to be none of the, uh, the above? And I think that's an issue as well for big players. I'm not saying he's a big player, but he's a, he's a talented prospect. Isn't he? I think we've done well this year, to be honest. But either way, we'll, we're going to have a new striker. We'll probably have two, to be fair. Mm. Get rid of Inicate you. Because in KTL, like I said, and the Bamiyan, I don't think I, I see any of them at Arsenal next season. Mm. So we're going to need at least two strikers. 100%. And then obviously someone for the um, field. And then a couple of pieces. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward. I think Arsenal have a bright, bright future. I think we need two midfielders. What's that? Two midfielders, minimum. I think we need to get rid of Yaka for sure. I think his time, his time's up. I know he adds a lot to the team. And, he doesn't. And players play he well. He doesn't. Okay, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. He right, doesn't. You guys need a striker. Who? Liverpool. And we don't, need a midfielder. We don't need a. We don't need a, a number nine. We need a, a someone that can cover the wing forwards. We don't need a striker. Jota is good enough to be a number nine. Who is your actual number nine? At the moment, it's Jota. Firmino, no. No, but Firmino is kind of. He's I don't see Firmino as a number nine. Firmino is not a number nine. He's a false number nine. But Jota is a number nine. Yeah, but I think Salah or Mane can either them can play as a striker. But Jota is showing. Jota is Mane is peak. He's on the decline. Mm. No, he's he's he's. I know why people say that, but his numbers. He's what his game's changed. You know, certain wingers when they get to a point, their game changes slightly when they realize they can, they're more of a to score. Like if you like Ronaldo. Not obviously Ronaldo's at a high level, but generally he was beating players, his tricks, blah blah blah. Mane is still beats players, but he's more direct to I need to score. I'm not like all these tricks and stuff. Has and he I, scored I, many? Is he scoring? He is he's got eight goals. Uh, but before last week, we had all the top three goal scorers. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what Andrew's main goals are from his left foot and his right foot. And he scores a lot of headers. That's what I think. John is kind of garbage, though. I like Portuguese players, though. Something very direct. And a lot of them are two-footed. 
Yes. Very fingers. You got your tune? Yeah. Um, all right, so this is... I'm going to play the single...